Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hi, I'm Claire from Native Lighting. I set up Native Lighting 18 months ago when I realised there was a real lack of craft lights in the market that were high quality, affordable and modern. Not only do Native Lighting lamps give you the perfect lighting for your craft, but they also look amazing in your home as well. I started to train as a florist when I was much younger and it re made me realise how you need the light on all the different colours when you're trying to match the colours with the flowers and that's what's really important with your crafting as well. I've been in the lighting industry for 10 years and worked in many different sectors but my heart always lies with crafting. I think that also comes from my time of training as a florist when I just used to love working with all the flowers and the colours and how different they could look in different colours of light. My top advice would be when you're thinking about buying a light, you need to think about where you're actually going to be doing your work. We've got lots of different types of lamps. We've got floor lamps, we've got magnifiers, we've got portable lamps and we've got desk lamps. If you're sitting in a sofa or a chair, I'd suggest that you use one of our floor lamps. If you're working with intricate details, then have a look at one of our magnifiers. We've got three different types here. We've got our seven inch one, we've got our four and a half inch one, and then we've got a desk version here as well. All of those magnifiers have all three different color settings, including the really important daylight for your color matching. And they've all got brightness settings on them as well. If you work with a sewing machine, our Lumina lamps are absolutely amazing because you can bend and wrap them around the sewing machine, which is brilliant for when you're working on a sewing machine and you can get that light exactly where you need it. If you do Facebook Lives or you like to um, do video tutorials for people or you're doing teaching online, then our ring light is amazing for that because you can obviously use that, put your mobile phone in there and also that we've got a remote control which will operate that for you. You may have a cutting table or a wide area that you need to light up. Then I'd suggest you go with our, our task lamp here which gives you a really wide spread of light. If you're on the move when you're working, then we've got a selection here of portable lamps. We've got our reverse lamp, our zigzag lamp, and our LED desk lamp. These are rechargeable, so it means that you can charge them up and then you can take them with you and you've still got light when you're on the move. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody today? I just want to say before we start, thank you so much for my lovely card. Whoever sent this, it's another anonymous one, but this one was adorable. This one was really heartwarming and touching. So I'm leaving that there. So thank, thank you if that was you. Right. Got a fantastic show lined up for you today. I can't believe you. Early bird, please, Elliot. Here we go. Now, you've never seen this before. This is brand new. It's multi leaves on white organic printed jersey. Now, have a look at the width, first of all. I'll hold it up for you. Look. Look, 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 look. How wide is that? I'd say that was 60 inches wide myself. And it's a gorgeous print on it. Right. Remember, it's organic. It should be $7.99. It will be $7.99 again at midnight tonight. However, early bird price. Now remember, we don't spend long on the early birds anymore. So you need to come in, you need to buy it, you need to check it out, and then that's your P&P &P done for the day. And I'm telling you that now. 
Uh, it's 95% cotton, 5% elastane. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Keep going through, keep going through. It's lovely print, isn't it? You've got your olives in there. What colour would you call that? Brunette? Would you call that brunette? Chartreuse? Teal? Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. We love, we love, we love them. Uh, it's lovely. What are you going to make out of it? Oh, I think you'd make uh, like lovely leggings for the gym, like a yoga outfit. Um, uh, 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 it, well, it's halfway between a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. So a lightweight sweatshirt would be brilliant. Two and a half meters will make you loads. You don't need two and a half meters, I think, to make a t-shirt. It's 60 inches wide, isn't it? Beautiful. Keep going through, keep going through. Very busy day today. We've got so many. We've got guests all day long today. Got brand new things for you to see. Keep checking out, though. Keep checking out. Keep checking out. We're buying. Are you buy it off the bolt? We cut it off the bolt for you. And once you paid your PMP, that's you done for the day. <coughs> uh, Julie says good morning. Another Julie says good morning. Jan says good morning. That's the other one. I've been up since six o'clock making cheese scones for today's coffee morning. What time are you expecting us round, Jan? Jan? What time are you expecting us round for cheese scones? Elliot. Elliot loves a cheese scone. Ha uh, Kat's never had a cheese scone. Back to this. Uh, Laurie says, good morning, have a great day. Gaynor says, morning. Donna says, morning, John, have a lovely day. Pam Minihani says, good morning. Right, okay, are you all done? Are you all done? Are you all done? Oh, I see lots of people buying two and a half metres. Making a frock, making a summer frock out of that wrap dress, are you? I wouldn't make a circular skirt out of it because of the stretch. But you could make a, a lovely, a, a lovely, a, a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress would be lovely in this. I oh, know. There you go. See people coming in now. Like, there's me saying, hurry up. And you're all coming in now. Good morning, John. Love you from Blackpool, says Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. She's still drunk from her birthday, yeah. Andrea says, good morning. Keep going through because I can't spend too long on this. New rules. Sweet, clean, whatever they say. 5.99. Now, we'll go back up to 7.99 at midnight tonight, remember? Good morning, lovely fabrics, watching you as it's hailing outside, collector in Bedfordshire. Now, the rain was quite heavy when I drove in this morning, <coughs> in the dark, but it's definitely getting lighter in the mornings, isn't it? Definitely. Come on. Oh, sorry. Moving on. Right, shall we look at today's menu? Here we go. Got a really packed day today. So, Claire from Native Lighting is here, and we have got a brand new exclusive. Look. It's not what you think it is. You're thinking, oh yeah, torch. So what, John? Just you wait. Just you wait. Oh, and, 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 and. Yeah. Uh, oh, 10% of these have already gone. 10% of these have already gone, just so you know. Um, and this is very exciting. It's not back in stock because it's different. It's different. Right, okay, back to the menu. Uh, nine o'clock, we've got the Easter bunny wall hanging with Helen Newton. It's gorgeous. Here it is. Now... Uh, Oh, no, that's the, that's the rabbit. It's the wrong one. There you go. Now, you see that one? That's made out of Helen's own fabrics, that one. You've got the choice of a blue border or a pink border. And beautiful colours to make the inside there. That's already selling, just so you know. Oh, there's another picture of it there. Back to the menu. We've got a fabric extravaganza. Oh, did you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? That was a bit of a shock. I won't say, I won't say, I won't say in case you haven't watched it. 11 o'clock, Easter Bunny soft toy. That you've just seen a glimpse of. There it is. Oops, there it is. We have got the choice of pink ears, lilac ears or blue ears. And our pom-pom tails are slightly different to that. But we've got pom-pom tails as well. Then back to the menu. Uh, now... Something a little bit different for you, 12 o'clock. Poppy's here from our Primal, Primal Living sister channel. We've got some unusual things there. Fantastic. You must watch, right? Just if, even if you're thinking, oh, I don't need it. It's fascinating because she's um, a trained nutritionist and 
She's got something else. Anyway, she's come a long way. She's come a long way. We've got um, B. Propopolopolis. We've got uh, collagen. We've got face cream. We've got soap. We've got all sorts coming up in that hour. Another here. Okay, it's not on pre order yet because we're waiting for some brand new delivery to us, right? Some scarves. But we, they haven't arrived yet, so I can't tell you about that. <laughs> Right, there are three ways to get in touch. First way is email, studio at sewingstreet.com. Just send your email into Kat and she will send them up to me. You can also send a message on Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. Lynn Eccles says, good morning, John. Fabulous shirt. Hailing and snowing in Garstang. Jan says, scones are all ready. Pop in whenever you like. Helen says, good morning. Claire says, good morning. And Margaret says, good morning. Right, okay. Uh, and the other way you can get in touch is on the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Click on watch the show live. See the box on the right-hand side there, send the message to you. They are the white messages that come up on my bottom. Morning, says Kat. There's the early bird, today's bestseller so far. We'll go back up to 7.99 at midnight. Right, look, look, look. We have got gorgeous, native. see the one in the middle there? The bronze and white rechargeable. That's brand spanking you. You may have, oh, oh and Kat's very excited about that one. Uh, there's the torch, but it's not just a torch. It's not just a torch. It's called travel lamp. Travel lamp, it's called. Moving on. Then the reverse lamp we've got in stock. Oh, now, now, now. Last time I had a clarion, we didn't have the clip. The black slim clamp lamp or the white slim clamp lamp. I've got that. I love it. It's my favourite, favourite, favourite of all of my uh, native lighting lamps. Then with Helen Newton's using the 560, doing her um, wall hanging. You can buy the pattern on its own or the kits that we've done. Then we've got Easter fabrics, brand new. Those are brand new. Now there is a mega bundle. Some of them aren't available by the half meter. Then we've got all these different ones here. Then we move on to the Easter Bunny, there said. You can get it in lilac. Oh, look, now they've done the picture of the blue ones all the way through. So you can get it in pink. You can get it in blue and you can get it in lilac. You can buy the instructions on their own if you like. And look, you can buy five pom-poms on their own. Now, yesterday, Barry the Bald, beautiful book buyer, he took ages and ages making that picture for you. So you've got to buy those just, just to help Barry. Just help Barry. Okay, back to the menu, uh, back to the thing. Uh, then there's toy stuffing and there's the 680 with the free five-year warranty. There will be another hour added on when Poppy's stuff is all booked in and everything like that. Okay, that's all, that's all my news. That's all my news. So let's get on. Claire is here in Chachus. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you were miles away there. Hello, miles away. <laughs> uh, right, shall we get straight on? Straight on, straight on. Because this is a Sewing Street Exclusive. World Exclusive. <laughs> right? So you can't get this anywhere else at the moment. Though. No. You cannot buy this anywhere else at all. Right. I know you're thinking, oh, £45 for a torch. Just wait, just wait, just wait. But watch. Look. Look at the split pay. So you could get this home for £15.33 because it's on three-way split pay. See, that makes it so... I mean, you can pay the £45.99 if you want to straight away. Uh, but if you don't want to, if you want to split it three ways, you could get this home for your first payment of £15.33. They're ready to go. They're in our warehouse. They will be shipped immediately. You know, your money will go through at midnight tonight. Right, so Claire, tell us all about this. Where it comes from, where's the idea from, how does it work, what else is it? Okay, so this is our two-in-one travel lamp. And now that you can all get back out to classes, we can all get travelling again, I thought people are going to need a light to take with them where they're going. So we have invented the travel lamp that is a nice portable rechargeable lamp, but it is also a torch. Right. So obviously John's just shown you how the, how the torch is, but what this one does is it opens up like that. So you stand it on here, so it's got a really heavy weighted base, so you're not gonna get it knocked over or anything like that. And then you just tap it to turn it on. Right. And as with all of our native products, we've got warm light, cool light, and daylight on each one of those settings. So you've got three different colours. So you keep tapping and then it goes off. So you've got your daylight, your warm light and your cool light. 
and then there's a brightness on each colour. So you keep your finger on. No, I was trying to work that out. You say when uh, Elliot and I got sat, I said, oh, <coughs> this one in just the three colours, but actually yeah. goes, oh. it goes up, it dims down and then brightens back. So up you again. get to the colour that you want. Yep. And then, and you, then you just keep your finger on the button. Yeah. And it will and go. It will go down, then take it off and then it will go back up to the bright. Oh, wow. Now, one quick question we're going to have is you've taken the torch and put the torch downwards. You're not going to damage the torch by using the torch face as a, as a no. base, are you? No. So there's obviously um, a certain amount of uh, width so that it does. there's a little bit of extra there before it actually hits the torch. Okay. Just do your... Alex, just put the lights down a little bit. Just okay. do your um, three light colours and your three... And okay. your brightness is so well. that's one. That's the warm light and then the cool light. There's a definite difference. It's yeah. not like, you know. And then I'm just keeping the finger on so it goes down to the dimmest. Yeah, yeah. And then put my finger on then it goes back up to the brightest. There it goes, there it goes. How brilliant. All about on the move, isn't it? Switching it off. Right, now how do I charge it up? So it's a, it comes with a USB cable. Mm -hmm. So you can charge it either in um, an adapter plug, just the basic ones that you use for your mobile phone, or you can put it into a laptop. I use this quite a lot when I'm just working on a laptop, so it's just a nice little bit of light there. Uh -huh. It's not taking up too much mm -hmm. space. You can put it into a computer, or you can use a power pack, like the power packs if you need to recharge your mobile phones when you're out as well. So say you're going to a, a class and you're going to be there all day, then if you just take a little power pack with you, then once once it starts to run down, you can just carry on using it while it's plugged into well, it, the power pack. Or, or if you go to a class with a sewing machine, plug it in, if your sewing machine's got the machine, USB in yeah. it. Right. right, Elliot wants you to now close that down. Yep. And put it on the torch and shine it straight into the camera. Okay. Oh, hang on, you just said get to shine it straight into the camera. <laughs> hey, what? Well, it'll do what? No, you said... I'll, I'll do, play the replay, re-record later on. You definitely said... Anyway, point, anyway. point, don't point it at the camera, point it elsewhere. Okay. At the table. So when you want to turn the torch on, you just have it closed. Yeah. And then you just double tap the button. Oh, hang on. There you go. There go. So you press it twice. Press it twice right. for the torch. Can we see the table, Elliot? Because you can really see how bright it is on the table. This is with the full lights on. That And you've, and you've got lamps on, on your table I as well. Have, Look. yeah. So imagine if you had this when we had lots of power cuts last week. Yeah. So you keep it charged up and probably been using it for your crafting. And then you've got a torch if you need to obviously find things. Sometimes people say that like finding the keyholes, if there's not a light on outside, so putting your keys in, it, it's ideal for that. Great. Shine it at me apparently now. Shine it, it at says. you. <laughs> I'm here. Look at that shirt with that light. <laughs> you can just see the shirt. Hang on, press it twice, yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, no, don't put the lights on. Look. Right. We could play for hours, couldn't we? Now, the <laughs> thing is, right, put the lights back up, please, Elliot. Um, the thing is, right, in my village, we don't have street lamps. Um, but we have five old Victorian street lamps that we turned into, and it's all about light. There's how many? Right, there's 35 left. That might sound a lot, but you, we know how many we start with. Um, I have, if I go out in the evening to like a parish council meeting or go to the other end of the village to see somebody, I have to have a torch because it's pitch Cause dark. This is perfect. So I could have it like in my office or in, on the hall table. Yeah. And then as I leave the house, I just do that and I've got my torch to go with me. And it's brilliant. And of course, it just stands up. How many torches do you get? And then they kind of roll all over yeah. the place and everything. You're going to be able to stand this up and everything. £45.99. pence, Brand new, totally and utterly exclusive launch to up Sewing Street. 25 left now. 25 left now. At £45.99. pence. Split pay. Split pay. Three way for £15.33. Yeah, yeah, brilliant way to start if you've never used native lighting before. What do you want, Elliot? Could you open it up again so, so I can show yeah. it as a lamp? So it, it, the, it goes up quite high as yeah. well. So depending on where you want to position the light, so you can have it up like that. So say you wanted to maybe light something yeah. on a wall, also like photography, things like that. Um, and then obviously you can position it down down here as well. So it can be used as like a homework lamp or a sewing um, lamp and yeah, everything like that, can't it? Yeah, bedside reading lamp as oh, well. Yes, so yeah. you know, might have a, where your bedside lamp, its table is, you might not have a plug. So then it's ideal to keep there and then just open up when, when you want to use it for reading. Yep, children, if they're scared of the dark, have it in the bedroom. You could just literally have it. I didn't realise about the, 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 the 
brightness and the soft. So you could literally switch it on onto the warm light and then take it down to the lowest, lowest, lowest setting. Yeah. And just have it at night light. Yeah. How long would it last, did you say? So it lasts up to five hours when okay. it's fully charged. Mm -hmm. um, depending on what setting, that's if you've got it on the highest setting. Yeah, yeah. So a child sleeping. Yeah, so it would definitely last all night. If you Mind you, you we, we will come to the top, the toppy downy light, light but uh, you say, oh, it lasts eight hours or something. But, but Vix has one in Maisie's bedroom at night time and she says it goes on and on yeah. and on. And I, I've only had to recharge mine like I have it on when I'm doing my Facebook lives and everything. I only have to recharge mine once yeah. in a blue moon. It does I does hold it. Five left. There's only five left now. Once you've all checked out, there are five of these left. Will you be doing the this torch in black? Um, n not at the moment. Right. Um, obviously, this is quite new, so I wanted to obviously see yeah, how yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously, first indications are very good. Right. Um, if we've only got five left. Yeah, we've only got five left. It's been yeah. very popular. So, Julie uh, says, "Got myself a torch." Uh, Sylv says, "Morning, glad." Oh, it's her birthday, Sylv. Happy birthday, my love. Say happy, happy birthday, birthday, to birthday, Sylv. <laughs> uh, Jan's got the zigzag lamp at last. Um, what's this that Jill's saying? Uh, J right, Jill, you've no need to worry. When all the new things start, we will still be here for five hours every morning. Eight till one, we will be here. Sewing Street will be here. You have no need to worry. Right? You hear me? No need to worry. We'll be here. Right, okay. Um, oh, so Julie's had a busy morning. She's got the early bird and she's got the torch. And I'll get, you've got your P&P all paid for now, haven't you? And this comes from us, so they'll come together in the... Well, you'll get it... What day is it? What day of the week is it? Sorry. It's Thursday. Thursday, five, we'll get the beginning of next week, <laughs> won't you? F how far will the beam shine? All right, then. Right, let's put it on. Let's switch the lights off. Right, okay. Right, uh, right. hang on. I don't know. Uh, which wall, Ellie? Should I go to, to behind Claire? Look. Right, now look. I'm how many metres from you, then? Let me get as far away as I possibly can. Right, I am, what, three metres from you? I don't oh, gosh, know. I'm not... No, it's more than that. Probably oh, about... is it? Yeah, probably about seven or eight. Oh, okay, seven metres away I am. I'm not going to shine it in Claire's, in Claire's face, look, but I'll just do this. There you go. Try it on the studio, see if it goes as far as that. Yeah, because they can't film on that. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I'll tell you what I could do. Keep look. No, keep looking on the wall. Oh, keep looking <laughs> at the wall. I'm going to go right the way over here, right? Right, now bring the lights out. Now, I'm, right, how many metres away am I now, Elliot? How can you shine on camera for? Ten metres away I am. <laughs> and it's still... Look, I'm going out into the office. I'm going into Come the back. office. Come back. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I've gone in the office now. I've gone in the office. I'm what? just lighting up Jess. <laughs> Jess. I've just lit up Jess in the office. Right, that's how strong... That's how strong it is. Gosh. Okay, so I'll put the lights back on. Don't want to trip over the wires. <laughs> Thank I you. think we can definitely say it goes quite a long way. Yes. <laughs> and there's too, there's too many people got it in their baskets now. 12 people at the moment are going to miss out on that. Congratulations if you got it. Well done. Right. Well done, Claire. Bye then. Thanks for coming <laughs> in. Right. We've got something else that's new. It now, is. Now, people will, will know this. Right there. Now, we've only got one sample of this. So you can look it on here. Right. So you will have seen this before vix launched this with you didn't she, she did yeah right so this is the zigzag lamp which is really really popular what's different about this it's really just the colors that are different before um that the bits on the end and the underneath of it was black and it was more like a bronzy color so now it's sort of like of a dark silver and uh -huh. then the the ends and the underneath part are actually white which right. i actually prefer it i think it's a little bit more classic looking in these it colors. looks like it Oh, excuse me, it looks more lightweight. Yes. Doesn't it? I know it's exactly the same, but, yeah. but it looks more lightweight. So now tell us how it works then. Okay, so that one you can you can raise as well. So you need to, to, oh, yeah. to, to lift it up. Forgot completely about that, didn't I? <laughs> so you, again, this is an ideal lamp because it's rechargeable. So for take for taking away with you as well. Yeah. It's nice and small to pop into oh, your Oh yeah, yeah, bag. look, 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 look. So you fold that down like that, that down like that. That's how small it folds. It's not heavy, is it? No, not at all. So, if you look on the on the details, it'll tell you a thing away to look yeah. it. And so it's ideal for like if you're going into dimly restaurants to read the menu. Again, you can use it as a bedside lamp. You can use it on your desk when you're working. I'm thinking caravans, holidays, caravans, hotels, aeroplanes. When it's dimly lit, uh, obviously, yeah, in an aeroplane. So you can twist that round so just you are getting the light so you're not going to bother yep. the person that's next to you on the plane. It and it stands. I mean, you could have this any angle. Oh, oh there you go. We're having a few close-ups. 
So that's obviously the bottom. So again, you've this one has just got the one colour. Right. This one. Um, so this is obviously daylight, and you tap it to get the different brightness okay, levels. Okay, right, hang on, let me do that. Just tap it gently to get different. Oh, I can see yeah. straight away. So it's got three brightness levels again yeah. on can this one. Can you see? One. Look on the table. Look on the table. Three different. So off then three different brightnesses. And then to turn it off, you just keep your finger on it, and then it again. goes off. I tap it again to put you back on. So now, I've asked you this before, does it switch off when you automate, if you forget? No, just, it doesn't. It doesn't, do so you must do switch, it off. switch it off. Yeah, you must switch it off, because otherwise you'll waste your, oh, but look. Yeah, you can, again, you use, use it like that if you want to. It's lightweight, you can, I mean, it's not designed for that, but I'm thinking lightsabers. A, a difference with this one. <laughs> 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 Sorry, difference of this one. Um, so a lot of the, the these this style lamp in the past, the button was on the outside. Right. So the difference with this one is we made the design that the button's on the inside because what people used to say is they'd put them into their bags, they'd switch on, oh, and then they'd lose yes. all of the charge. So that's why the button is hidden by the by the top. Right. So, so the button's here. On. Right. The button's there, so it's easy to get to when you've got the lamp open. But then when you switch, when you put it, switch it off. Oh, hang on, I did switch off then. Keep your finger on it, switch off, isn't it? Keep your finger on it, it? To switch it off. I'm just doing the temperature. Come on, John. I think I've got those, um, oh, there you go. Now, Claire. No, you've got to keep it on for, a, just keep it still for a couple of seconds. There you go, there you go, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Forgot what I was going to show now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, because it's like when you throw your bag in the phone, it rings yeah. somebody you don't want to ring. Yeah. Right? Once that's in your bag, or wherever you've got it, wherever you're storing it, nobody can accidentally touch the um, yeah. on-off button, can they? Because it's hidden inside there. Yeah. 0 0.34 kilograms. Yeah. So a third of a kilo. Very light. Very lightweight. So it comes with the uh, a USB cable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To charge up. Yeah. And again, how long did it last? And again, so we, we say four hours, but yeah. it, it probably will last. It will last longer than that, but obviously we're a bit conservative with what we say. And again, it depends on what brightness you have it on. So that's if you have it on the highest brightness. Yeah. Right, now the design, we've been waiting to get back into stock. We didn't know we were going to get a brand new design. We were waiting for the black one to come back in, but this is brand spanking new. At 54 99 Eighteen pound thirty-three on split pay. Bronze and white rechargeable zigzag lamp. Beautiful, isn't it? and also it doesn't matter what angle you put on. You want, if you want to make it a bit designery in the yeah. corner of your lounge, that'd be lovely. Just to make a pool of light in the corner of a living room or a dining room or something like that, wouldn't it? It's just a little bit different looking as well. Yeah. Um, and that's the whole sort of ethos of native lighting is that rather than it just being your craft lamp, we've sort of designed our lamps to have the style that, you know, you can use them in the home and they don't look out of place actually in the home. Uh -huh. So you don't always have to just put it away when you finish. No, no, exactly. Exactly. Especially something like this, because this is really. But then I say that about your floor lamps and your lumina lamps and everything. They're all uh, and this uh, I've got with I've got this and I love this, but um, it looks lovely. It's an office lamp. I use it as an office lamp, but yeah. it looks more than an office lamp. It looks stylish and everything. And this is the same as well. Uh, Lo says, good morning. It's her birthday tomorrow. She's off away for her birthday this Saturday. Quarter of today's stock has gone. Lovely, isn't it? Now you see, it, it, it's, it, it's, what do we actually call it? Rechargeable zigzag lamp. It's, it's so many things, isn't it? It's a travel lamp. I could, if you missed out on the torch, you could use this. Yeah. If I'm going to the village hall, that could be in the pocket of my coat, right? When I get outside the village hall, switch it on, that could be my lamp and, you know, yeah. to get home. If I just put it on little like that, could just, or does that go up like, there you go, look. Could just use that. Yes, and, yeah. and so lightweight, it's really, really lightweight. Could you use that for my torch going home as well? Or if you, Elliot says, if he drops a lot of things underneath the desk. Yeah, don't be doing that to the aeroplanes. <laughs> don't the aeroplanes landing in your village. <laughs> Keep your finger on it a long time. There you go, yeah, it, 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 it's me, it's user error. You literally, to turn it on, you literally do that. But to turn it off, just keep your finger on it like that and it goes off. It's probably about four seconds. Oh no, it's seconds. me being yeah. <laughs> impatient. I've done what? Had a message from Jerry. Uh, lovely use for light, long lasting charge, absolute lifesaver during recent power cuts. Also intend to use for camping. Easy to use and the handle is brilliant from Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thank oh, that's you. That's nice to that hear. Was, uh, previous message was about the reverse lamp. Oh, 
Thanks, Terry. We're going to do the reverse lap now anyway. Right, half the stock of this is gone. It's brand new. It's the white one, remember? It's the white one here, the bronze on the top and white on there. In fact, they call it bronze, but I'd call, I think I'd be more verging towards like platinum Would you say, or, yeah. or a kind of brushed I think the platinum. other one was, was definitely more bronze. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, this is more, I, this think, is, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm not, I'm not dissing it in any way, but I'd say that was, if you're thinking at home bronze, I think of bronze as being yellowy. Right. You know what I mean? Whereas this, either pewter or platinum, I'd say that was. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, we're moving on now because Jerry wants us to move on to. Oh, how come I've got all the blooming samples today? <laughs> I usually spend these these hours like sitting like this, just listening. And I've got to on. Right, I've, right. So just so you know, I've got the Lumina floor lamp, which we haven't got at the moment, but we are getting more in, aren't we'll we? Get. When they arrive, they went on the wrong palette, didn't they? They went to some <laughs> other country. <laughs> all right, cat. <laughs> And then um, I've also got this, which I'm going to do in a minute, and I've got this. Now, if you watch my Sunday Facebook Lives, I use this because in the, my office where I am now, I changed the uh, princess bedroom into my office and studio. The back, all the walls, like I've got a teal wall, I've got a dark mustard wall, and I've got a dark red wall. This, if you put this just literally on one of the cupboards against the wall, it lights up the wall so beautifully. It's not, it's not just for that, but that's what I use it for. Right, so it's a reverse lap. Why is it called a reverse lap? Right, we switched on here, right? And we have, what's that one? That's the daylight. Sorry. Daylight, right? Now, I don't know how much of this you'll see on the telly, because what you do, is you literally, we're just going to wait a minute for Eddie Elliot, right? Right, is you literally turn it like that. Now, what you see is this. Now, I, oh, I maybe, maybe you look at the table. Maybe look at the table. Look at the reflection on the table. Elliot wants me to do it again. Right, ready? Right, so that's on warm. That's on warm now. Turn it over. Watch, look on the table. Look on the table. Right? Can you see how it's now changing? Or can you see it going up as well? It literally does that as you go up. Right? I'm going to do it once more. I'm going to go over that way. Right. What you've got on here is you've got your on-off switch. It's called the reverse lamp, right? You've got your on-off switch there. Right, it's coming up. That's your on-off switch there. Oh, hang on. Now you have to... Don't be impatient, John. That's your on-off switch there. Then these... Oh, come on, John. I think that no, my friend the Dean, yeah, just keep your finger on it. My yeah. friend the Dean, yeah. just keep your finger on it, can't do <laughs> mobile phones because the ends of her fingers don't really? activate the thing. No, I don't know what she's got, but it doesn't work. Anyway, that's to switch it on, right? But then here, you see you've got dots going across here. They're different. So at the moment, I've got it on full power. But look, you can take it down. Can you see that going down? Look, look, right down, I back up again. Now, you don't have to press them dotty like that, like I am. You can run your finger along between them and it will go up and down. Look at this. You've got a little handle. So if you want to hang it from somewhere, I'll hold it down there. Hang it from somewhere like that. Right now, that's on the warm side, but you turn it over to the, I always call it the cold side, but it's daylight. Daylight. Daylight yeah. side, right? On this side, exactly the same. You've got an on-off on that side. You've got your different values there, your different strengths of light there. But here, that's where you charge it up. And it's just a USB wire, isn't it? Yeah. You just charge it up. And if you want to, you can put it on a table like that and you'll have half and half. You're not going to see that on the telly. So this half here is warm. This half here is cold. You can see it on the table, actually, more than you can on the lamp. Look, can you see? Oh, you can definitely see on that one, can't you? Can you see the difference there? 63.99. Now, I know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds have got this. Vix has got one of these because she's, I'm going to turn it up again. She used it in um, Maisie's bedroom, got pictures. Oh, you can see how posh Vix's house is now. This is just the baby's room. Look. Look at the cot. It's Look like a cot. queen's cot. I know. I know. <laughs> She never sleeps in it. She goes and she sleeps in their bedroom. Oh, in the kitchen. Yeah, it shows around the whole house. That's a quartz top. She's very proud of that top. It's a quartz top. Back in the bedroom again. Oh, don't be reading what they're saying. Oh, look, you've written about that. Right, okay. Uh, £63.99. What else could I use this for? 
um, camping. Um, <coughs> you've got Excuse a dark me. cupboard that you need to be able to light, you know, see what you're looking for when you go inside. I use it as well sometimes when I just need that extra bit of light in, in the office if, when it like, starts to get a bit darker at yeah, 4 yeah, o'clock yeah, yeah, yeah. at the minute. Yeah. Um, so, again, a lovely bedside lamp. There's no graphics, Kat. They look really nice on okay. as bedside lamps as well. Um, if oh, you don't okay. want to is that use, your garden? Uh, no, it's not my garden, no. <laughs> um, and if you say don't want to use real live candles, you yeah, yeah, light yeah, the, the yeah. table, have it in the middle of the table as well. Yeah. So, so many different uses for this. Lamp. Oh, do you know what? Christmas, it looked lovely with like a wreath round. Yeah. You know, so we make wreaths and then we put a candle in it and then mm. after the candle burns down, it melts all over the wreath. Yeah. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it, with a wreath round it at Christmas? Or Easter, you could use Kerry's. Oh, do you know what? I've got that in my dining room, you know, Kerry's Easter wreath. I could put that, I'll take a picture when I get home, put the Easter wreath round it and put that in the middle of it. Come on. A beautician's room for ambiance, apparently. Yes. Yeah, there's some pictures on our website. With oh, that. oh, we oh that's where yeah. she's got that from. Yeah. Where Kat got that from. <laughs> oh, there you go. So is that where you go for your facials, is it? Though? Yeah. So also, you know, sometimes when they go and relax and things like that, so obviously they'd have it on the warm light. So it's just like making sort of like... So have nice you just gone to all your friends? One owns a pub, one's on the beauty salon. <laughs> yeah. Vix has got a posh baby bed. Yeah. Just well, you haven't got a picture of it in my house, that's for sure. Uh, there are only 16 of those left. We will get more in, but at the moment there's only 16 left. The other thing you have to remember is, right, so first of all, Claire is native lighting. She doesn't sell. She hasn't got a shop. She doesn't, you don't sell them, do you? No. So if you go to the native lighting website, you can see all about the lights, but she doesn't sell. So we are like, she has different outlets of different people who sell them. We just presume like, oh, we sold out, we'll get more. We're not the only, we're not the only out, so Claire has to think about her other, you know, well, jewelry, jewelry maker. Yeah. I know they're under the same umbrella, but they're a different company. They buy from Claire to show on their shows. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, we can't just presume, how many shows these were left? Right, 16 of these left, right? We're going, oh, we'll have more, Claire, we'll have more. Claire's then got to get them from wherever they're made and everything like that. We can't just presume they'll be here the next day. We have to, you know, it's, it's, what I'm trying to say is, don't think, oh, well, if I don't get it now, I'll get it next week when, or next month when Claire's in. Don't take for granted, we'll always have it. Well, look, we haven't had the, the Zippy Z light for ages, have we? The <laughs> Zippy Z light. Zippy Z light. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Gorgeous. Look on the website for reviews. There's loads of FIFA reviews there. Uh, lovely lamp, as good as I anticipated it, la, 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 anticipated it to be. A lifesaver during the recent storms will be used a lot and excellent for camping. Long charged life from Jerry and Devon. Thank you, Jerry. Jennifer, are these Fifus? Yeah, Fifu. Love my reverse lamp. Looking forward to using it in the garden when we get better weather. Ooh, Jennifer, aren't we all? Derek, Derek's got one of these. A uh, fun lamp to have around. Very soothing light when required. Very bright when needed. It is though. Yeah. It is. I think you kind of think of this as kind of not a novelty light, but a kind of ambiance light. When you put it on bright white, it will light your whole desk. It, it's brilliant. You could, like you say, you could work from it, couldn't yeah. you? It's not, um, it's not, and mine, as I say, I have it against the back wall when I'm doing my Facebook Lives, and it lights the whole of that side of the room up. And sits with your decor, sits with your decor. Beautiful. Shall we move on? Right, let's do something on Claire's table now. <laughs> You've I've done got all the talking today, talking. John. I don't need to come anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then. What we do next? Slim clamp, please. Oh, right. Okay. So you've got the black one, I think, John, and I've I have. Got, uh, I've got the white one. So. Okay, all oh, right. Uh, stock warning already. Stock oh. warning already. The white <laughs> one that Claire's got, we've only got four. The black one, we've restocked. We've got 19 left of these now. Just okay. so you know. So this, this has got the, this again is, is a brilliant lamp if you want to take it away anywhere with you because it just folds down so tiny. Yeah. So if you want, you know, you, you've got a suitcase or a bag that you're traveling, you want to take it with you, then, you know, it just folds down so nice and neat. So this has got a, a spring clamp which will open to um, six centimeters. So depending on what size your desk is, yeah. will open to six centimeters. You can see there that you've got the cushion pads. Yeah. So if you're a little bit worried about maybe putting it onto your, like, you know, your antique dining table, or if you're worried that anywhere's gonna get damaged, then these pads will protect your furniture. So, and it's a pretty strong clamp. So I know, yeah, some, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. sometimes people are worried about if a clamp's gonna get loose and, and things like that. So it's a really, really strong clamp. Mm -hmm. 
So we've got the gooseneck on this, which is uh, something that runs through as many of our lamps as possible because the gooseneck means that you can position the light exactly where you need it for what you're working on. So you've got a long stretch here if you want to go somewhere. So ideal behind a sewing machine if you want to light up yeah. the sewing machine. Or if you don't want to be quite so far, you can just put like a bend in it and a knot, a knot in it. So turn it on, you yeah. tap it on the end, mm -hmm. and then again this dims up and down. Yeah. This particular light is just the daylight setting right. on this one. If you hold your finger on the end, then it will dim right down. Right. Take your finger off and put it back on again, and then it will go back up to the highest. Brilliant. Highest Let's do that again with the lights there. down. So we've got it on the highest brightness there. Take yeah. your finger off, put your finger back on, and then you can see that it's going down. Brilliant. To the lowest level there. Take it off, back on, and up to the brightest level there. And you use the end switch on and off as well, don't you? And you just tap it once. Yeah, you see, that, that's why I keep tapping those, because yeah. this is the one, in my office, I sit here, oh, hang on, I sit here at my computer. My computer's here, my Facebook Live is there, and then this is on this edge of the desk here, and I bring it over all the time, and literally, just to switch it on and off. Now, I have mine, because it's a USB, I have mine plugged into my computer. So when I switch my computer off at the end of the day, the light goes off, mm. you know what I mean? And then, and then when I come back in, I need to switch it back on again when I put the computer on and everything. But that's how I use mine. It's literally just there on the side of my desk. So I have my Lumina desk lamp, uh, my floor lamp there coming over the table and then I have this one. Actually, I have to make myself look as beautiful as possible when I do my um, Facebook I, Lives, you <laughs> see. I, I haven't got one of those round things, you see. I've, got, I've just got all of these. Oh, what, like... I need a lot of light, says Elliot, <laughs> to fill in the crevices. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Captain, I am the light. You are. You are, you are you're the you. light of my day when I come Oh, in you're very kind. <laughs> we'll get complaints now. <laughs> 49. Oh, Elliot, how can you say that, right? Elliot says, oh, she never says that to me. She's made, she made such a fuss I over did. him this morning. <laughs> she made such a fuss over him this morning. Now, this is 49.99, but look at the split pay. You can get it home for 16.66 as your first payment. It's brilliant. I love mine. I tell you what I like, apart from that, because mine's on a thick table like this yeah. so it just sits there and it doesn't do that you know sometimes if you have a clamp and you put it on a thick table it's like it works its way off doesn't it, it? Does. it's kind of going oh yeah. I don't like yeah. it on here yeah mine hasn't moved yeah. mine hasn't moved at all apart from when Luce I decided to have a fight with it the other day then it kind of got bent over the side of the table they love it yeah will you ask Claire if they do a magni <coughs> magnifying stand lamp please oh you mean from the floor from the floor yeah. uh, lamp. Right, we've asked this question before, Margaret, haven't we? We have, because and I, I think oh. I have found one. Right. I've got a sample on the way. Right, so just explain the reason why you haven't found one up okay. until now. So, obviously, um, native lighting doesn't just take on any any old lights. We like to make sure that it fits with our brand and the quality is good and it looks nice as well and um, it, it fits in with the home. So. A lot of the ones that I'd seen I didn't really like, um, but last week I found one and it's it's a sample's on its way. So so basically you could have stopped them before now, yeah. but you chose not to because aesthetically they yeah. look like a big industrial yeah. lamp and that wouldn't particularly look didn't, nice in somebody's house. And didn't house. fit with the brand. And for me it's important to have the gooseneck, whereas a lot of them were just sort of like, um, you know, just a raw metal neck. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I want obviously it, 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 it to have the, the sustainability and a, a lot of them in the past uh, with goosenecks have dropped. So I want to make sure that, you know, it's right. So that's Well, I suppose it's got a wet, quite, cause it's got a magnifying glass yeah, on the end. The it's got a weight, hasn't it? That, it that has. would, uh, one of these wouldn't have. So yeah. Thing. So I'll have a sample, but obviously it, it's quite a slow process. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and obviously it takes a while for then obviously for me to be happy with it and um, get all the, the right regulations and mm. make sure it all uh, fits everything. Um, but so hopefully it'll be Q4 that, that we end up with that. So sort of it'll like Q4, so sort of September time. Oh. So it'll be a little while, but... I didn't know Q4, I never knew what that meant. <laughs> thought I was a shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. But that's a good, good question, Margaret. So we'll have it yeah, in, we will, later yeah, in the year. We, we later will have year. it later in the year. Right, we've got one magnifier today, a little magnifier today. That's oh, you. so shall we go, go yep. to that one next? So, so yes. uh, Very limited, though, very, very limited. 
because it's all about portability today, that's why we've only got this little yep. one on there. But obviously, we do do much larger one, ones as well. So again, this is a little clamp one. So you've got, got the big clamp here, which like John was saying, you know, it's quite a nice sturdy clamp, yep. this one. So it clamps onto the table here. This one is ideal for uh, if you've got a stitching stand, if you're doing cross stitch, anything like that. You can clamp it onto a book stand or a book. And then you've got here a 1.3 times magnifier. So I think I'll take it off. So yeah, yeah. Elliot will shout at me otherwise if it's not right under here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've got a little pin here. So I'm just going to put that under there so you can see. You can see the pin head there. You can see your net. Oh, there you go. And then, so if I come out here, you can see how small that is. Yeah. So um, what magnification is that? So it's 1.3, okay. this one. So this is this is the lowest magnification that we do. We do one, this one's 1.3. We do 1.75 and we do a three times. But even at 1.3, that's, yeah. you, you can't think, you if can. you see on the side of a box, 1.3 magnification, you think, oh, so you're really going to be very, yeah. yeah. But if you, if you sort of like, are only just starting to think you maybe need a, a little bit of help with a magnifier, it's good to start with, with a lower magnification because yeah. because magnifiers can, take a little bit of getting used to with, with particularly if you wear glasses and things and sort of starting with a low one is is, is sometimes really good uh -huh. so as we say one point three <coughs> does does give you a good good magnification brilliant and how does it switch on and off so you tap again you this has just got daylight on this one yeah. so you just tap it on and then to dim it um you just keep your finger on oh, it hang on. Can you, fit in that yeah, you bring into elliot's shot because yeah. he's not going to go there to we you. go so tap tap on off and then just keep your finger, oh. oh, and then keep your finger on, and it will do it go down. Take yeah, your finger off, and then go back up to the yeah. brightness. Brilliant. To the That's thirty-one ninety-nine. Three split payments of ten pounds and six pence. Uh, how many have I got left, Cat? Two left. Oh. Oh, and three people in baskets. Oh, look, and you can even do it to your music. Yes, yeah, so you can clamp it onto the piano. So did you go around so... to Bonnie Langford's house to take that picture? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right, yo, so that's that one, that one, that and that one. one. Uh, what next, Cat? Mini clip lights, because Cat's got this one. Because Cat's got one. What's Cat going to use it for? When Liam, the boyfriend, does his gaming, she oh, says. Oh, OK, right. Yeah, because they're not going to get married soon, so they might as well spend <laughs> the money. So this is a, a little clip-on light, which you can you can use as, as a stand or you can use it as a clip. So this one's quite versatile because yep. you've got the options of the clip. So again, you can clip it onto a book, clip it onto a headboard if you want to be sort of reading or, or, or doing any kind of projects while, before you go to sleep. Um, you can, again, put it next to um, a laptop, children doing homework, anybody that just needs a little bit of an extra light for anything that they're working on. Uh -huh. So uh, this one has got warm light, daylight and cool light. So you've got the three different right. ones as well on this warm light. That one's nice because it's got like an opaque, yeah. you've got kind of, you can't see it on the telly, but it makes sort of a fan shape of, yeah. of light bulbs it, in, that's inside. The it's the diffuser, oh, diffuser. That's, on, that's actually on there. So that's what makes those look different, those ones. And again, each colour has got a brightness level. Yeah. So, you can, oh, wow. so you get to the colours. Cat, are you, you listening? Just, just put your fingers on there and then that colour goes down. Next colour. Oh, now also, when you do that, right, okay, when yeah. you do the different colours, it's different. I know they're not light bulbs, but yeah. the, the LED lights are different. So In different places. In different places, yeah. So when yeah. you put on the mix, the whole thing fills yeah. up. Yeah. So that's the, that's the thing, because obviously how the LEDs work when you've got colour changing is that you've got separate, separate LEDs. Yeah. So, yeah, so there we go. You can see it a bit better on there. So it can be clipped changes. and it can stand uh, independently. It's yep. charged. Is it charged up or on a plug? That it's one? USB. USB charger. Twenty four ninety nine or three split payments of eight pounds and thirty three pence. Yep. Now I need to tell you that Michelle, she's bought three native lamps and I'm now looking for a floor lamp. So I went looking into the marketplace, which we 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 yep. obviously advise you to do that. She said the difference in quality between the cheaper brands and yours. There's no comparison whatsoever. She's now only ever going to buy yours. She's not going to oh, buy Oh, that's them. nice to So, hear. So, we, yeah, what we're saying is, yeah, she can go and get cheaper. You we're can. not saying, we're not saying, oh, we're the cheapest on the market. But you pay... You, get, you pay get what, what you, you get for. Yeah, and, yeah. and a lot of people probably don't realise there's LEDs and there's different qualities of LEDs yes, as yeah. well. So we obviously make sure that we source our LEDs. All of our lamps are also guaranteed for two years. Quite a lot of the time when you maybe buy from different marketplaces, 
you don't get that um, and you don't always get a person to come to talk to if you've got any issues I regularly get phone calls from ladies that have bought a lamp from sewing street and just need a little bit of help yeah um, and I've always got the time to, to speak to people and, and help them yeah. with anything they need should be drunk most of the time but that's by the by <laughs> <laughs> okay lovely now look at the time we've only got a few minutes left so where are we well, going to go next then Foldy down lamp. So okay. I've got the black one and you've got the white one. You, we do the white one first. Yeah. Okay. So this is called the. Um, yeah, you have to. We we give. We do give them our own names. Yeah. It is a fold down lamp. We call it the foldy down lamp. Yeah, that's right. So this is the, the fold down lamp. Again, this is a really nice little portable lamp if you want to take it with you when you're going um, on your travels because it folds down completely flat like that. So. Um, but not just your travels. You've got to remember that some people live in tiny little houses yeah, so and tiny don't... little flats like Cat, like I did for years and years and years. And you, don't, you might not want the lamp or might not have the room. Have if you use your dining room table as you're eating, you're working, you're sewing, yeah. and like that, sometimes you don't need to clear the space. Yeah. And to put a lamp to one side, whereas this, like you say, you fold it down, fold it down. That's going to fit in a drawer, yeah. or underneath a bed, underneath the sideboard, anything like that, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of thing. So it's, it's, it's a brilliant storage thing as well as you know, just travelling with it yeah. as well. But it's, uh, this weighs nothing. No, this weighs absolutely not, doesn't nothing. weigh anything at all. This one's mains operated. Right. So I think out of all of the ones we've had today, this is actually the only mains operated. Every every other one is, is USB. Yeah. And I think that's another thing to mention about USB, particularly with, you know, sort of like power at the moment. If you're, if you're using a USB, you've only got one product plugged in. So if you're, if you're plugging it into your sewing machine or, or to your laptop or your computer, Oh, they're, they're using the yeah, one plug. So yeah, they're using the one plug. So obviously with making sure, you know, we're, we're being sort of much more efficient with power yeah. as well at the moment. Um, Shelley says she's got two native lights and she loves them when she's doing her sewing and her crafting. Well, they're there for that, but also that would look lovely in a, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that would look lovely in a lounge as well, yeah. wouldn't it? Because that doesn't have, you don't look at that and go, oh, that's a craft lamp. No, exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's, it could be in a teenager's bedroom for their homework when they're doing the homework. It could be in your lounge. It could be your sewing lamp on the table next to you because you can angle this, obviously, to different angles, everything like that. Likewise, have you, have you done this? What, no, what kind so of... uh, this has got three colour temperatures as well. So yeah. the little two arrows change your, change your colours. So you've got warm, cool and daylight. Oh, there. wow. You can really you can see, the, see the difference the changes on that one. On, changes as that goes through. And then again, each one has got a uh, dimmer setting on there as well. So you can dim it down and then take your finger off and go back up to the, to, to the full brightness. So then you can see the different yeah. back on. Now, graphics for the white one are in the little box. The graphics for the black one are in the main box. £45.99 or split pay £15.33. <clears throat> for your first payment and then two more after that. So yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? At forty five ninety nine. I think as well, um, in the past, uh, craft lamps have always been in white. So that's another thing where we've tried to bring a little bit of extra colour in. Uh -huh. So obviously with, with, with the, the pewter, which I think is going to be the new name. For okay, yeah, yeah. And on um, black as well, because yeah. obviously black fits in. A lot of homes these days have been sort of like grey shades and the black tends to fit really nice. But the very that. first show we did together here... Yeah. The black flew out much quicker than the white, didn't it? And then they yeah. came back the next month and we were like, oh, get lots of the black, yeah. the black sells, the black sells. And all the white ones sold that one. So it's all, it's, it's on, on sales, do you sell more black or more white or is it really an even... Well, it, it just it seems to go in swings and roundabouts and then that's that's what's been happening is you know we've decided like okay we'll invest in much more black stock and then we hadn't got enough white stock so now we're holding the same of both oh okay <laughs> so well no no it's a personal choice isn't it, it doesn't yeah. matter at all i'd just be interested to see if if, if people but but then one lady missed in on the very when we brought you the wide task lamp which we haven't got at the moment and she said she bought one for her husband in black for his office because yeah. it was all not, I don't say manly, that's the wrong word, but you know what I mean. And then she bought the white one because she has light and bright in her sewing room and everything. So it all depends on where you're going to put it and what you're going to do with it. Or everything, well, I was going to say, my two are black and then obviously that one has obviously just comes in the white. Uh, £45.99. pence. Make sure you check out because lots of people missing out this hour. Lots and lots of you missing out. Oh, okay, you know the zigzag light? I could just put the graphics back into the zigzag light. Let me just switch that one off. There are only six of these left. That's it. Brand new today, this colourway as well. Brand spanking new. Oh, hang on. Come on, John. There you go. Brand spanking new. 
All right, okay, there are six left and there are six in baskets. So everyone checks out, that's another sellout. Do not miss out, please. I'm only thinking of you, obviously. It's lovely, isn't it? How elegant and sophisticated is that? But I'm not going to go on because the six people got in their baskets and only six left. Right, switch off, keep your finger on. There you go. Oh, somebody using to the net. Oh, so you actually... Now, where's that then? That's my house. Oh, Don't look at the washing line in the I back. I was going to say, somebody <laughs> didn't tidy up beforehand. <laughs> uh, right, come on. Wait, I've only got a couple minutes left. Have I got some... We haven't done oh, this one. Oh, one, uh, one more we haven't done. Yeah. One more we haven't done. So this is the little... This is, this is the, if, the cheapest product, obviously. Most affordable. Yes. So if you haven't tried a native lighting and you just want to maybe dip your foot in the water and try... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this is a good one to, to try with. Again, you've got the... Got, we've got the gooseneck here. So yeah. it's, it's really, really flexible. We have... I also need to point out, like, you're swishing it around. Yeah. It stays where you swish it. it doesn't, yeah. You don't just swish it around and then it flops. It stays where you've yeah. swished it to. So we've got reinforced necks um, because I know that's been a, a problem in the past where, where they've drooped. Um, mm -hmm. And so obviously we've made sure that you don't feel the vertebrae and so we've got a different system in, in, inside yeah. there. So this is a spotlight, this particular one. Oh, oh it I might know. help you if I plug it in. in. <laughs> So, uh, oh, we went to so much detail did. to prep. But well, you only gave me one USB plug, so <laughs> <laughs> I had to switch them around. So there you can see when you switch oh, that on right, yeah. how bright that really is. And if you look on the desk, you can you you can see on the yeah, desk yeah. there where it, how it really lights lights that up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just very basic this one, just on and off, um, but you've got a, a, got a very bright daylight spotlight. So if you've got a project that you're working on and you just need some extra light underneath it, you can see is a hand there. So this is ideal for like a home, like I'm not just thinking about so sewing, mm. and if they're, I'm thinking about if you've got a kid who's doing, sorry, don't mean kid, a child who's yeah. doing their homework or yeah. something like that. It's a bright, bright, because there's nothing worse than when you're sitting reading. And, yeah. I know, because at the moment I'm writing my book and everything, if I haven't got proper lighting around me, I know I'm older, I'm not a school kid, but your eyes get so tired. They do. If you don't have the right light and everything like that. And for 23.99, like Claire said, dip into it. If you've never bought a native lamp before, you can get it on split pay, 7.99, three times if you want to. Has he? Mark Francis has got one of these, has he? Yeah, he has, yeah. Mark's obviously an ambassador for, yeah. for NATO. Oh, yeah, oh, there, there we go. He was, he was knitting his scarf. Crochet, there. I think yeah. it's crochet. Oh, is it crochet? Well, I would have said knitted, but then I just saw a crochet. Yeah, and these are on there. So, yeah, he's, um, yeah, so Mark uses quite a lot of the lamps, actually, and uh, says they really help him. And he says Clive's always stealing them as well. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Message from Mandy. Uh, morning, what happens when the light bulb goes? Can you replace it? Oh, so LEDs are not light bulbs that can be replaced. Right. So LEDs last up to 50,000 hours. So if you, say, used your lamp for eight hours, it's well over 20 years worth of use. Okay, so what happens if it does, what happens if it, if it I'm not saying yours will, yeah. but if an LED lamp goes... It's not, it's not replaceable. You right. Because they're a sealed unit. So, so but what I'm saying is if, if in six weeks' time the light didn't work, and I'm not saying this will yeah. happen, but just in case it does... Can they just contact just, you? Yeah, because so it'll be something that's faulty with the bolt. Yeah, it's not called a bolt. Yeah, it's it, very but. rare. It's very yeah. rare. But obviously, all electronics every now and again, some, yeah, 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 something yeah. will go wrong. But um, you have, hang on, you have a what? How a warranty? You have a two-year warranty oh, on, on everything. On you all see. of the lamps. Oh, well, in that case, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if and it's going to go, if it is a faulty bulb, yeah, it's going to go before that two years yeah. is up anyway. So it's so it's covered, isn't it? Really? I've been working with Sewing Street for two years, and I don't think we've had any situations yet where any of the the bulbs have not no. not been working. Two years. I know. <laughs> Next, well, yeah, exactly, yeah, because yeah. it's, been, it's been to be the second birthday next week. Mm. Well, no, actually, you you open, the, we have the birthday later than the real opening, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was near. I was near, didn't work either. <laughs> anyway, anyway, 23.99, uh, split payment. Up. Right, now you need to make, is there anything we need to just double thingy thingy? Right, okay, very quickly then. Okay, the reverse lamp, this one here, there are only nine left of these. Just nine of those left. Do what? Oh, have I? Okay, so when you switch the... I didn't see that, it's not on mine. Oh, yeah, there it is, there it is. Right, if you do the uppy downy light, right, and you get the perfect light, so that's your, the ambient light that you want. Yeah. Switch it off. When you switch it back on, 
Does it come back to where you switched it off or does it come back to its, its default setting? Well, I'm going to tell you because I'm going to put it on now. Right, hang on. So if we do that, right, so I've done it on there, right? Switch it off. Oh, no, long time. No. No. Reset, reset. Some, on some one have, of them, yeah, there is some on the Lumina, yeah. they come back to where you set them. I think that's because you've got a button yeah. and you do your clicky clicky till you get your right yeah. one, don't you? So no, you do have to reset that one. Not that that's a downside. Um, right, the touch one would look good in the colour of the zigzag. Oh, torch, you mean the torch? Mm, oh, right, don't be yeah. giving her ideas. Who was that one from? <laughs> Uh, that was from Anne. Uh, right, and then Michelle's just walked... Oh, Michelle. Michelle's already got three lamps and she's just ordered the... the which one did you order? White fold away. Anyway, uh, right, we've only got a couple minutes left. Anything else I need to say? Right. Make sure you check out your baskets. Do you know when your next date is? I uh, know, I don't. I need to... Oh, um... we're not having her again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get some more in the um, diary. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, you're going to any shows? Well, you're to I am, the show. yes. I'm going to be going to the one at the NEC. Um, now, is that same for pleasure or... I always or forget what When is it? What month It's is on the it? 17th of March. Okay, 17th of March. Yeah, I think that's so same I'm for I'm pleasure. Going to be, I'm going to be at that one. Are you um, going to Islington? No, I'm not going to that one. No? Um, but you're... Don't, don't you live... Oh, no, wait, oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't. I live in Northamptonshire. Oh, that's so, right, yeah. yeah. Um, and then what about... Uh, Festival of Quilts. Yes, in we'll August. definitely be at Festival of Quilts. We'll definitely be at Harrogate again because that's my favourite. Um, and I'm also going to be doing my first beauty show in April. So, um, at, what do you mean? At the uh, Excel. So, oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Oh, I see. So people are in the beauty, in the industry, beauty industry, which means there'll be even more outlets, which means we'll be pushed further down the list. No, then. you'll always be my favourite. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Right. Okay. Quickly, the last lamp was it a plug into the main? The this, little that one, one here. No, this is a USB. Right. So you, you obviously get your USB cable and it does need to be plugged in to work this one. It's not recharged. Right, okay. But you can you can buy like you can plug it into a three pin plug to have it switched yeah. on, can't you? Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So, so you don't have to put it into your computer or your sewing machine. You just buy like that. a that doesn't come with it. That doesn't come with it. No, does just it? the cable. But you can you can use your you can use the one that you use to charger. charge your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you can use it as a plug. Whoever asked that question, you can use it as a plug. Yeah. Right, I've got to go. Got to go. Thank you so much, as per usual. Now, watch her social media later because she's got pictures of us doing our makeup. I don't know if she's played put any up yet. I and I'll put one up as well later on. And did you take any pictures of Elliot in there? I did because I'm quite sad today. So that probably be a oh, day. okay, he might not be here. I probably won't see time. him again. Yeah, it's probably going to be the last The trouble is, he's today. like a bad apple. No, I think he'll come back. Bad penny, <laughs> bad penny. He'll be back. He'll be back. Right, don't go anywhere because after the break, we are doing an Easter wall hanging with Helen Newton. It's brand new. Here it is. You have got the choice of doing a pink border or a blue border. It's already selling. Now, that one is there. It's Helen's own one that she made. So what we're talking about is the border around the outside. You can choose between pink and blue. Oh, no. Now, the instructions on their own have sold. There's only 20 of those left. And we haven't even got to the hour yet. We will see you back here. Thank you, Claire, by the way. We will see you back here in four minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 44 33. 
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I, I, I say I ever made on my own obviously I did sewing at school but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a purlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios studios whilst the show was on it was really really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with the sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street goodness knows how that happened but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Helen Newton is here, all the way from Cheshire. <laughs> there she is. Now, lovely blouse. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, yes. I should get dressed up today. Yeah, know. it's all very kind Matching of you. Huh? Matching so, you, yeah. <laughs> Mine was a freebie, though. Uh, that's, oh. No, that's lovely, because it's like almost like a half-square triangles or patches, yes, isn't it? Yes, that's what I thought. I thought it'd be well for today. Thank Beautiful. you. Did you buy it in Chester? Yes, I did. Huh? Yes, yeah, oh. I did. Yes, and I've seen it on telly recently as well. Oh, have well. you? I what, were you modelling it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it appeared in a soap. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, always, it's always embarrassing, that, isn't it? When yeah. you've bought something, you love it, and then you suddenly see something. I like, know. And what kind of character was it on? I'm not going to say. Oh, was it? Well, it was a grandmother, but a very glamorous <laughs> grandmoth. <laughs> well, no, no, because I used to, Alfie yeah. Moon used to wear the same shirts as me, and yeah. I think, I've just spent all this money on these shirts and the costumes, but I've got Alfie Moon in them. Well, I'm a grandmother, so I don't mind. Oh, you know. exactly. Yeah. And a glamorous grandmother. Thank you very much. Anyway, it's really lovely to see you. you. Right, now look at it's behind, it's behind uh, Helen on the wall. But we got a picture. We got a picture of it. Show a picture of it because it's really, really gorgeous. Ours is slightly different because are they what? Oh, your toes in shot on the picture. Is that your duvet? Your Look, in the, in, no, no, here on the oh, screen. Oh yes. There, well, I thought home. they'd crop it when I uploaded the photo. Oh, I Elliot thought they'd doesn't crop understand it. cropping and things like that. <laughs> that's so, hang my on. feet. Yeah. That's the one you made at home yes. using your fabrics. Yeah, I made so, it some time ago. As yes. So we've now created a panel to do all the colours, and we the outside border yes. instead of it being that greeny grey colour, we've got the choice of pink or blue. Yeah. Okay, so let me take you through the bundles first of all. <clears throat> uh, do we know what the finished size is by any chance? 
Um, it's we can, I can measure it in a minute. It's right. less than a metre. Less than, oh, there you go, less than a <laughs> metre. Right, okay, which colour first then, please? Blue first, right? So, you get the instructions, which I'll go through in a second. So you get, now, that feels like one huge piece of fabric. Uh, two and a half, that can't, is that two and a half metres? No, 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 because you've got your blue here as well. That must be two metres. That's half a metre of your blue for your border. And then the panel is gorgeous. Look at this. So you've got there, you've got your dark grass, you've got your sky, you've got your green grass, you've got all your different colours there, coordinating fabrics. Uh, be, oh, there are the carrots. There are your carrots there. So you've got all the colours and enough fabric there to do all of your, your applique and everything. £34.99. So two and a half metres of fabric, the instructions, and this lovely panel. Now I need to warn you, oh, excuse me, these were selling before we even came on air this morning. So please be careful if you want these. Right, so that's the blue one. Are you working on the blue one or the pink one? Um, I, I'm not doing working on either. I'm not doing the board. Not doing the board, so it doesn't matter. Right, okay. Now, I've also got it in the pink version, so everything else is the same. You get your two metres of your white, you get your panel with all your gorgeous colours, you get your instructions, and then this one, you get your pink for your border. I presume what they've done in their in next door in the office they'll be going pink for boys and no get it right John pink for girls blue for boys or pink for Elliot yeah next, oh, no I'm gender fluid no I'm not we are gender fluid we are gender fluid so so basically you can do pink but if you've got a half meter of your own fabric home you could do your own border and put that in your stash that's not a problem Elliot's going through all the colours of the rainbow now soft grey would be nice. $34.99. Okay. Hi, I'm loving all the shows you have every day. Do you sell the pegboard and accessories for the sewing room? Love, mm. Pat. You mean this one? Ikea, Pat. Ikea. Yeah. When Elliot went shopping for the studio, he went with a big trolley to Ikea, got everything. I, don't, I can't guarantee they've still got it, because obviously that was over two years ago now. Uh, instructions on their own. Now, these, are when we just, before we came, we only had 20 of these left. Okay, how many have we got left? Right, there are 19 left and there are 13 in baskets. So please be careful. If you're going to get, if you've got that in your basket, please check out. If you haven't, you better do it quickly. Now, as per usual, they are very thorough, these Helen Newton patterns. There you go. All of the instructions. Fantastic. Even a picture of a sewing machine there. There, and then, oh, most importantly, there's your templates. There's your rabbits, your chickens, your eggs, your carrots, your clouds. Oh, more. Yeah. One, oh, the ear, the ear, look, and flowers, flowers and bow ties. It wasn't, I was spot the difference thinking, I can't see a difference, can't see a difference, thinking one's a boy and one's a girl. No, no, no. Anyway, you get all of that for nine ninety nine. That's going to sell out. I won't, be I won't be showing you that again. Do I? Okay, way too many people got in their basket now. Way too many people. Right, the only other thing I'm going to show you that you will need, you need some bond web. If you've not already got some of this, you'll need some bond web. We always suggest the most economical way of buying it is like this. This is a five metre roll, 30 centimetres wide, and it's 23.99. That'll last you. Don't leave it on your windowsill. It doesn't like being left in the sunshine. Keep it in a drawer. 23.99. Yeah, and Helen's working on the 560, which is the machine she's got at home. And Jackie Lewis says, morning, John and Helen. Helen, lovely to see you, Helen. That's Jackie Hi, Lewis Jackie. from near you, isn't it? And Hi, Carol Jackie. says, good morning. Good morning. And Crazy Lorraine says, good morning. Yeah, lots of people saying good morning. Right, that's the sewing machine. That's the sewing I was going to say, what do I for 60, 600 pounds? That's the sewing machine. Get it on split pay. But that's the machine, that, that's, your, that's your machine of choice. It is. That's the one you've got yes, at home, it is. isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay, lovely to see you again. Do some sewing. Right, okay. <laughs> well, what I've done to start off with, I thought rather than stitching, uh, creating the panel itself, I'll do this at home because I wanted to show some okay, free motion today. Okay, you can talk today. through it, can't you? I'll so talk you, you yeah. through it. Um, so basically, um, you've got the three, two green panels on yeah. there and you've also got the sky. Right. And it's a very simple case. You're going to make four panels and they're all going to be squares. Right. So you've got light grass with right. the bunnies and trees. You're going, and, you've, it's upside down. Uh, is it upside down? Oh, yeah. Is it upside down? Yeah, you need to it like it's towards you. That's oh, it. That's it. even that's easier. It. It. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we've got the bunnies and trees along the bottom. Yeah. 
and then you would add the darker grass uh, to that so you're doing a straight seam and you're just pressing it open or press it however you wish yeah, yeah. and then the sky so right. we do four panels and trim them to a neat square once you're done so Perfect. that's very very easy all yeah. straight seams yeah. and then you can add your applique pieces at that stage if you wish but as you know I like to put them going over onto the of board course. Yes, 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 this yes. is just just my thing and I well, think no, it's really what it makes it, that's what makes a difference it's Helen Newton because you, you, as soon as you yeah. look at it you know oh that's Helen Newton she's gone <laughs> off the edge of the thing I, I really like it because I think it draws you into the scene and <coughs> Um, it's almost like looking through a window as well, except we've got two horizons on this. We one. decided that because Hannah was looking at yesterday, yeah. you know, producer Hannah, and she was yes. getting all close. Where's the legs of the rabbit? And I said, it's like yeah. university challenge. Yeah. So they're really in two different parts of the room. but they Because for years I thought university challenge, the upstairs team went up a ladder yeah. to sit upstairs. I didn't realise it was too... Right, so so that's we've decided their university challenge, and we went Perfect. pink rabbit, redditch. We went like that when we did the questions. So so, but yes, okay. So so once you've done your four panels, um, on the the uh, instructions it tells you how to cut out the lengths and the very very simple rectangles uh, for the edge, which will come out of your white fabric Perfect. there. Um, so what I did first of all, and there is a chart on the pattern showing you the order in which to attach them. Right, um, it's just the easiest way. Oh I yes, could yes, work yes, here. Out. It's so, at, they're actually numbered completely. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and nine. nine. Now, obviously, you know, you can do them any way you like, but I started with the top one and then I joined these two panels with a white band here. Uh -huh. Then I added the bottom one. Right. Then I repeated the same for this vertical panel two yeah. and then I put the three longer ones at the end and um, I have left a little bit of extra leeway on the measurements of these because I think it's always good to trim it neater afterwards course, you yeah, know yeah. especially if you've got a cutter and a cutting board and yeah. um, so then you can get it to the nice shape that you want it to be perfect um, now when I actually made mine I put all the applique on and then I did the outer border and I put the fusible fleece on which is optional. The H640. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right because when I quilted it I wanted it to have a sort of padded effect as you can see on the one behind uh -huh, me. Uh -huh. If you're not confident at stitching through the wadding in that you can do it as I'm going to do today so we're going to attach the pieces and I'm just going to use a little bit of stabiliser oh, okay. underneath okay. so whichever way you find most mm -hmm. comfortable yeah. really to do that. So I'll move this over so the first thing we need to do to show off the dirty is to show. Yeah. I'll, co I'll cover it up oh, very yeah, quickly brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. how's that john Lovely. <laughs> so uh, as you mentioned there's two different uh, rabbits here but the only difference is one has a bend here yeah and um so you need to trace off the outline and the inner side and i'll just get my pen for doing that you can use a pencil or a pen and i've got some bond web here so just basically to start there you go. Now, if you notice on the quilt that I've done, one bunny has the bent here on the left and one bunny has the bent here on oh, the right. Yes. So when you've traced it off, if you're using a light box or not, just reverse it Okay. Fine. And when you're going to do. But it's up to you. If you want four bunnies with all with their ears up, you can do that. If you want you four can. bunnies with one and one, you can yeah, do Yeah, you can actually fit a couple in one of the... You can fit two side by side if you don't mind uh, going well, over the have edges as well. Have an empty window well. frame and have two and in the <laughs> other one. Or one just go reaching into well, the next one. <laughs> one's going visiting, yes. yeah, yeah. Or you could just have a face peeping through at one yeah. side. Oh, so you start off, as you do with all of my patterns, of tracing the outline uh -huh. onto your bonder web. So I'm just going to trace off the rabbit here. Lovely. I don't worry too much about being too accurate because, as you know, I'm not uh, a patchwork quilter. I'm, I have done it, but I'm, I'm not precise and neat. Yeah. And I well, like, you're very neat, but you're like, not, yeah, you don't have to worry about... If you, this was a quilt, you'd be worried about the quarter well, inch because exactly. on a thick line you wouldn't know yeah. what's on the inside. But it doesn't matter with that because you're no, making characters. You're we're making, making characters yeah. and it's very freehand yeah. and I like... The idea of if you if it goes a little bit big or a little bit small or your stitches don't quite go yeah. as you want them, don't worry about exactly. it. You'll just and we're all a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, aren't we? <laughs> Message from Eileen here. Morning, you two. These are so cheerful, so much inspiration as usual. Love the Bentia, just like our rabbit Hoppy from oh, Eileen. Lovely. Oh, lovely. I just thought I did a bit of character to them. Yeah. Um, as you say that yes, they haven't got any legs uh, or bunny tails. Well, no, no, because they're looking through the window like that. Yes, nonsense. they are. Yes, they are. So I've traced off the outline of the bunny, and then if you move your bond web. I have got some I've already cut out, so yeah. I'll go to those in a minute. So you can trace off the inner ear. I'll just show you briefly. Yeah. And then trace off, 
if you keep them close together. Yeah, yeah, so you're not you, wasting any of your paper You don't want to all, waste like. it. And also then, as these are going to be from the same fabric, when I cut them out, uh, you can leave it as one piece. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. then, of course, you've got the tummy to cut out here. Let's see if we can get this in here. There. I've just got a small piece of bonder web here today. Yeah, yeah, but that's fitting but in there. It's fitting in. So you trace off all the elements that you need. Uh -huh. And then you could choose a bow or a collar. You've got the clouds to trace off too and the flowers. Uh -huh. And you'll also need a pink nose, which is just a slightly curved triangle uh -huh. there. And then when we've actually um, created them all, then we're going to do the free motion face. So I won't spend time now no, no, cutting no, all fine, of this out because yeah. I have got some already done. Brilliant. But the fabric panels come uh, really well. They're coordinated beautifully. So you have got them labelled pink bunny, blue bunny, but you can swap and change. Yeah, yeah. There's and plenty of fabric. To choose where you want to put this now, yeah. Plenty of fabric to swap and change. So I'll just move those over a, li a little bit and then I can go to the ones I prepared earlier. Brilliant. Here we go. Oops, there we go. Right, so there you can see uh, some of the other ones I've already traced off, ready to demonstrate after, like the uh -huh. carrots. And then here I've got some ready to actually put on so we can do some sewing. Right. So I'm just going to take one of the rabbits. I'll start with the yellow one. So I've already peeled off the paper backing. Right, so okay. I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put this and I just rest the bunny on the bottom. Right. There. And just as central as you want. But as you say, you know, if you cut that at a slight angle, you could have them peeping through the corner. Yeah, 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 if you yeah, wish, yeah. you can do whatever you like. And I add the tummy on. And then I'll add the inner ears. Okay, so you build it. You haven't put an iron anywhere near it yet. You're well, just I was, putting all the pieces You out. can do. I mean, I've got quite a thick... This is my fabric from home here, and this right. is quite thick. So I am going to press this first oh, and okay. then add the others. Yeah. But with the fabric that you've got in the kit, you should be able to do it all in one oh, go. Oh, okay, brilliant. So I'm just going to do this. Oh, it's not it's on. not even on. It's not on. Oh, there we Plugged go. Plugged it into it. Hang on a sec. Let, let it heat well, up Well, let it heat up a bit, up a bit. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll put on the blue one. We'll do the blue yeah. one as well at the same time. Instructions on their own have now sold out. What's most popular, blue oh or pink? Oh, my goodness. Blue is the most popular so far. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, right. It shouldn't take long to heat no, up. No, no, exactly, exactly. There we go. Um, at, going back to the grass and the, and the sky and everything, are there yes. measurements for cutting those out all in the instructions as well? They are. For each individual strip, it's listed. It's right. all in centimetres. And um, as I say, if you wanted to make the quilt bigger, um, so I, you could do it as a play mat for a child if you wanted to have it on the floor, oh, if yeah, you didn't no, want oh, it on the wall. Well, 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 on a child on it. <laughs> oh, child throwing up on that. Or on, a, on the, the end of a bed. You know, you could add two more panels to it. Yeah. Make yeah. it, or another, you know, another three across the top. Make it as big as you want, or increase the size of the board. But also, once you've got, once you've got the um, pattern, yes. you could make a child's like a whole bed quilt in it. And all you need to yes. do is to, because it, uh, I know it's Easter. We're celebrating Easter. If you just took off the Easter eggs, yeah. You could have an all yeah. year, I mean, you could still have them on all year round because you buy them from the shop all year round, couldn't you? But, but if you don't want to make it an Easter quilt, it can be a child. That would look gorgeous on a child's bed. Well, I've had it? quite a few messages off people saying they want to make them for um, a, a new grandson or a new granddaughter oh, for, or a baby yes, shower. Yes. And uh, you can add your own accessories. Yeah, yeah, so honestly. get rid of the eggs, maybe, yes. and then just make it whatever you want to. Yeah. And oh. the other thing you can do with the pattern, is, I think we're nearly yeah, there now. The other thing you can do with the pattern, oops, the steam, let me just have a look, there we go, is um, each individual square uh, could be a cushion. Oh, yeah. So a lot of people have already got my pattern for, uh, I've done a lot of cushion designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So, you know, the instructions are very straightforward in that for creating the cushion. This isn't... Is that not sticking? No. Let me just have a give it a go. Get some steam on. Is there any water in it? Yeah, 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 plenty of water. It just needs a little bit longer, I think. Let me just go over yeah. it again. Yeah, it's fine. It's it? just getting to temperature now. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It doesn't want to steam very much, but it is. Well, you know what will happen? You'll put <laughs> it down and it'll go whoosh, like that, <laughs> steam like perfect. Like mine at home. Yeah. So as we were saying, you can use the templates on other things. Yeah. So if you had a child's toy bag, oh yes, uh, of course. pee bag for school, uh, I don't know if you were making them a lunch bag, yeah. anything like that, um, or storage box, fabric storage boxes, 
um, they'd be really good to use the templates for that. I think we're sticking now, John. We are actually sticking. Yeah, it looks like it's sticking. It's not here. steaming, but we're sticking. Oh, I tell you why. It <sighs> helps if you put it on max, doesn't it? Oh, that could be why. Oh, just don't worry. <laughs> uh, what what um, uh, Kat was just saying is maybe because yeah. you've done other animals on your cushions. Yes. Do a window, and then you have a rabbit in one, an elephant in another. Right? You know, kind of you all could, the different. Yes. Yeah. I've got in the fox and owl, and um, you know, so many people have sort of bought the collection, if you like, so yeah. one of each. Yeah. And yeah, you could you could swap and change. So yeah. You could have four different animals. Or cakes. You could have cakes in one. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, John and Helen. Love the show. I've just bought the panel and instructions. Love Helen's designs. I've got several now. Do you know what? I think when yeah. people have bought one of yours, yes. they like Jackie, they're, they're uh, not addicted, that's the wrong word, but you know what I mean? They're longing they're for them. the next one to come out, the next one to come out after that. I do get messages off people asking when, when's the next one coming out and what are you doing next? Yeah. And, and, and it's quite... I don't know, it depends on the season and the mood. And sometimes I can just be out and about and I see something. Yeah. Um, I think, well, that would make a lovely... Uh, a sort of cushion cover or a quilt or yeah. a tote bag um, but I was really looking forward to doing an Easter themed oh. uh, pattern it's just something that I really enjoyed doing. Did you go doing. to art school then? No, no not at all. Art was my best subject when I studied yeah. and I always loved art but right from a very young age uh, I've been sewing from as young as I can remember uh -huh. making dolls clothes, clothes for myself. I mean when I was um, a teenager up till Basically, I had the children. I was making my own clothes all oh, the time, wow. but I haven't done for a long time. And mm. then when the children came along, I was making their clothes. Of course. I'm not sure how happy they were. <laughs> uh, but they still <laughs> talk to you, don't they? they do. They do. But, you know, little um, romper suits and things like that. Mind that, yeah. Oh, there we go. It's just starting to steam now, so yeah. we're okay. I think the Bond web likes a little bit of steam just to stick. That one's not going on. Yeah, give it a press. Yeah. There we go. So uh, what, what I mean is, it, it, they, yeah. this can inspire you at home as well. You know, if you if you oh, think, oh, I've never been to art school and never done any training. No. And uh, you know, I'm not I'm not saying you have to. You, a lot of people think, oh, I have to have trained to have done that. Yeah. Whereas you've proved it. You know, if it's something you love doing, just pers persevere and keep doing it. Well, that's it. And I think it started gradually. I started. Oh, it's not sticking, John, for oh. some reason. But I should still be able to do the bonder web. I'm not sure why that is. Okay. Um, but. No, I think a lot of my designs, I start with a sketch. So I might do an outline of a bunny. And then I think how, because the thing I like the most is coordinating fabrics. Oh, and okay. I, I have a room full. I have boxes of one make, boxes of another make, boxes of planes, um, tweeds, everything. And I just want them all to um, coordinate. And so that's what takes me the longest, yes, yeah. is choosing the fabrics for each one. I don't have just all the blue for my first great grandson due in June for oh. making cot quilt, Sharon in Southampton. It'd be beautiful, oh, that's absolutely lovely. Yeah. I'll just move those over. So it hasn't stuck completely, but I think that's um, the fabric I've used. It worked fine at home, but for you, some reason. You don't have that fabric. That fab you just said that's the fabric that you've brought from home. Yes, so, yeah. it is. So you're, you've, yes. Got, uh, you've got your cotton um, yeah. fabric in your kit. You'll be fine. Yeah, because I, I didn't have the uh, sample of that at yes, home. Of course. So. Uh, right, have you got an angel policy? Yes, I'm perfectly happy with any of my patterns. If anybody wants to make them by hand and sell them online or at craft fairs or at any events, absolutely fine by me. The only thing is not mass produced. You yes, know, obviously. and also don't sell the pattern on. You know what no, I mean? No, don't, no. don't tell the pattern on <laughs> yeah. and also give her a nod saying, oh, it's a Helen Newton design. Absolutely. So a link back to my Etsy shop is, you know, would be would be fabulous. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah. So if you've got your outer border on and yeah. you've got all your applique parts on and you've got your H640 fused underneath, yeah. that's when I've done the quilting on okay. this one. But today I'm just going to use a little bit of the stabiliser okay. and I'm going to show you how. I outline that the rabbit. Away. Isn't that funny that it's it not is. sticking that one? I don't know what it is, but I think I'll be able to do it, John. All right, then. Yours will so, be stuck down nicely. I, <laughs> and I've also got my friction pen. Now we've ironed it on, I can add any details that I want with the friction Brilliant. pen. Uh, so I'm just going to add the face. You right. can follow the template you wish, or... So I'm using my... Oh, yeah, they've got... You've got oh, sorry, do I frightened. need to move that over No, 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 again, no, but John. also a lot of people are frightened. Like, we go, oh, draw a nose, draw an eye. Yeah. People are terrified about where to put it, whereas you've got them on the template. I've got them on the template, yeah. so you can follow those, or mm -hmm. you can do your own as well. Yeah. And I'm just drawing it on because 
I'm just, I'm used to doing them now, yeah. Yeah, I know my coat. So just to give me an idea, we've got the pink nose to add as well, and then we'll add the face. But let's right. do some sewing now. So how have you set up your machine then? Right, well the first thing I've done with the machine is to lower the feed dogs. So there's mm -hmm. a little lever on the back of this one which is really handy. I think you find them on the back or the side of most machines. Yeah. Um, I've changed the foot. This is a, uh, it's just a free motion or darning foot. This is a universal one that I've brought from home. Uh -huh. I've got several different ones. Um, some of them hop as you stitch. Yeah. Uh, I've recently gone over to this one that just hovers while you're stitching. Right, you have. So it's like a loop. I've yeah. got some that are an open loop so that you can you can see, but I do like this one for doing the bigger projects. Okay, perfect. That um, doesn't come with the machine, so if you bought the machine, yeah. you'd have to get in touch with Elna to buy those yes. separately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I lower the speed to about just above halfway. Right. Um, now, you can have it on full speed, and I do sometimes do that for big projects, but if you want to add fine detail, um, I think it's more controllable. Okay. Okay. Uh, too slow. People think sometimes if you have it on slow, they think, I only want to do step by step. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't make it easier to stitch. No. Definitely not. Um, so I'm going to do some of this now. And also, I've got some quilting gloves. Okay. We don't sell those, but we have got the So Easy ones on the website. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So I tend to use these. I wear these a lot um, because it just, for me, it gives you much more grip on the actual background mm -hmm. and um, it just helps me move it more slowly and intricately. Because you're, going, you're going to be moving the fabric, whereas on you do normal stitching, the machine takes it through, doesn't it? That's whereas right. When you've got the feed dogs up, um, the machine itself wants to take your fabric through in straight lines yes. uh, and that's the accuracy you need for dressmaking and quilting and patchwork and all those sorts of things. But we just want to go off grid and, yeah, <laughs> and do our own thing, which is what I absolutely love. Um, so we're going to outline the rabbit first okay. and I usually do two layers just because I like it to look like a pencil, okay. pencil drawing, but you can do three, you can do one. And I've got black thread here to show you... Um, so it stands out well on the machine. Would you normally use black? Well, on the quilt behind me, I used a grey. Okay. Because uh, with it being pastel colours, I didn't want it to look too stark. Um, so I quite like using a grey or a dark grey, or if you were using maybe autumn colours, use a dark brown. Okay. Uh, so it depends how much you want it to stand out yeah, on the finished yeah. thing. But you're not match. You, we're not matching it. We're not thinking, oh, this is a white rabbit, no. I need to use white. You, you're using a thread that is going to be seen. Mm. On some of the designs, when I've done white daisies, I have outlined them with white, um, just so that you've got a quilted effect. Oh, okay. But for the majority of it, we're, we're sort of drawing and adding the yeah, outlines. Course, yeah. um, so whichever way you want the fabric to face you, it really doesn't matter. But what you're going to try and do is stitch, but without turning the fabric. Right. So I'm just going to set it up here. I've got my stabiliser underneath, right. which is just some stitch and tear, as we haven't got the quilting on. So I'm just going to start going along here. So I'm going along the bottom to secure the rabbit in place. So if you were to let go, yes. all you'd be doing is to, it would just stitch on top of itself. It wouldn't move. If, if you I got the put my off. foot down, yeah. it doesn't move at all. So the only way this fabric is moving is with my hands. Yes. Now, the faster you have the stitches, the more the needle is out of the fabric, so the more fluid you can move it. So you can get more accurate shapes, you can get more uh, even right. uh, lines. Which is why I have it on I half think. rather than... Half, slow. yeah. If you have it on slow, um, it's quite jerky to move the fabric, and I don't think that gives you the best finish. No, so we'll not. carry on up the side. So as you now can see... Now, this is where sewers will go... Oh, yeah. because you, if you were norm, doing normal sewing, you turn the fabric round and go exactly. in a straight line up there, but you're actually sewing sideways now, aren't you? I'm sewing sideways and now I'm going to sew backwards as well. So I'm pulling the fabric towards me yeah. and the machine will stitch wherever you take it. Exactly. Now, if you don't do free motion, a lot of people don't like free motion, um, you can do it with a straight stitch on your machine, just stopping and turning the fabric yeah, yeah, at yeah, each yeah. corner, uh, or slightly curving it as you go around. Brilliant. Um, Jill says, only just got up and diagnosed with COVID positive yesterday. Oh, no. Missed out on Helen's beautiful pattern. On the plus side, I get to watch it all day. Oh, Jill, that's lovely. Oh, the pattern is in the kit, if you want to buy the kit. There, so I'm just and going to go around the tummy. 
Kaylee. Hi, Helen. I've missed you. So glad you're back. I love your designs from Kaylee in East Sussex. Thank you, Kaylee. That's really kind of you. I have so many messages as well after the show. It's it's just lovely to oh. sit. I sit on the train going home and I, I reply to everybody. Oh, great. And uh, yeah, it's great fun. Great uh, fun. Donna says, morning, Helen. Watching you whilst I'm painting the hallway and stairs. You mind, oh. you don't fall. Um, <laughs> thank you, Helen. Dr. Frost to watching. She says, good morning, Helen. Good morning. Good morning. So, so I'm just going to go. So I've outlined it, as yeah. you can see. I've outlined the well, body. They're very wobbly lines. I know. I'm standing up, John. And I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, no, but I like it. No, no, I thought you were trying to say it's meant to be wobbly. No, well, often when I do it, if I'm doing a, a piece with very fine detail, yeah. obviously I'm relaxed at home, relaxed at Okay, I was, I was going to ask that. So you don't do it yeah. standing up, obviously. No. Do I, you no, need some to be do. at a certain level with your machine, or is it just your uh, normal sewing? No, I think it's personal preference. Yeah. Um, quite often I'm, I'm videoing them as well, because I put some online. and So I do have to work sometimes at funny angles to get a good yeah. view. Isn't it funny? Um, how our lives have changed like how we all I mean we had to do it because of the way of the world and everything but yeah. five years ago you wouldn't have dreamt of sit when you no. were working in a bank five years ago really. but, but do you know what I mean it's kind of you wouldn't have thought oh I'll sit at my machine at home and video no. myself on a camera or on a phone or anything absolutely not and I've always done photographs I, I, I like photography and I've always done uh, spent a lot of time sort of playing about with the photographs yeah. but it's reels and videos now so I'm trying to do quite a few sort of step by step videos so I'm going to go around the edge of this collar now. Okay. So as you can see. Uh, Susan says, lovely to see you back, Helen. Thank you. And happy Hi. birthday to Becky Alexander Frost. Is that her birthday today? Oh, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Becky Alexander Frost. Didn't know it was your birthday today. There we go. So I'm just going to go around the collar. So I stay just inside of the edge because normally it would be fused really well. I know yes. I've had a bit of difficulty today with this one. Oops. And again, I'm not used to standing up, but I shall do my best. There we go. And I'm going to go across, and then I'm going to go around it again. And then I'm just going to follow around again. So if you felt that you went a little bit too far away from the edge on the first time around, or a little bit too far in, you can correct that on the second lap. Um, apparently on YouTube, Angel51 has said, hello, Helen, lovely to see you again. Uh, I love your designs. Oh, that's so good. Do you know what? After being on here as well, I go away home with such a good feeling oh. and full of inspiration for the next one. Yeah. And uh, it, it's just so nice to be able to work at, at your hobby. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. It doesn't feel like work, does it? Well, they say it's, that, don't they? Yeah. You have a job that you love doing, you'll never do another day to work in your life. Exactly. And it feels very much like that at the moment. Yeah. So oh. I'm just going to go round. So is this, is this, oh, hang on. What foot is Helen using, please, from Sylvia? Um, I think this is a darning foot. Yes. Um, I'm not sure. I've had this one in a very long time, and it's just basically a loop. There's a little slit in the side to put your thread through. through. It doesn't come with the machine, though, Helen. But if you no. rang uh, Elna, if you've got an Elna machine. Oh, right. Um, um, who is it? Sylvia. Sylvia. Mm -hmm. They'll be called different names by yeah. different makes. So don't just ring up saying, I want yeah. the darning foot or I want, yeah. tell them what you want it for and they'll explain the best one for you. They will it do. It looks almost like a ruler. It almost looks like one that you use when you're using rulers as well, doesn't it? That yes, like yeah, those, exactly it. it. Yeah. Yes, yes. So if you're doing your quilting and you're following a design with the rulers, it would be perfect for that. I've got Absolutely. another question for you. Lulu yeah. says, Helen, what sort of thread do you advise to use for the free motion? Well, I've tried quite a few, and this one I'm using today is 100% polyester. I like the Gutemann threads, yeah. but any you know polyester yeah, yeah. thread. I have used cotton ones, and I find that as you're stitching, particularly with free motion, and lots of stitches very close together, over time they start to fray a little bit and get thinner and thinner, oh, okay. sort of just where the needle's entering, and yeah. they do tend to break right. uh, much more than oh, the Oh, so polyester. sometimes you think, oh, I'll use my best, my best posh yeah. one, but actually you don't need to, as long as it's a I good... Wouldn't. Polyester. Yeah. I've tried every thread you can imagine, and yeah. this is the one that I personally find, perfect, perfect. find the best. So I'm going to go around the face now. Just Helen always thread. gives positive comments when you make her projects. Oh, oh, that's nice. If you make one and post, so you like people to make them and post them on your. On oh, your I page. do, and if they send them to me, I share them on my social media. Oh, okay. Because I sometimes people choose completely different fabrics, and 
I had a sheep cushion that I did in pastel colours uh -huh. and somebody else uh, created it in like a sort of fleecy, fluffy, uh, almost velvety fabric. Oh yeah. Oh and it was absolutely beautiful. Oh, it wow. was gorgeous. So I asked her permission and uh, I have put a few pictures on. Oh right. But I do on What's my What's your Instagram called? Helen Newton Sews. Okay. Yeah, I think it's helen.newton.sews, but you'll find me if you just put my name yeah. in. Everything's under my own name now, Helen right. Newton Sews. And um, so I like to share them online because I think then it inspires other people to see what you can do if you just have the pattern and yeah. using your own fabrics. And this is your life now, isn't it? It's like this is when it. I first met you, you did work in a bank, didn't you? I worked in a bank. I worked for the NHS for 12 years. Yeah. I worked uh, in a bank more recently, and I've had spells of doing this full time as well in between. Yeah. Um, but then circumstances change, different things change. Sometimes you go away and you come yeah, back yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, this is it now. This and is me. Uh, you also, uh, I don't know if you still do, you used to do one on one lessons in the Northwest, yes, didn't you? Yes, I do. Well, I'm currently in the process of uh, moving while well, buying a Again. new flat. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Last time I saw Again. you just move. Well, I'm renting at the moment, oh, so right, I'm buying my own place. Oh, and fantastic. as soon as I do, the second room uh, is bigger than I have at the moment. Uh -huh. So I'm going to kit it out. I shall be off to Ikea as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same as <laughs> Other Elliot. Other shops are available. Absolutely, yes. And, um, and you'll be doing one-on-one -on -one lessons. Then? I will do, yes. I want uh, more of a, a workstation so I can have one or two people in. Oh, brilliant. Uh, just much better space because I really enjoy the tuition. But I don't tend to do big groups. No, no, no. Uh, I think it's quite a hands-on thing. Yes. And the more time you can give to someone, because everybody does it a little bit differently, yeah. um, then, I, I don't know, I just think they get a lot more out of the lesson if it's just one or two I people. I was going to say, if you're in a big group and you're in, at the back and you're like, it's not working for me, it's not working for me, it's yeah. more embarrassing and more, and I just get all stressy and then go, oh, I don't want to do this. Anyway, well, if you're yeah. one on one or two on one or three on one, you can say, oh, mine is, and you feel like you're part of the group, don't you? Well, that's, that's lovely. It. We'll keep you posted about when those when she's moved and yeah, won't give her address on, away, obviously. No, they'll be on my social media, yeah. but um, and I have been to other people's places. Well, they live local. I, I don't yeah, mind yeah, yeah. going and using their own machines. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to go around the area again. And that's going to be in the Chester area. Is it? I live in the Chester area. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, right, this is going the seam, so I'm just going to go up. Now the yellow insert isn't stuck down at all, so I'm just going to see if I can catch that with my finger. Right, yours will be yours will be stuck down with the bondage. We'll I think it's just because I was pressing it with the iron not quite hot enough. So, Jackie says I love my tuitions from Helen. She's oh. a great teacher. <laughs> Jackie's. I've done some demonstrations in in a couple of um, sort of craft stores and that, uh -huh. and Jackie's come along and uh, she, oh, she's been the best help. Oh. Just, yeah, I haven't done them for a little while, but Jackie always oh, like lovely to see a friendly face as yeah. well. And uh, yeah, she'd be there and she'd be helping me. And I'm going, oh right, you cut that out, Jackie, and I'll carry on doing oh, the rest. Oh, that's nice. So uh, yeah, she's great. And we did say we'd meet up for a coffee very soon. So Jackie, yeah, yeah, message me and Dave's we'll. Dave's not we'll... been well though. Oh, Dave's got COVID or something. Oh yes, that's right. Yes, I did Should hear. Should be all out of it by now. There. So. I've done the ear, uh -huh. so you can see that's outlined. Let's have a look at that, Elliot. There you go, lovely. Okay, so I'll go on to do the other one and the other eye. Okay. So we're just going to go straight across the top. So you don't, you don't, you've not cut your threads, right? you just leave them? I don't, I find because there's so much stop starting on this that I, I pull a thread, I leave it sort of out to one side yeah. as best I can, and then I go along at the end and I snip them snip all. Okay, um, cool. But it's it's your own preference. Some people prefer to snip as they go along and stop start. Yeah, of course. So I'm just going to go up and round the ear again. There we go. Oh, he's still positive, Dave. Nine. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Hi, he oh, says. No. Uh, I'm new to free motion. Yes. Can you say what the machine tension settings are as I struggle with the bobbin thread show, thro showing through on the top? Well, I, I do. Some people turn them to zero. So they turn the stitch length to zero and um, the tension's right down as well. Right. Um, but I don't because I think once you've dropped the feed dogs, um, you are in control. It's yes. not It's not sort of how quickly it's taking the fabric through or anything yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Um, so I don't adjust anything myself personally. Oh, let me just lift that. Um, I just, oops. So I basically, it's left on a straight stitch. Right. And then I lower the feed dogs and go. Yeah. So I don't uh, change it at all. 
hope that helps, Heidi. <laughs> It's a bit of a case of trial and error, really. Well, yeah, what yeah. works I mean, with your you own machine? Yeah, yeah. I just, I what I do is just make a, 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 you know, get a piece of fabric, put some stabilizer on it, and just have a go. Yes. And, sit, and just if there is, if there are things happening, then try putting your tension down or try yeah. doing. But yeah. I definitely put, put your stitch to naught. Yeah. Because you're you're determining the size of your stitch by how fast you push it, aren't you? That's right. So I will just go around here. So I'm just going to lift the needle. Yeah. Pull some thread out usually, grip it with a finger, and then I'll go back here to do the other side. Uh -huh. But you can use the scissors on your machine. I bought this machine after using it here. Um, uh, I think I was using it on its own quarter. quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanted an update, and I'd had my mother's sewing machine, uh, which was a brother, but we'd had it for so long. It was about 20 plus years old, uh -huh. but it still stitched really well. And you know how you get attached to a sewing oh, yeah, machine? Yeah, but totally. I thought, no, I've, I've got others, but this is my job now. Yeah. So um, so I bought one of these after using it here and absolutely oh. love it. It stitches through everything. So you see, I'm just going round and round the eye area uh -huh. and I've left a little bit clear, little area clear for sort of that sparkle in the eye. Oops, I'm just, it's just, Go. Just bear with me. There, and back up. So we've now done, I'll use the trim there. So we've done the basic outline. Uh -huh. So all we need to do now is add a nose and the uh -huh. mouth. So if we do that next, yeah. I'll just get the noses. Uh, the morn. Oh, now morning. The foot that Helen is using is the embroidery slash darning foot, and is category B for this machine. That must be Jane oh. from Elna. Look, Jane. It doesn't say where she's from. Oh, that's uh, if brilliant. It is Jane from Elna. Hello, Jane Broken. How are you, my love? Uh, thank you for that information. If it is you, that's, if it is, I'll still send a kiss to whoever it is. Yeah, my thing is, I've had so, so much of my equipment. I've had so long. It's hard to remember where you got it from yeah, and what exactly. make it is uh, and everything. So I've just got some plain pink fabric here. This right. is just from my uh, scrap, but you can use some of the pink floral if you like for yep. the noses on there or whatever colour you like. So I'm just going to iron these on. Right, not too no. much this time. No. I think I had too much steam going on at the end. Oh, so, is that what it was? So, I don't know, I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm being honest, I don't know. So I'm just going to cut out a nose. Yeah. And then, if we have time, the one thing I did want to show yeah, you yeah, was, you've got plenty of time. was some of the, um, doing the lines on the carrots. Yeah, so. Oh yes, what I also like is that you've got slightly different shapes on the mouths of those over there, haven't you? You've kind of done yes. the one that's the, like your sample in here, but then you've done one with like a, a wavy smile, one with a lovely, cute little anchor smile, smile and everything. I, I just think it's so easy when you're doing it yourself to add, um, you know, detail and character. Yeah. Now if I look at this one here, you could put the nose really high up if you wanted it to look sort of quite like a cheeky rabbit with big cheeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Or if you follow my instructions, I've got it a little bit lower down. So you can place it. Isn't that funny? Like. How just moving a pink triangle changes completely. It does. And it's it does. still the same shape. You know, um, some of them you could have it even on the side a little bit, oh, as if yes, it's looking no. left. You can do whatever you like with them, and then you can do a straight line of stitching at the bottom, or you can do a curvy line. So I'll just fix this on. It's going to work this time. I hope so. <laughs> it was getting me all hot and bothered before. <laughs> there we go. Yep, we're in. Yep. We're in, we're at maximum temperature now. So I'll get my gloves back on. It's like doing surgery. I have so many people ask me about the gloves on the videos. Uh -huh. uh, it's saying, is it to prevent the needle sticking in your, in oh, your no. finger? <laughs> I'm like, no, definitely not. No. no, just for grip. So I'm going to do the nose freehand now. Uh -huh. So I'll start at the bottom, get my thread out the way. Oops, where is it? There we go. I'm just going to go up the side of the nose, loop across the top, just to a slight curve, back down, and then I'm going Blue to... Blue is well in the lead of pink. I will do a recap at the end of the show. I'm just going to do a curved mouth. Again, you can practice with your friction pen or, you know, your, your fabric marker pen. Yeah. Doing different shaped noses. Uh, different shaped mouths. 
So there's the nose. So straight away he starts to come to life and add a bit of character. Oh. And then what I've done on some of them as well is I've added three dots, which I'll just do now, uh, for the whiskers. Right. I did add, I did draw whiskers on one of them at first and I wasn't really happy with it. I thought it was too fussy, too right, much detail. Okay. Um, so you just do three little tiny circles. circles. Lift your needle, grab your thread, keep it out of the way. Uh -huh. Put your needle in again and do another little circle. So I lift the needle, lift the foot, grab the thread, and uh -huh. then you've got long threads to trim off after. Yeah. Which is really, for me, it's the best way. Yes. And then I'll cut that because we're stopping there. Elliot says, could yeah. you do French knots for those? Absolutely lovely. You could add a lot of the detail by hand at the end. Is Elliot good at French knots? He's is he? the only thing he knows. <laughs> 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 yes, you can. And, and you can decorate them as you wish. You could add buttons to the front of their, uh, their tummies, you know, and their bow ties, all that sort of thing. Um, so I thought we'd do now some of the carrots, if yes, you like. Yeah, no, so, that's fine. We've got 10 minutes. Oh, fine. smashing. Oh, good. Right, so I'll get my carrots. I've pre-traced them off here, right. as you can see. So I'll just do of carrots and their tops and then got a message from Kate while we're doing that morning all love your shirt oh my shirt and uh, Helen's very oh. smart the bunnies have so much personality they're fab great show thank oh. you this is my freebie this one this one this one freebie. I don't know if they meant to send it to me I've ordered five no six yeah. I ordered six uh, from this company in China I didn't know they're in China at the time anyway uh one didn't arrive, did it? Anyway, the, the, that was the black one I wore yesterday and it arrived with this one in the bag, so I didn't say anything. No, absolutely not. It's gorgeous colour. I it's a love bit, I've got to put colours. some darts in it. It's a little bit too big for me, this one, look. You'd be good at doing that, John. Yeah, I might uh, let it out and lend it to Elliot for his new job. <laughs> so, I've just roughly cut out the outline of the carrots here. Uh -huh. As I say, when you're first fixing it on, you don't need to cut it out accurately. So that's the carrots on the orange fabric, and it is it is labelled carrots on this. Um, I've got any plain green. I haven't got the green actually with me here, I don't think, the plain green. So I'll go for the check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you that's the joy of it, like. isn't it? You can use whatever you want for any of the Absolutely. bits. Absolutely. And if you've got more things in your stash that you yeah. just want to use up, so maybe after you've done the kit, if you want to make more for other people, mm -hmm. you just carry on. So I'll quickly cut these out and join them on. So the carrot shape, they are all the same. So I've just traced off six. Uh -huh. um, the other thing is when you put the outer border on, um, you could actually add more um, of the carrots or the chicks or whatever you wanted oh, yeah. around the edge. Mm. Um, you could just keep going, just keep adding more and more. Yeah, don't go too overboard though, you know, less is no. more. <laughs> you want to be able to see the rabbits, yeah. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it does get a bit addictive. You think, oh, finish. Oh, no, oh. I'll just do another carrot. Oh, no, I'll just do another... Exactly, whatever. and that's what I find myself sometimes, it's knowing when to stop. Yes. Like I was saying to you, doing the whiskers on the rabbits. Yes, yeah. uh, sometimes I just say, no, no, stop, stop. But also, when you're doing the prototypes, that's yeah. what the whole point of doing a prototype is for, isn't it? So you can well, go, oh, no, that doesn't work. I won't put that on it. You know, exactly. You and I've got so many prototypes as well at home that are half done because I'm thinking, mm, right, I need to carry on. What do I need to do next? Yeah. But I'll go away and I'll come back to them. Yeah. Um, so... I think one design I'm, I'm thinking of doing next, which I mentioned to you before, was a very similar thing to this. Um, but it's going to have um, the Four Seasons. Oh, lovely. So I love the trees. Whenever I do trees, they're very popular. Um, so I thought I'd do different backgrounds, but uh -huh. in different colours. So we'd have snow in the winter. Oh, lovely. Autumn leaves. So that's one I'm hoping to do. So I'm going to add a carrot here. Right. And then I'll take off one of the uh, topping bits here. They're peeling well, these actually. Today. Oh, that's good. So, put them wherever you like. Uh huh. And then I've just added. Oops. Oh, this is going so well. It's, it's sticking, sticking to my finger. finger. It's because your fingers are warm. It is. Uh, yeah, Marina I'm... says, Morning, both loving the bunnies. I know, aren't they Aww. lovely, Marina? Marina's daughter was on telly last night. Oh, really? Yeah, How it was a documentary about saving some. It's, you know these people that go at the weekend and drive their cars into each other round a round circle thing. What's it called? Oh, um, stock car. Stop no, not stock no. car. Well, anyway, she's the flag girl, and there was threatening. They were threat. It was like a drama. It was like an episode of EastEnders. Oh. They're threatening to shut down the thing. So this very mad, this grubby-looking man who was in charge of it and everything, and she was the flag girl. She was pregnant. She had pink hair. And she was crying, and she was. It was all. It was all going on. Oh, that's all going. Anyway, in the end, oh. the people who were going to develop the land didn't get planning permission. So it's still all right for time for now. For now. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was and in, there was um, me just watching down, telly Paul. in the hotel. It was, <laughs> it was me just sitting watching telly in the hotel and all this is going on. Oh, yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Right, so where, what are we doing now? So I've got the, the carrot, carrot right. here. Um, I've added three to each side of one of the uh, the rabbits in one of the scenes. So I'm just going to outline it first. Uh -huh. And this fabric that they've put on, oh, excuse me, it's, there we go. So I'm going to go round once. I'm going to go down the bottom mm -hmm. and back up the top. And I'm going to do the leaves at the top. So I'm staying within quite a way inside this time. Right. And then next time round, when I come to go, I'll just go closer to the edges of them to sort of right, yes. seal them in. Well, also you secured it, haven't you, with the, the well, line further in, then it's not going to slip when you come to do the... Exactly. There's nothing worse than you doing the outside line and it moves or buckles or Yeah. Something. It's not running as smoothly as I'd like with it at the moment, but we'll see. So on the second lap, what I'm doing is I'm just doing some little horizontal lines as I'm going down. So I might do two, I might do one and a short one. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to do a longer one. And it's just to add those ridges that you see. Yeah, on the now if you're, if you're thinking, oh I could never do that, I could never do that. If you yeah. go to your pattern, Helen's actually drawn those lines as a guide on the pattern. Yes. So if you don't want to do it freehand, get your friction pen and draw them on, like you see on the pattern here. So whilst you're doing this as well, you're also adding the second lap around. But if you're not confident, you can stop and start, or you could add these little lines by hand. We're but not I looking think at the pattern, then, are it? it adds a lot more detail to the uh, carrot itself. There we go. Put in. And the more random they are, really, the more realistic it looks. Yes, it's yes, yes. So I'm going to go down around the leaves, but I'll go closer to the edges this uh -huh. time. Elliot always buys, they've got a section in Elliot's uh, supermarket where they have yeah. ugly veg and wonky The wonky veg. ones. Yeah. <laughs> the wonky veg. Oops. It's jumping a little bit on this today. I'm not sure what that is. There. So there you can see. We've done a little carrot. Fabulous. Isn't it funny? I just put a few lines it just it, brings it to it life totally, totally totally brings it to life um so i'm just wondering what else i could demonstrate for you on that uh, i can do one of the flowers go on then very quickly like, we'll just do a flower quickly. and then we'll recap yeah. we'll do a flower okay Lovely. if i've got uh, time we'll just go on against the clock against the clock oh john now you're putting <laughs> putting the pressure on me now no, you've got plenty of time don't worry don't worry don't worry <laughs> oh you're mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> right so let's just put this on Quick, there. Cut it out quickly. Yeah. Oh. oh, don't. I mustn't pick on you because that I had a letter last week saying I was very unprofessional picking on the no. guests. Yeah. I like the banter. That's, that's why all people it is, watch. You say. Also, I oh. think it's. A, I think it's when two people feel very yeah. comfortable with each other. Oh. I think because we don't. We don't mean. You know, there's no meaning behind it. It's done out of affection, out of love for each other, isn't it? So uh, me and Elliot, right? We're so horrible to each other. It means we must be totally in love with each other, doesn't it? Absolutely. Oh, he's going to miss me so much. Oh. He's going to miss me so much. There we go. So I've cut that out. Yeah, I totally agree. I think the people sometimes that I'm closest to and I get on with, you have the best band to Oh, with. and I think it, we're, we're uh, both Northerners. We're both from yeah. we're both You from can the be North as rude West. as you we're like sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> like scouse, the Scouse humour is just yeah. brilliant. So it? I'm going to add this okay. flower yeah. here. So obviously you can theme each one. I'm just putting them all on this bottom yeah. corner here for ease today. Oh yeah, yeah. Now Elliot's saying, why haven't you overlapped it into the into the into the sashing? Well, I've just changed my mind yeah, at exactly, the last Elliot. minute. That's what it's all about. I've got John and Elliot now, haven't yeah. I? <laughs> oh, Elliot, did you not know Elliot's a sewing guru? Oh, really? Yeah. really? Well, French knots galore. They call we him. We shall see. Okay, right. So I'm just going to outline this now. You can do any design that you like. I've done a basic outline yeah. on mine. But I'm just going to go all the way around and then you can put a white circle in the middle if you like as the centre of the flower or you can just do it with the outlining. So I'm just going to go, for some reason it's not, let me just, there we go. It's not moving smoothly today. I wonder what this is. I don't think it's the needle might be getting blunt on it. It could be, I haven't replaced the needle so yeah. it's not a very good 
Gina, Georgina says, Hi, John and Helen, love the demo. You're giving me, you've given me the confidence to try, nothing to do with me. Sir, that's doing it, not me. Uh, giving me the confidence to try free motion. Give it a go. So, some people, when you first did it for the first yes. time, you didn't like it either, did I didn't. You? I put it away for six months and I thought, this is, this is not for me. I was so used to following patterns and stitching yeah. straight lines. Um, and then I just love the creative side of it. I mean, I've gone very wobbly and a bit square here. Yeah. But by the time I finished, it, it, it will look absolutely yeah, fine. Look, exactly. it, it will. Uh, what did Mandy say just then? Morning. Love to see Helen back on our screens. I have almost all of her patterns. Oh. I have to get this cute bunny pattern as well from Mandy. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Mandy. I'm glad you're enjoying doing them. I told you to get addictive, don't they? Oh, Annette, John, you've not got a mean bone in your body. <laughs> Loving the show and your shirt. I like this shirt. I didn't think I was going to like it. It's a bit big. I might dart it a bit, but isn't it lovely? Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you said Elliot is going to miss you. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Collector, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. It's Elliot that's leaving. Right. Is Elliot leaving? Uh, oh, and now we're allowed to say it. We're, yes, he's leaving. We'll miss him and his banter. You have to be clever to have banter, don't you? <laughs> Good luck <laughs> you in do, all you John, do, yes. says Maureen. He's going on to do a va fabulous job. I'm not going to tell you where it is or anything like that, but it's a really lovely job. And he can get me a um, discount on my um, bicycle repair kit. Oh. Not that I've got a bicycle. No, me neither. <laughs> no, no, I have actually. I've, 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 yeah. Lulu, I did free motion in the 80s at school. We had to use a hoop. So we didn't have the... F oh. Uh, yeah. We didn't have the foot, just the needle. Oh, so you had no foot on it at all. She just had the bare needle. I've tried that. Yes, I have, but it, it's not for me. No. Uh, the reason is I found that I, I like a good size hoop, but it kept knocking against the edge of the machine. So I was having to move it when oh, you're working on a big yes, picture. Yes, yes, yes. So I prefer to just, um, you know, freestyle it. So. How can anyone say you're a professional, Helen? Oh, no, John, <laughs> John, John. How can anyone say you're a professional, John? You're so caring. I've got the wall. <laughs> oh. Different subject now. I've got the wall hanging pattern and the rabbit kit, Jackie. Oh, oh lovely. Question. I thought it has to be a foot that has a spring and jumps up and down with the needle. Helen stays on the fabric. Is it easier? Y yeah. You choose which one you want, right? You can get the bouncy up and down one, which I have seen you use in the I've past. I've used it a lot, and it's the one I first learned on, so I used it for a long, long time, yeah. and I did like it. But I've since changed to one that sits. You can adjust the height, and I think I may need to adjust this slightly higher. Yeah. I think maybe that's why yeah. it's not running Yeah, smoothly. that's what you need it to do. It just needs to hover over the top of the thing. If you yeah. buy the 680 plus, uh, you get you get you get three versions. Well, four versions actually. You get the hoppy downy one. You get the solid one like that. It's got a closed toe, an open toe, and a clear foot as well. So you can do all three. I know. Yeah, I think it might just be a little bit low on the fabric. It was fine when I was practicing before. Uh, do you know, yeah, do you know what? It's mostly because you didn't you say that some of yeah. those fabrics are thicker than the ones you're going to get in yeah. this kit. So maybe yeah. that's just it. So I've just done some swirls in the middle. I've done some outlining. Uh, swirls, are they called? Swirls. They're called swirls, yes. Perfect. That's the thing about free Bring it into shot because Elliot needs to see that because he doesn't Oops. know what a swirl is. A swirl. Yeah. <laughs> French knots, he's fine with. French knots. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him laughing there. <laughs> No, you're going to the flower, Elliot. Flower. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> He's in a funny mood today. Yes. He's been frisky all morning today since trouble. he arrived. Yeah. <laughs> so all you need to do is trim your threads. Yeah, so exactly. Anyway. Fantastic. Right, I will get recap. Now, Helen, you're back in an hour's time. What are you doing? Oh, I, I know. I'm doing the bunny. The bunny rabbit on the shelf behind Helen. Oh, the picture there. Yeah. Got a little video. My little video. Yes. And a fluffy tail. I've got a fluffy tail. Yeah, yeah. We've got fluffy tails. Ours aren't the same yeah. fluffy tail as yours. Now, do I definitely need to have the buttons? Um, no, you can stitch them. You can actually stitch them in place. Right. Uh, I've used four buttons to stitch through, but if you were making it for a child to play with, I wouldn't use buttons. No, okay, perfect. And you can use teddy joints. You can get the safety teddy yeah. joints. All right, let's just have a recap then. The instructions on their own sold out. Blue one, blue one, blue one. So the only difference between this and the one you're seeing on the wall is, is the one on the wall and the one on the front of the pattern is Helen's own one that she made to start with. So obviously these, the, all the fabrics are slightly different. We've printed all these up, but this one you get the choice of whether you want a blue frame or a pink frame. So you get your instructions, you get half a metre of your blue, you get two metres of your white, and then you get this panel. Mm, Lovely colours on the panel. It's huge. Look. Whoops. So you've got your grass, 
you've got your sky, you've got all the different colours for all your different, like it says blue bunny, green bunny, yellow bunny, but you can choose where you want to cut them out from, as long as the pieces are big enough to cut your bits out of. Or you could use something from your stash. Uh, there's your sky there. There was another grass, wasn't there? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There's the other grass at the other end there. <coughs> Beautiful. So the panel, the two and a half metres of fabric and the instructions for $34.99. Lovely little gift that for a newborn baby. Can you do what? Okay, ignore cat, she said. So we will. Right, then there's this one. You get the instructions. Now the instructions on their own have sold out. Now you can't get the instructions on their own. Instructions, two metres of the white, half metres of that gorgeous like candy pink. I don't think it's called Candy Pink, that one. And then you get the same panel. I'm not going to open it. The same panel as you got with the last one. £34.99. Hmm? Uh, yeah, the panel's exclusive to us. Right. Don't go anywhere. After the break, you'll see Helen in an hour. After the break, I've got a message. No! Norma! Five inches of snow again this morning. Good same weather for Norma. Where are you, Norma? That's got to be up, it's got to be higher up, surely, than ours. Did you have to know where you were? No, nothing, no. no. Ooh. Okay, right, uh, I'll be back in about four minutes' time when I've got Extravaganza Fabricos. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Now, we just had the management through. They're going to try and get more of the pattern for the uh, wall hanging. But what, but stay with me, because I might be able to have some patterns of the wall hanging for you in a second. Right, Marion says, wonderful. Hang on, morning, John and Helen. Wonderful, happy shirt. You're keeping me happy. At my painful moment, CT scan on my wrist. Oh, no. You take care, Marion, my love. Right, gorgeous fabrics, fabrics, fabrics. Brand new. Brand new, 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 brand new, brand new, brand new. Oh, now Hannah's not happy with us at all. She has been trying to get this fabric on her show since she knew it was coming in, right? We were unpacking yesterday and she went, why has Kat got this? Why didn't I get this? She hasn't, yeah, now, the other thing is, is when a producer, like yesterday Hannah was producing, say Kat is, so we unpacked the, tr the trolleys yesterday, and then they're supposed to leave a voice message going, right, from eight o'clock you got this, and nine, she didn't leave one yesterday. She didn't do one yesterday. Who was that coming, <laughs> coming through there? She's wearing a, a camouflage top today, Hayley. Bundle, bundle first. Now, I've got panels to go with, but they're not in the, now. I need to warn you, some of these fabrics are not available by the half metre. Look, look. That is not available by the half metre, only available in this bundle. Look, beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. I will waft them in a minute. Then you've got your little chicky eggs. There, oh, I'll go with that one in a minute. And that one in a minute. Then you've got your pinky lilac -y egg basket. Look. Look at that. Now, it should be 50, over £52, this. <coughs> Cat took it to 49 99 Isn't that gorgeous? How beautiful is that fabric? Look at this, look at this, look at the same fabric with clouds in the back. Oh, no, it's not the same fabric. Little, uh, what's this? Little porch to the house, look. That, that, that looks like... Um, Who's the lady that does the uh, puts the pottery in the pottery at the um, pottery throw down? No, at the show. There's, there's at the Great British Pottery Throw Down. There's a lady that puts them in the pots in the kiln. Can't remember what she's called now, but she looks like that, doesn't she? Anyway, and then this is nice. You've got your stripes on that one, so you get half a meter. Half a metre, 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 and half a metre. You get half a metre. Three and a half metres in total. And there's only nine left. Only nine left. Forty-nine ninety-nine. So there's your eggs. There's your stripes. There's your scenic. Then you've got your... Oh, no, it's that, that, that's um, like Valentine's Day, isn't it? Romantic Easter, that one. Hi, John. Her name is Rose. Oh, that's the pottery throwdown lady. I was like, oh, what's my talking? Rose, Rose. The pottery lady's called Rose. Love and hugs from Wendy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, loads of people missed you and saying it was Rose. Sorry. I'm, I... Norma. John, it's still snowing. I'm in lovely... Oh, uh, Glen Eagles. Oh, not Germany. Hang on, let's do it properly then. Ouch, Tarada. Ouch, Tarada. How would you say that, Elliot? Oh, it's the wrong person to ask. How would you say that, Kat? Ouch, Tarada. Ouch, Tarada. Tarada. Anyway, Glen Eagles. It's posh there, isn't it? Right, carry on. Thank you, though, for that, Norma. 
Yeah, don't go out today and do your sewing. Mind you, it'd be lovely to run round the garden, wouldn't it, in that foot, with your wellies on. There you got your little chilies. Uh, chilies? They're not chilies at all. <laughs> chicky, chicky. Rose is your potter. Thank you, Helen. I know it's in Scotland, Glen Eagles. How many? Okay, half, right, I've only got four left now. Is that right? I've got that the right way around? Yeah, four left, four left, four left, four left. So, again, very quickly, you get half a metre of this one. It's all 100% cotton, machine washable quilting weight. Elliot likes to do a close-up. Henry Glass, brand spanking new, Easter fabric. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. This week, all about Easter and Mothering Sunday. Which is your favourite? Which is your favourite? Look. Octorada is how you pronounce it, apparently. Octorada. Uh, still much snowing in Dundee. Loving the snow. No, loving the show. From Jenny, Mrs. Jenny in Angus. Gaynor, John, you make me laugh so much, but in such a good way, you make me smile. Oh, thank you, Gaynor. I make a cat laugh in a bad way. No, not Hannah. It's not Hannah. It's not Hannah. Kiss. 49.99. Right, Helen says, I'm up the road in Coles Hill and it's sunny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can you hear that? Why do you get so excited? They went to Coles Hill School and Jeremy Joe went there as well. They went to the comp in Coles Hill. You near that? You need that, Helen? Hang on. Uh, I'm home alone, recovered from back up last Friday. I'm a little five-year-old coming home tomorrow, so today is a so day. Oh, lovely. I can't ask her her address. Is that where near Cherry's then? That's where, that, so that's near where Ghost and Luther are from then. This is lovely. How many of these got left? Oh, so, uh, right, there'll be two left then. Two left once you've all checked out. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if I ate too late last night. You got it right the first time. Octorada. Lots of snow here too from... Oh, hello, Mo, my love. She's got lots of snow as well. She won't be in a hot tub today then, will she? Hi, John. Lovely to start hearing. Oh. No. Taina Bruach. Taina or Taina Bruach. Taina Bruach. Amanda. Okay, the new. I've just most of all offended all of Scotland by doing that. Well, it's not like you do when you do Wales things. You can't do that anymore, can you? I don't know what's politically correct or what isn't. Right. Check out, check out, check out. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, next. Oh, the panels, the panels, the panels, the panels. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll throw them on that desk then. I'll get them, I'll get them. Oh, look. There's Rose. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm keeping Elliot awake. You were yawning, weren't you? 9 99 Morning, John. Fab shirt. Great job cheering us all up. Thank you, Angela, my love. I just stand here and shout. That's all I do. Think it's snowing. Oh, no, Mo. Right, I think it's snowing in Akiltubi. No, Akiltibu. 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 Yeah. Bright sunshine in Lancashire. Keep up the good work from Angie. Thank you, Angie, my love. Anyway, isn't this lovely? Oh, look that. Oh, no. Look at the rabbits, right? Look. Oh, he, 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 he. Look, look, look. He, 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 he. Sad. Sad. Oh, no, Kat, I tell you who is you, right? Uh, have you watched uh, Gilded Age yet? Right, the leading actress. No, she's the spitting image of you. She's like, it's frightening how much. I think he's Meryl Streep's daughter. I think Meryl Streep's daughter's in it, and I don't know which one she is, but the, the leading lady in the awful frocks, she looks like you. I mean, 
The juvenile, ju juvenile lead, not the older mother one. The young. Oh, I don't know what her real name is. What does she play? She plays the, what the whole story is about her. So it's her. Anyway. Am I what? No, not Cynthia Nixon. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Oh, hang on. I forgot that bit. You see, now that reminds me of a chocolate bar for some reason. Yeah. Not too sure. I'd have to cut her out. Nine ninety nine. Oh no, you're looking at the right one because there's two juve leads. There's two blonde juve leads. I'll have a look for you in the break. Amanda, no offence taken, John. You pronounce it better than I do. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. <coughs> Excuse me. Jackie says, "Good morning, John. It's snowing like mad in West Yorkshire, but you're keeping us cosy and warm. Whereabouts in West Yorkshire are you, Jackie? Are you near West Breton? Where are?" So I went to no, that's why I went to college. No, Stuart's North North Yorkshire. Stuart's in North. Yeah, Stuart's in um, North of York. I think he's in North Yorkshire. No, West Yorkshire's at Wakefield, Bretton Hall, that kind of a. Yeah, nine ninety nine. I said that for these lovely Henry glass panels. Look, this one's lovely because it's like tiles. Now called the Coles Hill School, but I still call it the Comp. I get all the discarded Mars bar wrappers and crisp packets on my lawn at around 20 past three. She's about 100 yards from the front door of the school. Right, okay, now Elliot's dad lives in front of the school. Do you know him? Martin, he's called Martin. Do you know our Martin? I'm not going to ask him. Do you live next door to the chiropodist? Anyway, look, should we concentrate on this? Should we concentrate on this, please? I can't, we can't be saying where, get, where customers live. I'm sorry. Nine ninety nine. Bunny tails, patchwork panel. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen squares, you get on there. Elliot's only showing you four, but there's fifteen of them. Hi, John, you're doing well with the Scottish place names. We have snow here in... And now is it Pumphurston or is it Pumphurston? Pumphurston, 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 in my kilt. It's not that Scottish, not German. <laughs> it's not German. Anyway, we look at this. Yeah, what are you going to make with your cat's going to make coasters? Oh, little gift bags. Yeah, that'd be nice for when you have a, your children's um, tea parties. No, not yours, cats. I'm talking about everyone else, not just you. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. No, no, no. Uh, Nine ninety nine. Third of the stock has gone. Neither of those panels are in the bundle, remember? And this panel is the most popular. I understand, because do you know what? This is no, no offence to anybody. You can do more with that panel, can't you? You could do all sorts, like we're saying, coasters, goodie bags, anything you want to do, patchwork or anything like that. The big one you'd have to have as the centre of something and then do medallions around it, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, Helen says, send her a private message. We can, re 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 we can reminisce. Don't know about an astropodist. I can't, I can't read that out loud. She's giving me her address. I can't read that out loud on her. I'm on the main road. Is that clue enough? Anyway, look, carry on. Look, we move, need to move on. Do, but maybe you went to school with her. Do you remember, do you remember her from school? No. Elliot, how old Elliot? 40, 30, Katz, 26, and Jeremy Joe is 30 as well, because he was in the same class as Elliot. Right, okay, let me do that. That's another. 
Fabric by the half metre. Now, I can't do that one. Right, so should we start with the stripes then? So this is now, but you're buying this off the bolt, remember? You're buying this off the bolt. Oh, this is so cute. I'll do it this way up, actually. Oh, now, now I need to tell you this is flying out, this fabric. Look at that. Now that is going, so the top of your fabric's here. So when you buy it, it's going down that way. It's not printed this way. It's going, so if you're going to make a skirt out of it, the stripes will be that way up. Thank goodness for you, John. You are hilarious. Never change. Great shows always. Oh, thank you, Susan. Sometimes I think I go a bit far. No, I don't. No, I don't. And I'll tell you about this lovely card I've got. Look, this card, right, I just want to say, right, it's just, it's, uh, when people can be bothered, right, it's come from Moonpig, right, and I just think somebody's gone to the bother and the expense of going to Moonpig, and it just says, you are a truly wonderful individual, thank you, not only from me, but all the hearts you touch. And then it says, life's kindest people are truly selfless, thoughtful, and full of love. They never realise how much difference they make to the lives of those lucky enough to know them. Isn't that lovely? Oh, uh, <laughs> Elliot said it was meant to go to his house. I only go there at the weekends, anyway. Oh, oh, she's a bit older than you, slightly older than you, Elliot. She's 46. At £7.49 for half a metre. Right, so let's now move on to the scenic blue one. Can I just say, these are flying out. They're absolutely flying. You might see some of these in Janice's project at the weekend. But they won't be sold by the half metre then, Kat's saying, yeah. Oh, now Rosina used to go to Coles Hill School as well. Honestly. Right, £7.49 for half a metre. Henry Glass, 44 inches wide, quilting weight, machine washer. Imagine a dress made out of that. How gorgeous would that be? You've got till April the 17th. Is it April 17th, Easter? April the 17th is Easter. You've got plenty of time to make a frock for yourself. A skirt, a little top. I can imagine Julie Vaughan in a whole outfit made of this. She'll get the Sussex seamstress top that she loves to wear and make it out of the Easter and then she'll stuff her face with Easter eggs. Beautiful. £7.49. It's what? This is what Kozel looks like, is it? Beautiful. Should we see more of the fabric? Because there's more than just that on it. Thank you. Beautiful. Boat? There's no boat on there. That's a wall. Looking over the wall. They're chatting to each other. That one looks a bit guilty. No, no they're arriving, not leaving. That's, uh, yep. Yeah. There's, there's Elliot's new boss, welcoming him into his new job. Yeah. They'll be going, we, when did we offer you a job? You'll turn up on the first one and you are? I oh, don't, don't. He's having anxiety now. This is gorgeous. This one's so romantic. Look at this one. Or maybe this one would be better as a skirt. Like a 1950 <gasps> skirt with that print would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Bunny tails, bunnies, it's called. No, you wouldn't know. People won't know. Because it's only that bit there that gives it away being Easter, isn't it? And then, you, you know, that could be... What are those biscuits? They're like shortbread with the ends dipped in chocolate. Uh, oh, I didn't look for Cafe Noir in Waitrose last night. Somebody said they don't make Cafe Noir anymore. Ooh. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's look at it ple pleated up. Uh, hang on, if I'm making a skirt, let's pleat it up. Oh, yes, look. I'll turn it that way. Look how beautiful that's going to look as a skirt. When you do your dancing, your jive bunny hop, or whatever it's called. Next one is like the pink background with poke or lilac, even. With your eggs and baskets. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, remember. Yeah, look. That's lovely, isn't it? Little ducks on that one. 
Yeah, brilliant. For cutting, might be a bit big for EPP, that cat. Just need big. Oh, that there, yeah. Your bluebird of happiness. Your little chickens. Your eggs. Always making me hungry, all these chocolate eggs. Oh, make sure if you've got your toothbrush. Yeah, good. Cat's got a pickle and pickle sandwich, cheese and pickle sandwich for lunch. Then she's got an emergency d dentist appointment this afternoon. Beautiful. Then we've got all over little chicks on a lemon. Look, 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 look. That is so cute. It's called chicken egg. Chicken egg. Chick, 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 chicken. Lay a little egg for me. It's what? They're on grass. Cat thought they were splish splashing in water. What's that on the side? Oh, it's there. 7.49 for half a meter. It's lovely, isn't it? Cute, cute, cute. That's about... Keep going through. Very, very popular, this. Now, this next one, you've gone crazy for this on pre-order. Right, half the stock, and we had a lot of it, has already gone. Oh, okay, thank you. £7.49 pence for half a meter. Isn't it lovely? Now, it's, it's printed on the bias, obviously. Oh. Lots of people multi-buying this one. That lovely. There's only two of the mega bundles left, and the panels. Let me tell you about the panels. Right, half the stock of this one's gone. Brand new. It's brand spanking new. Lovely Easter fabric. I oh, know. Is Janice not making anything at the weekend out of them? No. She's using the eggy fabric, but I'm not quite sure what she's making. Nine ninety nine. Oh, Elliot's cracked the code. Elliot's cracked the code, Helen. Beautiful. Right, half the stock of that one's gone. And what about the other panel? A third of the stock of the other one's gone. Hang on, it's over here. All teams in beautifully. Look, all the fabrics I've just shown you all matches in with it. Little bluebird of happiness. Oh, there you go, Elliot. We, we should do, give you this. You're leaving present. Oh, hang on. Someone else coming in, banging the door. What? Oh, that's nice. No. Uh, no, I am, but I don't have one set. Don't ever have them on set. Beautiful. No, I'm fine, thank you. I tell you what I'm making today, John. The angelic address, such a great pattern. There you go. And about Julie Vaughan. Julie Vaughan, are you eating chocolate while you're doing it? And are you making it in Easter fabric? Oh, we had, oh, we had a picture in from whom? Die. Show it. Elliot. Where is Elliot? Oh, look. Hi, John and team. I love this fabric. I have made Easter stockings for my grandchildren with love from Di Waterman. Oh, isn't that lovely? So where have you got that fabric from then? If it's brand new here today. Hmm? 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 Beautiful. That's lovely. I love the way you've styled it with your bobbin and your thread. Now, hang on. You've put the name on, have you? Because it's not on the fabric, is it? Lovely. And that's the boat that Kat thought they were all sitting in. Thing. In fact, yours is going in a different direction to ours. No, because Edward's right. Anyway. Beautiful. Thank you for that die, my love. Right, OK. Easter. Carrying on with Easter theme. Stained glass sunrise.
1999. Ooh, this is lovely bright colour. I wonder why the, um, it's, it doesn't matter because you're not going to use it, but I've got an awful lot more on that side than I've got on that side. Beautiful. You like what, Elliot? The shadows. What, like Cliff Richards and everything? Uh, you get the pattern and you get the panel for 19.99. Bit of backing, bit of wadding, twin needling. We had a twin needle on the show yesterday, right size. Have a look on the website. You do need the right size, though. You do need the right size um, twin needler or needle. What's that one over there, then? Hang on. No, 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 no. I've got another panel there next to it. Oh, I love daffodils. Flower of the month panel. But look, 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 look. I love daffodils. My friend Roxy, when she got married, the whole church was filled with daffodils. Anyway, so look, so there's, that's a 12 by 12 square. And then you get like two and a half inch strips you can make. Um, uh, we haven't got a pattern to go with it or anything. It's just the panel, 9 99 Tote bag cushion. No, uh, would you make a tote bag? You need extra fabric if you're making a tote bag. Got a whole daffodil bundle coming up in a minute. Loads, you got that in your basket. But, but let me just let me just show you. You get more than that because you get the whole of that strip there next to it. The f one, two, three, four, five different colours plus the gorgeous um, daffodil for March. Elliot likes it. Honestly, I've got you two. Elliot loves daffodils apart from on the rugby day when it's on the opposing team and Kat thinks they smell funny. Hi, John. Could a beginner do the stained glass panel? I do know my way around a machine, but I've not done this sort of thing. Linda, Linda, what date did we do the, 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 de the demo on the um, stained glass window, please? We're just finding out for you. It's very easy because what you can do is you just layer it up with some backing and some wadding. You can either bag it out or you can quilt it and then bind the edge of it. It's a very, very simple way of doing a lovely wall hanging freestyle. How many? 15th of March, 2021. Go to our YouTube channel, put Sewing Street in and put the date. 15th of March, 2021. The whole show will come up and then if you go down to the bottom, it breaks it down into the five hours. Click on the one you want to watch and you can watch the whole demo. I'm presuming it'll be Rebecca Reed. So you can always turn the sound off. Right, look, 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 look. Announce, announce, announce. I've only got 40 more. That's it. But that's it. That is it. So if you missed out on the pattern. Now, somebody messaged in, didn't they, saying, I've just woken up and I've missed the pattern. Well, you've not missed the pattern now because I've got 40 more. Jill, Jill with COVID. Jill with COVID. Jill. Didn't know we were going to be able to do this. Hannah's just had a talk. Not Hannah, Hayley, even. Jill, Jill, are you there still, Jill? If somebody knows Jill with COVID who missed out on this earlier, can they let her know? Oh, she's there. She's there. 9.99 for the pattern. You saw Helen make it in the last hour. It, and now we owe. Oh, no, I'm not going to mention that. Only 30 left now. 30 left. Message from Vanessa. Is it Vanessa Feltz? No. Morning, John team. Love the show. Your shirt is beautiful. Have a great show from Vanessa in West Midlands. Thank you very much indeed, Vanessa. Needs a few darts putting in it, I think. Or maybe I want to wash it. It might shrink. Who knows? I haven't tested any of them yet, actually. Well, they're washed. They're just hanging on the rail in my dressing room. No, the colours haven't run. In fact, the red one that I brought in for last week and didn't wear, that I wore it on my Facebook Live and people liked it the best. It's funny, isn't it? Funny, isn't it? Life, funny. It is. 
Right, please make sure you check out on this. If you missed out on it earlier, I only had 40 and now I've got 20. Gorgeous, I'm going to move on. I'll, I'll remind you again at the end of the hour or when Helen comes back. I'm here, got one. Thank you, John and Helen. It, it's our pleasure. Jill, and feel better soon, my love. Right, shall we do a daffodil bundle? This is one Kat's put together for you. So, three and a half metres, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get like olive, fur, lime, lemon, sunshine, corn, gold. Oh, moss, not olive, moss. Oh, thank you, Elliot. Elliot now is leaving, right? He's having all these ideas, inspiration. He's never said two booze to a what's it. And then suddenly he's going, oh, I'm making a plique. I don't know what he said. I got bored. Linda. Thank you, John. Have ordered the stained glass panel and noted the date. Great shows you. Oh, Linda. Do you know what, Linda? My um, dad's from, well, obviously he's not with us anymore. He was from Hornchurch. 121 Lindhurst Road. <coughs> Do you know it? In Hornchurch. <coughs> oh, Linda, no, no. The, the funny, right, I'll tell you a quick story. Right, my dad had really bad dementia near the end, near the end of his life. And one day, I was sitting with my nephew, Mikey, and I was showing him where I'd bought my new house. You know, you can do Google Maps or whatever, and you show the real thing. And my dad kind of, was, and he went, and he sent his address in Hornchurch. So we showed him a picture in Hornchurch. Now, he hasn't lived there since he was a teenager, right? And this was when he was in his late 70s, early 80s. And he went, oh, if you walk along, the, right, so this is a man who couldn't remember if somebody had been to visit him, couldn't remember if he'd eaten. I mean, it was a, hor a horrible thing, dementia. He looked at the, the, the thing and he went, along there there's a church and along there there's a duck pond. And if you go around, that, and we were following around because you can move on, you know, the Google Earth or whatever, the street mappy thing. And he could remember everything, everything. And then we found his house and we used to go like, well, such and Mrs. Such and Such used to live. And he could remember everything from like back in the 1930s, right? But then it was, so then we started going through all of the houses that lived in. Because being in the RAF, we moved every few years. So we went to Gauntlet Road in Manby and we went to all Belle Isle, Belle Isle in, um, where was that? I can't remember where it was now. But then Brampton, Brampton. Uh, and, he, and then we got to about 1976. And that was it. After that, he couldn't remember anything. And yet he could tell us stories because <coughs> he was a pilot in the war. <clears throat> he could tell us stories about when he was flying in, in the war and everything like that. He could remember those in minute detail. Fascinating. But then you go, anyone visit you? Nobody's visited me this morning. Nobody's been. And we'd all been there all morning. You know what I mean? Anyway, look, 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 look. $24.99. Got carried away then, didn't I? Brand new bundle. Three and a half metres. Half metre each. Already cut. So if you buy two, they don't come joined together. Oh, June's back from the dentist. Two thirds more now than it did before. The old cat, the cat's off to the dentist later, June. Yeah, twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. I found a fantastic dentist in Evesham. Linda, John, how amazing! Oh, look, she lives one road away from where my dad grew up when he was a child. How funny! How funny! Small world, isn't it? Two people I went to school with, um, Kat and Elliot, and now. I just think it's brilliant. I just think it's brilliant. All through sewing. Here we are. We're all doing sewing, right? And we're all connecting like that. $24.99. I cat your head in for a slap, I'm telling you. I think I'll be making a text later. There's a lot of people that work here that went to that school, you know. I'm not naming them because I don't know them. Debbie Cavill at a sandwich shop. You are joking. £24.99. £24.99. You, loads you got that in your basket. So make sure you check out. Next check. Right, what am I doing next, then? The next ones, the names aren't quite as good for the next ones. Hyacinth. I love Hyacinth. And they're the ones that do smell funny, and I love them. Right, so in this one, you've got Purple. Might be Imperial, actually. Imperial, Amethyst, Raspberry, Pink, Vanilla, Emerald. Mm. 
I've never seen a white hyacinth. No. Lovely, aren't they? They're lovely, aren't they? They're Easter. Do you know what? For some reason, I don't mean this to be rude to anybody, they look quite religious to me. Those colours look like you could be making a wall hanging for your church. Yeah, because the, the stoles that they wear around the neck and everything. I had to do, I did, a, I did a TV series. What was it called? Big Battalions. And that was, I filmed in Ethiopia. I filmed in Birmingham. I filmed in London. And we filmed in Israel, right? And I had to do an awful lot of research into, and there's a shop behind Westminster Cathedral called, I think it's called Whipples. Whip, Whipples? I do all, and the, the fascinating, it's just fascinating what all the different vestments are called and what the, all the different stoles and what the colours mean and, and the colour on the altar and things like that and everything. It's just fascinating. Uh, oh, here go. Here's Kat's inspirational pic. Oh, well, I will have seen white hyacinths since then. Gorgeous. I did my driving test in Hornchurch, says Lulu. Oh, that'll have been, they only had, I don't think they had um, cars when my dad was growing up there. <laughs> Hi, John. Lovely idea of helping people with dementia. People can help revive, photos can help revive memories. Never thought of using Google. Thank you. No, and, and neither would we, Elaine. Neither would we at all. And it was literally only because uh, my dad was sitting at the same, we were sitting at Mike and Julie's house. We were on the kitchen table and I was chatting to Mikey and I got my laptop out and I was just going, this is my new house and everything. And my dad just... And also, the thing I also learned, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor, but the mistake that we made was my dad would say something like, oh, I've not seen anybody this morning. We were going, no, you have, because, you you know, your Mike's been around, or Julie's been around, or I've been around. You don't do that. You go with them, because if you go, no, you confuse them even more, and you, that's the last thing you want to do. But I'm not a doctor, so I'm not giving advice. But if you are having issues like that, that that's how we feel. Lovely story about your dad. I just drove a friend around areas where she had lived and it were, and worked. It was lovely to hear her so animated. You see, Mark, oh, I'm getting upset now. Uh, it's lovely, isn't it, that you can do things like that? It's just really, really lovely. Nice to see you reminisce. I know I'm not supposed to. The management will go mad. I was born in St George's Road in Hornchurch. <coughs> Don't often hear it mentioned on TV, Jill in Cumbria. You've moved up up in the world then, Cumbria. You know they do Cumbrian fluorite, it's yellow. See, you get, you get all sorts of information from here, don't you? 29, why is this only 20 pounds and 19 pence? One, two, three metres. That couldn't be right, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have you not money off that? Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be 20 99 that one. Yeah, I thought so. It should be a bit more than that. should be more than that. Mate, 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 it's already cut. So if you buy two of those, you'll get two of those, 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 and two plastic bags. Twenty ninety nine. Aww. Gorgeous. Next one. Right, pastel or brights? <laughs> There we go. This one is called Easter Pastels, 1745. Two and a half metres you get here. So now the colours on this one are light lilac, blush, pink, cyan and mint. Cat didn't make this one. F single figures on that one. Single figures on that one. Uh, Samantha says, Mum and I have some really weird conversations. You just have to go with it. Samantha, you do, I'm afraid. But it's, it's endearing, isn't it? Uh, Glenn says, Good morning, John team. Loving your shirt. Thank you. Needs some darts in it, but thank you. Actually, let me just have a look. Those colours would look nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Okay, single figures on that one. Single figures on that one. Now we've got the brights. Now I'm not quite sure if I agree with the, I know I like the bundle. Don't get me wrong, I like the bundle. I wouldn't call it bright though. Would you? Mid-tones I'd call that. Mid-tones. Right, so in the colours in here. Oh yeah, amethyst, I'm getting confused. Yeah, amethyst. Oh, blimey, if you're salmon, that, that's like salmon from a tin in the 1960s, that. Coral. Sky. Oh, candy. 
Chartreuse. Right, I don't understand why you get Candy Blue. I don't understand that one. They're not names we've given them. They're the names the manufacturer gives them. But anyway, mid-tones they are. The mid-tones. Gorgeous. Okay, thank you. I'll be fine. Keep going through. The whole this hour has been incredibly popular. Very popular. Keep going through. Keep going through. We can do some threads next. Okay, now this one here. We had this one yesterday. Because we had a spring show and we had summer loft in it. They are spring colours. No, no, they are spring colours. Definitely. Look. Look. Look, look, look. Look. Perfect. 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 Beautiful. So this is a pale green and a mid green, a pale blue, mid blue, pale pink, deeper pink, and a white. Eleven Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Yeah, I'll leave that one. Eleven ninety nine. Why did you call your dog Autumn then? Oh, because she's born in autumn. Right. Eleven nineteen. Uh, Elliot's dog is called Autumn. We were just about spring and summer, which was they were saying in spring, lots of people's favourite season is spring, but his is autumn. Because he's in the autumn of his life, that's why, because he's quite old now. Me, I'm I'm coming round the other side now, me. Yeah. No. Did you say your dad lived at 121 Lindhurst Drive? If so, my friend lived at the same number. No, I did. Linda, I did. One, two. And I only know that because... <coughs> well, it's my, I only know that because I never really met that nan. Right? That, that granddad died when I was really, really little, so I didn't meet him. And that nan, Granny, Grandma Scott, I only met her on a couple of occasions, right? And I remember the address because we used to write... I used to help my mum do the Christmas cards. And we'd do a Christmas card to her and it just... It's funny, isn't it? It's like phone numbers, isn't it? 44670. That was our first phone number in Chester in like 1971 or something. How can I remember that? No, that was the numbers in those days. But 44670 in Chester. Um, can you remember anyone's phone No. Mobile numbers? Nope. Anyway, moving on. I don't know your number, Elliot. In fact, I don't think you're even in my phone. Right, eleven ninety nine. Okay, this one, which is your Guterman value pack, thirteen ninety nine. Yeah, because there were seven in, the seven in there. One, two, three, four, eight in there. But plus your stitch guide, thirteen ninety nine. My elderly neighbour has dementia, but loves his music and can sing along to his favourite tunes and remembers every word. I know, isn't it strange how the brain works, Jim? I, I had that one Saturday, one Saturday, I was driving to London and it was, it went down, it shows how long ago, it was Dale Winton was doing the thing on the news, on uh, not news, on the radio, Radio 2, and it's playing the tunes, you know, from this top 10 from this year and this year. I sang along with it, and it was like 41 years ago and I knew every word to every tune. I'm not saying I've got dementia, but you know what I mean? It's weird how, what your brain holds. No, I can't remember, I know, I, no, I know my phone number, but um, also, like somebody said to me about, what did you have for your tea last night? I was like, um... And then it's like, what did I have for my tea last night? You know, I had roasted vegetables, feta cheese and a tomato coolie, but that's by the way. 13.99. Keep going through. That's the thing I told, I told you how to make. No. 13.99. Uh, she had leftover crispy lemon chicken from the Chinese. And then uh, Elliot had gnocchi, just in case you wanted to know. Love to sew. Pa Six pound thirty nine. I don't think uh, Cecilia would be very happy about that. So Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. You're breaking my confidence daily. So so Cecilia. Right. Okay. So twenty percent off. <coughs> Love to sew. Patchwork bags, introduction, techniques. Right, makeup pouch, 
So how much would you pay for a pattern? Yeah, nine ninety nine. Say for six oh six nine. Um, six thirty nine. How many? I don't know how many projects I've got in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 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 Eighteen.
Now you're getting half a metre for free with that one. Get half a metre for free. Beautiful. You shouldn't get a half metre at 67.91, but that's by the by. Take advantage. Moving on. Message from Elaine. John, I laugh with you, not at you. Oh, thank you. And I spend a fortune even when I don't mean to. Oh, the summer breeze. It's beautiful, Elaine. It's I, That's one of my favourite collections we've had for ages and ages. That blue, the yellow and the cream together is just stunning. But thank you very much, Elaine. Right, I've got, oh, no, I've got two packs of buttons. Oh, no. Are there any of these left? Only because we had these yesterday uh, to go with um, Yvonne McAtamney's little thingies. Flowers. Elliot's got a picture from the internet, a web image. Oh, Sue. Sue. Right, so what you have to understand is... There's no floor manager at the moment. That's why it's such a mess. When we move to the new building, we've got a floor manager. We've got Katrina and we've got Gemma. She's not really called Gemma. She's called Becky, but I call her Gemma. Okay, that's that one. Two ninety nine pack of seven buttons. Add it to your order. Remember, you don't add any to your P&P. Just one P&P for the whole day. Then we've got this one here. Now, you only get four buttons in this one. $2.99. Four of them in there. Web image, watering can, seeds, fried egg and daffodil. Uh, I, what I couldn't understand, Kat, is you put on your Instagram that your boyfriend Liam was making a cupboard, but it looked like he was taking up the whole floor. Okay. Right, very quickly, before we go, I don't know how many of these are left. Uh, Helen Newton's pattern. We got an extra 40. Okay, in the teens now, that's all we've got. 9.99. We won't be getting any more. The kit, both the kits are still available. But if you want the pattern on its own, 9.99. Oh, are we going home now? Got two hours left. We've got uh, Helen Newton making a soft toy rabbit. And then we've got gifts for Mothering Sunday with Poppy from our sister channel, Primal Living. We've got Be Propopolopolos, we've got collagen, we've got soap, we've got face cream, we've got scarves. We will, but that's not until 12. We will see you in four minutes from now with Helen Newton making a stuffed toy. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store.
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, my name is Fiona Hisford, also known as Sew Girl. I'm based in Worthing on the south coast of England and I work in my lovely garden studio, which is where I am right now. So uh, my sewing journey began as a child. Uh, my mother used to have surround the house with Laura Ashley fabrics and wallpapers and I used to patch together some of the scraps and uh, make little quilts for myself and uh, dolls clothes and things like that. So one of my top tips in dressmaking would be to definitely make a toile before you start. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're using expensive fabric, it's a good idea to make, some, make the garments in a sheet or a cheap fabric, just so that you're absolutely sure of the fit. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a knitwear designer back in the 80s. And once I made a jumper for the singer Sade, which was really exciting. Uh, I worked in Paris for six years and when I came back I fell back in love with fabric again and I started working with magazines and books and writing projects for them and that led eventually on to me designing my own collection of dressmaking patterns. Uh, my philosophy is that I love comfortable clothing every day, things that are easy to make, easy to wear. I like modelling my clothes myself and I wear pretty much everything that I design. So I always think that if I feel good in them, then other people will. I've been working for Sewing Street since it's been, since, almost since it began and I love it there. We're like one big family and I'm on the show about every two, mo two months and so I look forward to seeing you on the next show soon. Bye. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Uh, we're doing a soft toy now. Elliot, let's have a look at the picture. There we go. Oh, it's not much, it's moving. Is that in your house? Yeah. Oh. Gorgeous, 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 yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Now, they are selling so quickly, I cannot tell you. So I'm going to be very, very quick and tell you what colour options we have and all the things that I've got for sale this hour. So I'm going to start with Lilac. Oh, now Lilac's the most popular. Lilac is the most popular so far. So what you get is you get the bunny pattern, right? You get half a metre of your white fabric. You get, I'm presuming this must be a fat quarter. Yeah, fat quarter. It's a big fat quarter. Fat, now that's poplin, isn't it? That, that's your, um, that's your purple lilac poplin. And now you get five tails. I know you're only making one rabbit, but you've got the pattern. And it'll get addictive. You'll want to make more and you'll think, oh, I haven't got enough. You've got five pom-poms for your tails. £17.99. pence. You will need some stuffing, obviously. But look, there you go. All of that. For £17.99. Lilac. They what? Yeah, yeah, they're little pom-poms for the tail. That one's been the most popular so far. That's the lilac. Then we've got the pink next. Now these are neck and neck, the pink and blue. There's a lovely bright pink, this one. And come on, if I could open the fabric, I would. There you go. So you get your fat quarter of pink. You get your tails. You get your instructions. And you get your half a metre of white with the pink. Seventeen ninety nine. 
Oh, Jackie's ordered the blue kit. Due f uh, hang on, for our great grandson due in April. Or oh, she'll be round, wanted to make it in your lounge. We can stitch 17, together. 17, no time. Go on. We can stitch together. Exactly. Beautiful. And then we've got the blue. I don't know how you're going to choose. I think all three of those colours are beautiful. This is the blue. It's like a soft Wedgwood blue, the blue one. There you go. So there's the blue. Plus, your, that's a fat cord to the blue. Plus your instructions. Plus the pom-poms. Plus the half a metre of white. 17.99. Yes, Sue, that's a picture of Elliot's desk that you can see. Oh, they get um, Cats answered. <coughs> 17 pounds and 99 pence. Now, we've never done these before, and I've got to do them, because Barry the Bald, beautiful book buyer, no, it's coming on our birthday, it's coming up, we're going to have, find the Easter egg, and it's going to be Barry at Barry's head somewhere, because he's got no hair. Got no hair. Right, these, he took ages, we have to show the, on, the website picture, because he took ages to make this picture. No, 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 it wasn't the white, it wasn't the white on white. Anyway, look, 99p for five of these. So here you go. Here's the picture that Barry made. <laughs> it took him forever. Oh, what was that appeared at the top? Something just appeared at the top. Anyway, it took him ages to make that picture. So please appreciate that from Barry the Bald Book Buyer. And it's what? Yeah, just add it to your order. Add it to your order because you're going to need them all the time. Oh, how big are the pom-poms? 3.5 centimetres. There you go. They're not like marshmallows. Don't try and eat them. Little fluffy bunny tails they are. Oh! Right, okay. And one other thing before we start some sewing. Two other things before we go on. Uh, you can buy the instructions on their own. Now, look what happened. Look what happened in the last hour. The instructions went. Uh, and we got more. And they've nearly all gone now from the... What? Oh, oh, honestly. When your baby's grown out, the baby grows. Kat's going to make one for Maisie, she's saying. Because, oh, we'll ask Helen, because this is obviously made out of solid, stable uh, cotton. But when we get when we get up, up and running, I'll ask her now. Can we make it out of, like, fleeces and old T-shirts and things like that? You can. It's a little bit more fiddly to do the darts and the, the seating gusset seam. But, yes, you can. Yeah, of course you can. Uh, so, she'll be fine. Kat will be fine making them out of Maisie's old... Um, I was going to say boiler suits then. I don't mean that. Baby grows. Yeah, oh, she's got everything, that girl. Well, it's, I've had the invitation to Maisie's first birthday party. And there's going to be unicorns. There's going to be all sorts of things. There's going to be marquees and everything. So what's arrived? The, oh, it's a ball pit. Anyway, look, 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 look. Cute, isn't it? 10th of April. 10th of April. Right, and the one last thing you will need is a bit of stuffing. This one is the recycled, I used to be a plastic bag, bottle, bottle. <coughs> I used to be a plastic bottle. Uh, four pounds, 99 pence. Soft, clean and washable. Polyester craft filling for toys and cushions. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got a price comparison. Oh, no, so Kat said, tell them about the price comparison, then she's I've forgotten to get the picture. Now I've said it, we'll have to show you the picture and then we'll get on with the same. There is direct comparison, eight pounds. Eight pounds it is in that shop. Yeah. Right, shall we do some sewing? Now, first question is, a lot of people are frightened about making toys because they think that they're for more advanced sewers. But are you thinking you can do this if you're quite new to sewing? I think if you've got a basic understanding of your sewing machine, so you're uh -huh. used to sewing and following patterns, um, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to. You just take your time, step by step, and just follow each step carefully. Yeah, That's yeah. all you need to do. Because there are little darts and things like that. In there the are little time. darts, and sometimes it can feel a little bit fiddly. I think sometimes people prefer to do uh, like a bigger project than making tiny little of things. Course, yeah. um, but you can always stitch the little darts by hand. If you're not confident doing them on your machine, mm -hmm. you can do them by hand. Um, just lots of back stitches at the beginning and the end, yeah, and of you'll course. be fine. Oh yeah, you've got to be secure, because you're going to be stuffing it, and yes. if you are doing it to a child, it's going to be thrown around the room, isn't it? Yeah. 
It just... Um, all the pattern pieces, they're all the right size. They don't have to... They're the actual size, so you can trace them off onto your own um, pattern paper or yeah. just ordinary paper. Um, but it did make me laugh, John. One of the photos I realised when you were showing it on the screen on the next page looks a little bit like a dismembered um, <laughs> rabbit. Oh, this there. one. <laughs> I didn't realise till I, <laughs> I saw it on the screen there. <laughs> looks like one of those cartoons when they get kind of blown up and suddenly all the bits all go. Oh. Yeah. Right, but it is very thorough. I mean, you are, you are take, you do take them through. I from do. start to finish with every little stage don't I, you? I think so because you can't assume that people have made soft toys before and you can't assume that they know what a dart is or how to do it so yeah. I like to do it as if as if I was teaching you and I was there with you so it's quite conversational Good. style that's how I like to yeah. do them um, so I've got the actual uh, fronts here I've got all the pieces already cut out uh -huh. uh, from my template so I've traced them off and I've cut these out at home so I thought we'd start at the very beginning and see how far we get oh, along yeah, yeah, with the bunny no, that's what we like. um, so what I've done on this already is I have marked the eye placement for later right and I've used my friction pen so I won't be ironing this right. as we go along but if you wish to you can do that yourself uh -huh. and I've marked a little um, triangle there where you're going to do the nose right. um, now you could use a little bit of pink felt for that or embroidery thread oh, it's course, entirely yeah. up to you whichever you prefer mm -hmm. so as you can see here I've traced off two I've cut out two and I've actually put a little dot where the dart is and I've got oh, two yes, little right, markers yeah. there. And I have actually snipped that just so you can see it more clearly right, there. Okay, yes, now, right. because I'm doing two white, if you had patterned fabric, you'd have a right and a wrong side. So it's much easier um, in some ways to make sure that you don't titch, stitch two yes. on the same side. So remember to reverse them as you're stitching so you get a mirrored version. So first thing I'm going to do is the little top corner seam here. Now, what all this does actually is give a little bit of shape um, to the rabbit's head. Right, is it a dart, did you say? It's a dart, yeah, yes, yeah. sorry, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's based on the same as my teddy pattern, mm -hmm. So, but I've changed the face shape and the ears. Um, so I'm just going to start and I'm going to do this just following the markings there. So uh -huh. I always start with a couple of back stitches. Yeah. So I'll go forward. What size stitch did you use? I've just used it as it's set. It's got here 2.4. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just as it comes. Mm -hmm. um, on the smaller bits, you could reduce it and do it finer if you want yeah. to. But I think certainly for beginners, I would just carry on as it is. And when you get to the end, a little bit of a reverse stitch there always helps. And then I shall remove that. Uh, right, just to warn you, we had hundreds of these. There's only 30 of the lilac left. 30 wow. lilac left now. And then just put them side by side just to make sure that you know you're going to be doing the seam the opposite, opposite way, way around, on this yeah. one. Otherwise, you'll end up with two right sides. If you do head. dressmaking, you'll be used to this, won't you? Because Absolutely. you do a, a, a centre front right and a centre front back. and a, You know what I mean? It's kind yeah. of you, not centre front back, centre front right, centre front left, back left, back right. Because, because you're used to doing, having to do a um, uh, reverse of each piece. That's it. I'm just going through now. Do a little reverse. And all this does is add a little bit of a shape to the top of the head. Uh -huh. So we have two there. Trim the threads as I go. So you can see already we've got a little bit more of a rounded top of the head uh -huh. there as it's coming. Yeah. So the next thing you need to do after that are the ears. So I've cut out two pink ones for the lining, mm -hmm. two white ones for the back of the ears and I've also cut out some iron-on interfacing. Oh, okay. So this is just interfacing that I had at home. Yeah. Um, it just helps the ears stand up a little bit. The one I brought with me today was in my suitcase overnight and yeah. his ears were... Oh, <laughs> so that's just your medium weight iron-on interfacing. This is, yes. So I'm it's just going to... on the website. Yeah, you can apply it to all four pieces. So I'm just going to quickly put these on before we mm -hmm. stitch them together. Oh, is the iron on? The iron's on, yes, okay. yes. <laughs> We've checked that. Right. <laughs> And I seem to be one piece short of these for some reason. So I'm just going to attach them to the fronts today. Okay. So we'll press these on. Now, depending on your interfacing course, they all have slightly different instructions on how to do them. Yeah. But it just gives that little bit of extra strength to help the ears stand up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is right sides together. You're going to pin a lining and you're going to pin the back of the ear. Right. And you say all, all uh, in real life, all, all four, four pieces. Yes, for some reason I've cut out three. Okay. So I'm just going to do them with the yeah, lines no, no, on no, the front. Yeah, no, no, that's fine, but, but just in case the, somebody... The bunny actually here only has it on the front as well. Oh, okay. So it's just as good. It yeah. just depends, really. So I'm just going to put a couple of pins in these to keep them in place. 
obviously if you're not sure if you don't do a lot of dressmaking and you're not sure you can always pin and tack all the way around of course, yeah. lots of tacking stitches and then we're going to stitch all the way around the curved edge but we're going to leave the bottom open for turning through okay so, and what seam allowance is it a quarter of an inch mm -hmm. on this one. well uh, half a centimeter sorry oh. so I, yeah, you said well, that all your measurements were in centimeters i, th I thought you'd yeah. be an inch girl like me well no i had all of my patterns in both but i find more and more i just use centimeters okay. all the time so i'm trying to use both um because i know some people have preference for one or the other but this is in centimeters yeah yeah this I, one. I can only, only ask because so, i'm writing my book at the moment as you know oh. and uh, i wrote uh, all the places i've just written inches or quarter an inch and then yeah. it's come back from the the lady who's editing it going oh in the brackets you have to have the the other yeah and that's what yeah. just work it out <laughs> but i think because i sell digital ones uh, sort of everywhere yeah so if i sell them to americans they're still in inches, inches yeah, yeah exactly. so i will have to add those on yeah. for when, when i put them in my own shop but not at the moment these are that exclusive must be really interesting to see because obviously yeah. the internet is a worldwide thing yeah. so anybody can tune into etsy or wherever you're selling yeah. them and everything yeah and um but so you could go, one could go to Japan, one could go to America, yeah. they could go anywhere. They, they do. They? When I first started selling the digital patterns online, I was on Etsy and nobody really in the UK had heard of it. It was probably about 11, 12 years ago now. Uh -huh. um, so most of my customers were American. So I actually even sold in American dollars. And it was, oh, it was wow. just because they wouldn't, they wouldn't pay, G, yeah. you know, GBP to get things from here. Um, but as, as time has passed, it's become more and more popular yeah, here. Course, yeah. And most of my customers now are from the UK, so yeah. it's so much easier. Yeah, exactly. So it's much easier and that. helpful for the tax man as yeah. well. <laughs> oh, so, yes. oh, oh. Oh, no, let's not go there. <laughs> no. So I'm going to lower the needle in this. I'm going to do a couple of back stitches just to secure the edge, mm -hmm. and then we're going to stitch around, staying quite close to the edge. Now I'm going to stop and turn a little bit at the top. Uh huh. This is where if you've got a knee lift on your machine, a knee lift is brilliant. Oh, all the, all the come with them, but... I'm just going to go down to the bottom and a couple of back stitches again, and I'll use the scissors to trim that one. So then I'll do this one. Because we're going to turn it through using the bottom opening. That's what done. curves at the top it's so handy this you can just a little dip and you just do one stitch it's yeah. great really good for the corners yeah, absolutely loving the bunny today <laughs> so is lilac still in the lead it's my favorite oh is it like your favorite yeah i like the lilac I made yeah. it in the cornflower blue at home just from fabric that I had. I love that fabric. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, that's fine. So now with my scissors, I'm just going to trim this a little bit closer, not too close. I just want to have less bulk as I do that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go closer to the top so that we have less fabric when we turn mm -hmm. it through. And as I'm sure everybody has been plenty of practice at doing this when they're making uh, clothes and top soft toys yeah so i'm just going to trim that now and then we will turn these through now i've tried several things to make sure you know when you, you turn things through and you want to get a nice neat point uh -huh. so what would you recommend i use blunt pencil i use um we needle use a, we've got the prim turning tool well, and I, the wooden um skewers on that are brilliant and I don't Are know where they? it's gone, it was in that Well, box. I was going to ask you about that because I haven't got one of those and that's what I need to invest in next. Oh yeah, we've got, they're not in stock at the moment. But oh, we get wonderful. In, we get hundreds of them in, they just sell Lovely. out. Lovely, well that'll you know. be next in my basket. Yeah. So I'm just going to turn this through now. Right. A little bit fiddly, but you have to open out the ear. Yeah, but see, you could, using the prim turning tool, got, you could just turn that through in no time at all. I know, yeah. I didn't think ahead, did yeah. I? I no, no, it's fine, because not everyone's today. got one. That's it. So... I'll put my finger in and I'll try and tease it out a little bit there. I'm not sure what, um, what, where did Rebecca move everything to? So you just tied it, haven't you? Uh, Sorry. There's a lot of stock behind it. Well, I'm, I'm using the wrong end of a pencil at the okay. moment, but obviously I will be yeah. using a print tool. So try and get it to a nice neat point if you can and tease it out at the corner. 
and if I had a sharper I don't what want to use the stiletto, we've got a, a clover stiletto and one yeah. end it's got the uh, the silicon bit for ironing, the other end's quite pointy maybe. That, that would, would be work. good. Yeah. Yes, yes. I just need to upgrade my yeah. things. Right, so what I've done is I've turned that through now and I'm actually going to press it. And I'm going to press it nice and flat. Right. And it'll just help with the next stage. I'll see if it'll steam for me now. Yep. Lovely. Perfect. I just did the other one. Need two ears, you see. Wouldn't be able to hear, would you, otherwise? <laughs> right. Which is little perfect. things like that that just make the personality of it, the way the ears sit, the shape of the ears, and yeah. the way they're just curled in at the end and everything. I, well, obviously, you could use different fabrics as well. So you could be, mm. do the bow tie in different colours. Yeah. Um, yeah. My little um, pom pom I made was from a, a feather boa. Oh, so, is it? Yeah, it was. Do you not just use that anymore on your Saturday nights out? <laughs> no, not for many, many years. <laughs> no. Morning, John. Bought quilt and rabbit in pink colourways as having a PJ morning, loving half term. Can either of these be sold after making? Right, yes. good. Angel yes, policy. yes, absolutely. Yes, certainly, um, Tracy. Um, as long as they're handmade by you, um, I don't mind you buying, and making, and selling them. Uh, a lot of people do them for fundraising as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's that's fabulous. But if you do link back to me, that would be great. I'd yeah. be very much appreciated. Fantastic. Um, yep. That's uh, obviously, if John Lewis's are watching and they want to make fifty thousand of them, you can't do that. No. You'd but have they to go via. And she doesn't mind if you do, but you have to go via her. Yes. Right. But all we ask, Tracy, is that you don't sell the pattern on. And you give <laughs> Helen a nod when you if you give it to somebody you'll sell them, you go, they're from the Helen Newton design, that's all. That's wonderful. And I do have a lot of people do that and they yeah. share share a link package. Oh, but it's through nice to me. that they it's nice I, yeah. I, under, I under, do understand some designers who don't want their things to be made, but yeah. it's nice that you can because so many people are doing things for charity at the moment and obviously my friend Francesca works with um, abused children, things like that. And it's just nice to be able to make something and give give it on. Well, I, I, and I think it adds to the story. I mean yeah. uh, for me, just making the patterns, designing them and having people make them and send me photographs that's all I want yeah. so I'm not about mass producing and making no. them myself I've, no. I've been there and done that oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oof, oh it's hard work so yeah. <laughs> so hats off to anybody who does that and I mean so many people when they were making the masks weren't they mm -hmm. and uh, the dolls that you had yeah 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 um, oh fantastic oh no we were overwhelmed yeah. the, the dolls I thought a few oh, we'll get a few families of dolls and we, these were for Francesca to yeah. work with her abused children and People are so, mm -hmm. even now, people are sending them to me. In fact, a lady called uh, Caroline has said, I'm moving house. I finally found all this fabric. I'll make some before I move sort of things. I don't oh, want to take it with me and think. Just that. And then yeah. when we got into the mask, because originally at the beginning of it, they said they didn't want masks, didn't they? At the beginning of the first pandemic. So we didn't bother doing them. And then we suddenly said, oh, we need masks. 12,500 masks we got for wow. charities and things like that. It's just brilliant. And me, I've got some. Right, anyway. That's, that's incredible. Oh, no, I'm, I was so moved by everyone's yeah, generosity. It was I, I think so, and it, and it shows how much of a community mm -hmm. uh, Sewing Street is. Yeah. You know, for them, to, for everybody just to have a go at home and make those. Yeah, it's exactly. wonderful. Um, so the next step with your ears is we're going to make a little fold, right. which helps them stand up. Okay. I hope my bunny's ears are still yeah, standing. Yeah. Yes, they're still standing. So what you're basically going to do, I've pressed these nice and neat, so you're going to fold the two outside edges in at the bottom. Right. So you can tack that or you can pin it. I'm going to do a little uh, quick stitch on the machine. Okay. Um, and then it just holds it in place while you're adding it to the top of the rabbit's head. Mm -hmm. There we go. Also, that's going to help, isn't it, with this keeping them up? The, the yes. Standing up of them. There we go. That's one done. Uh, the pleat definitely helps, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, straight away. <laughs> straight away, it's standing up to attention, that one. So I'll just do the other one. And there's no measuring here. It's just very, uh, just stitch across the bottom. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Quite a few layers there. Yes, exactly. There we go. So we've now got two fronts and two bunny ears. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is to attach the ears one to each front. Right. So as you can see, it's so far very straightforward, yeah, 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 very yeah, step yeah. by step. Yeah. So I'm sure I'm going to put this, if you can see where the dart is that mm -hmm. I made before. So I'm going to attach the bunny ear, I'll just take these threads off, just over that dart, quite central. So the dart is in the middle of the ear. You in don't the middle the, of the ear, yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you could put them lower down at the side, but you wouldn't have the same stand-up oh, no, no, effect, no. you know. So you can see the dart there. Yeah. 
and then I'm just going to place the ear. Now remember that you want to have the lining of the ear, the bright colour, facing the rabbit's oh, nose yes, of course, yeah, and yeah. eye, otherwise he's going to have his ears back to front. So I'll just get a pin and <laughs> all I'm going to do is just tack that with a pin, just okay. hold it in place. There we go. And I'll do the same for the other one. Yeah. So you're doing reverse, you're mirroring here. Lots of threads then. But you, because you've uh, pressed the ears to the center, either ear can go on either side, can't Oh yes, it? Yeah. absolutely, yeah. yes. Because sometimes yeah. you get a soft toy where they've made a right ear and a left ear. And a right ear and a left ear. Right. That's right. And that put way around. equal distance there over the dart mm -hmm. and pin it in place. So we've nearly finished uh, the fronts of the rabbit. Yep, so I'm just going to stitch this securely now. The first so now, uh, are you stitching it within the seam allowance still? Yes, yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm clo very close to the edge, as close as I possibly can, so it won't show on the finished yeah, bunny. So I'm just going to, literally, I'm just going to go over a few extra stitches and cut. It's just to secure it, really, so that I know it's not going to go anywhere. Because when you come to put the whole rabbit together, there is a bit of a curve here. Right. Um, so it, you can, sometimes, you know, it's a little bit fiddly but that will just hold it all as if it was one piece in yeah. place. There we go. So we've got those two done. So you have two fronts, one each with a rabbit ear. Uh -huh. And it actually shows that on my instructions here. Just make sure I'm doing it in the right order. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so you end up <laughs> two rabbits facing each other, one each with a contrasting ear. Uh -huh. And as you can see, they're all, they already want to stand up. So they're really good. Right, so we put those to one side. Right. So already we've done the fronts. Next, we're going to go to the bunny back. Right. Now, I've reused paper here. You can see I've got turning gaps and things. As oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, just yeah. printed them off from the machine, but yeah. you'll be able to trace yours off much neater than mine. Uh -huh. So, again, you've got two. Oh, well, now it's an odd shape, back. doesn't it? It is an odd shape, but that's because um, I like a teddy that can stand but also can sit. Oh, okay, like a box bottom a on a bag. Box. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Oh. Very, very similar. Yeah. So this is going to be joined up. So we're going to join up this V here, right. which will give his seat. A bottom, yes. A bottom, yes. <laughs> and again, you can see here where I've put little markers um, on the side. Right. Um, that's going to be for the gap for turning through when you put the whole right. thing together at the end. Okay. But they are actually, the points are on there. So right. you can just Brilliant. follow them on your instructions. Yeah. Um, so remember again, Put one this way and one the other. Yeah. So I'm just going to fold it over, pop a pin in, just to secure it. And the same on the other side, uh -huh. making sure that they're opposites. Now, if you do something else, if you do um, tailor's tacks or something for your markings, it, you could press these as you go along. Yeah, of uh, just for demonstration, I've got all my markings. But I also there. think on it, something that you're going to stuff, the pressing isn't as important no. because when you start stuffing it, that's yeah. going to push the seams out. Absolutely. <coughs> anyway, and I think the biggest tip for <coughs> stuffing that I've, I was given and I found is to start to obviously shred it as much as you can and to add little bits at a time. Yes, yeah. And then you can build up the shape that you want. But it always takes more than yeah. you think it's going to take. Doesn't you think, <laughs> oh, does. a little rabbit like that's not going to take much, but <laughs> no. you can actually get quite a big bag into one of those. Absolutely. <coughs> so I've started Excuse with a few reverse stitches there. Take that one out and I'll do the other one. Okay, what would you say, Kat? 15 lilac are left, that's all. Oh, goodness. And the pink and the blue aren't far behind and they're level pegging. They would be quite nice in a white, a very soft fleece mm. as well. You know, it'd be so cuddly. We, we do a polar time. fleece here, not anti-pill yeah. polar fleece. And you can't, it's so stable to sew, it's fantastic. Yeah, really I, think, uh, I think you did one of my teddy patterns mm. in it, in like a sort of um, honey colour. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, we had, uh, we had hyacinth and pink on the show yesterday, yeah. and they'd be lovely as well. Right, okay. So, so we we've in. got the two back pieces with the seat dart. So uh -huh. he's going to be able to sit down. He or she is going to be able to sit down. Right. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to do the side seams. Right. Okay. So we're going to take our two backs and our two fronts. So we're going to have them right sides together. And what you'll need to do, make oh, sure right. you get the right one. So right sides together. So we're going to start at the top and you can see this one is going to have the ear inside. Yeah. We're going to be stitching down the head. Yeah. 
and then all the way down, including opening out and the gussets, the dart at the, the, bottom. The, dart at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do that now. Again, all of this is, uh, there's pictures and words and everything all the way through the pattern, isn't there? All step by it? step. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go through this and then we'll do the same with the other one. There we go. And we're going to be stitching over the ear. Uh -huh. So it's a good idea to do a couple of back stitches. And make sure you're just inside your tacking stitches uh -huh. if you did those before. I think the machine definitely, if the noise it's it, making is because it needs a new needle. It does. Yeah. It does. It needs a bit of TLC. Yeah, Elliot. So you're going to come into your point there. Yeah, the 516 gets used and then gets put away and we kind of forget about it. Until I come yeah. again. Yeah, until you come back again. Yeah. <laughs> until I come back again. Right. Oh, well, Elliot. Elliot says it's like the middle child. <laughs> right. Now, leave that remote control where it is, Elliot. Now, I have got a slight difference oh, there. Oh, okay. And I think what I've done is I've traced my pattern pieces off from my original right. rather than the printed one. Oh, okay. But I will carry on and then you can see. So now what we have. We've got a front with an ear, yeah, an ear dart, and we've got the seat at the back. Right, so okay. I'll just do the other side, okay. see if this one's better. If not, <laughs> I'll have to check my pattern pieces. But so basically, the one, if you use the one on here, this has been tried and tested. This works. I've done that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. I've got so, quite a few versions at home, and I think I've, I've traced off the wrong one. Oh, but I yeah, will. maybe. I will. So I'm going to go round and enclose that. one so what I'm going to do just so I can finish off the demonstration uh -huh. is I'm just going to trim that yeah, slightly do around there don't do this at home you won't need to do this no. I promise but this is just so I can finish the demonstration yeah, yeah. today so next time I'm prepping yes check what twice, you need to do is once. destroy all the prototypes <laughs> as you go along that's what you need to do right so we've now got one front and back together so uh -huh. we've got half a rabbit there and we've got half a rabbit here yeah so we're going to join it together as a whole rabbit right. and create the whole thing now uh -huh. so what you might need to do is just tuck the ear in right and tuck it underneath you can put a little pin in because they will get in the way of your yeah, seams you otherwise. Them seam, yeah. do you? so i'm going to tuck that under there and tuck that underneath so we're going to match noses to noses uh-huh and back here to back, there we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start at where we're going to leave a gap for turning through. Right. So I'm just going to put a pin in there. And then the heads are going to go all the way around. So my ears have unfolded, you might need to fold them just downwards. Yeah. If you pin them, them or just tack them into place, then they're not going to worry about them bouncing back. No. No. Just don't want to catch them in any of the seams. Mm -hmm. Put that in. Ears get in. Go round to the face. There we go. Into his chin, round the tummy. I'm just going to put a few here and there, matching up at the bottom. And back up. So 
So you go all the way around. You're going to be stitching all the way around yeah. the bunny now, just leaving a small gap. Where between the those back, two notches, yeah. Where we'll be turning through. Uh -huh. <laughs> his, his ears are still peeping out, or hers. I don't know whether it's his or her. What colour are you doing, Pip? Well, it could be either, it could can't be it, any. this day and age? That's the thing, it could be absolutely any. So I'm going to start here, take my pen out, just get my foot plates disappeared under the table. Oh. Well, you there can't we even bla blame the wooden floor here, it's on carpet. I know, so I know it shouldn't there. be going anywhere. Right, so I start and finish with a few back stitches. Uh -huh. Turn a little bit at the seam. I'm going to go round the back of the head. This way it might get a little bit fiddly, just ease it through. Keep the two pieces together. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go down the front of the face. Uh huh. ears in. So you're making like a little bunny all tucked inside itself. Uh -huh. There we go, around the front of the tummy. Uh huh. There we go. And then back up here, mm -hmm. past the seat dart. Just take your time as you're going around all these curves if you're yeah. a little bit nervous about it. You can always stop and go and get a cup of tea. Yeah. There we are, cut the threads. So now we have a rabbit with the ears inside right. and a hole in the back for turning through. Right. So we're going to turn the rabbit the right way out. Uh -huh. And then magically, it should look a little <laughs> bit more like a rabbit. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> so, so. Right, only nine of the lilac left. Please be careful. Less than 30 of the blue. Okay, lilac is going to be the main graphic. Blue will be the little graphic, I'm presuming. Or pink. Which one's she going to put in? And what about the pattern on its own? Half the stock's gone, half the stock of the pattern on its own is gone. So, as you can see, oh. it, looks, <laughs> it looks, obviously when it's stuffed, it's got a lot more shape. Yeah, you, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, obviously, yeah. Yeah, but you can see this, the seat shape at the bottom of where course, it's going yeah. to sit. And then the bunny ears and the nose. When you when you stitched it, did you have to clip into any of the seams or did you trim the... I would, yes. I haven't done before I turned it through, but I would snip into the neck seams. Right. And right. clip. So the, turn it through once to make sure it's all okay. Yeah. And then turn it yeah. back and snip into and the seams. And I would trim it, particularly at the <coughs> top of the head there. You don't want too much bulk yeah, yeah. and it'll help the ears stand okay. up as well. So for demonstration, there Lovely. we go. Right, yeah. so there we have our basic bunny shape. Yeah. Um, the next thing we're going to do are the arms and legs. Right. So very, very simple and very straightforward. So these are completely separate. They don't get sewn into any seams or anything like that, do they? No, not at all. Um, I've stuffed them all separately and hand stitched yeah. up yeah. the back of each mm -hmm. one. And then you could hand stitch them on. If you weren't, obviously if you didn't want to use buttons, you could hand stitch them yeah. uh, set in place and have yeah. a standing rabbit if you wish. Well, no, no. Or, some toy, some toy makers leave gaps where the where the legs and the arms oh, yes, are going, no. don't they? And then oh you have... no. <laughs> no, that sounds much too complicated. Yeah. No, I'm aiming at the uh, at the sort of beginner and confident beginner. Yes, yes and yes. Uh, uh, you know intermediate here. So I've got two pairs there, two hands. Right. Um, you could also use teddy joints, which I know I think you've had them on here Rebecca before. Rebecca Frost sells them. Yeah, yeah. and uh, little plastic plugs. Yeah. And what I would say is that before you join the front to the back, put an arm and a leg on to each side right. and then tuck those inside with the ears. Uh -huh. So that's just how you're going to do it. So again, I've got a little gap here for turning uh -huh. through at so the no, end. So no interfacing or anything on the arms Not the on legs. these, no, the stuffing is enough. Yeah. Uh, more than enough actually. So I'm just gonna do a little reverse stitch and then 
carefully going to go around the edge. Again, if you're not confident or your fabric's moving, do a little row tacking stitches yeah. by hand. I don't know if anybody still does tacking now. Oh but yes, I think I do. do when I'm when I'm first uh, first making something. Mm. Yeah. in the foot to the bottom and a couple of reverse stitches there. Mm -hmm. I'll do the other one. So have you been back up to, to my area recently then? At John? Christmas. I went up at Christmas. Oh lovely. I was here Christmas morning, working Christmas morning, then drove up on Christmas afternoon stayed a few days. Oh lovely. Does it take you long then to get from is it what? Does it take you long to travel up? No, no, a no. couple of hours, that's all. Yeah, same thing. But I, I always think, oh, Christmas Day, there'll be nobody on the road. It's like a busy it? Saturday. Oh, I never drive on Christmas Day. No. Well, because I like, you know, I like to have a glass of something while oh. I'm cooking the dinner. <laughs> well, I've been at work. I can't be drinking while I'm at work. No, but most people come to me uh, yeah. usually at Christmas when we can. Oh, so, so you're answering the door drunk then? Um, <laughs> Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary. Mary, shall we say, yes. Claire who makes little rabbits, she tacks all the fiddly bits. Good, still. good, glad to hear it, Claire. I do at home when I'm doing it because I usually have lots of arms, lots of legs, and when I'm trying them out to see which one fits best. Of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, then you can always easily unpick them and adjust things. Uh, June said, "Have my first hobby maker email today. Will you be doing any shifts, John?" No, no, I don't think so. It's not. It's not. We, I'll be here. Yeah. I'll be. Well, I won't be here. I'll be in the new no. studios. I have my email too. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. next door. Is it the studio? Oh, is it next door? Next door, but one. I can't remember the row of studio. When we're going into a new studio, you see where all the brother and sister chat, brother and sister, all the sister channels are all in together. So there's there's um. Temporia at the end there with Adina and Ellis and everybody. Then there's uh, Jewelry Maker. Then there'll be Primal Living. Then round the corner there'll be us. And then the prep area and everything's right. It's all gorgeous. It's lovely. But the thing is, some, I won't be to see the gallery, so they won't put me off. But there's a glass corridor that goes up the top there. And if every time somebody walks past. Now, when you're at Jewelry Maker, when I do Jewelry Maker shifts, I can see them walking past there. But they'll be going sideways to me there. So I felt somebody might, you know. It's exciting though, it's all new. It all new. will. Can't wait, can't wait. It so will. I don't know, I don't know if I will, June or not. Only if they're desperate, yeah. <laughs> Nobody, somebody's not turned up and I'm there. Because oh. it's, it's on from one o'clock, isn't it, you see? So, well, I don't have to go next door. I'd have to change my shirt and go next door. <laughs> you wouldn't have to change your shirt. No, I oh, well, couldn't do it for <laughs> 10 hours, the same shirt on. And when would I eat my boiled egg? Like a boiled egg. I have boiled egg every lunchtime. I love boiled eggs. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, I'm mm. with you on that, John. Okay. So I've uh, snipped around the curves uh -huh. and uh, just going to turn both of them through right. the turning corner. And again, you can use your hands or your turning. Yeah, they're not to... too skinny, are they? To they're not. not and I find as well, when you're pushing the stuffing in, it does give it a good shape. It really does. So, oh. there we go. And when you've actually stuffed this, um, I find I just turn the seam allowance in mm -hmm. and then I just use a fine needle and some thread and I just do a little whip stitch by hand or you could do an invisible stitch, yep, yep. but whatever you like. Something that's nice and strong and sturdy yeah. and isn't going to uh, come apart. So I'll turn the other one. Um, Anne says, hello John and team. No, hang on. Hello John, Helen and team. Helen, could the rabbit be made in a plush fabric? You could, we were saying that earlier. I think so, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't have to make any different allowances. Just uh, The only thing I possibly would do is have a slightly bigger seam allowance. Well, so cut out a little yeah, bit bigger, just, yeah. Yeah, just cut out slightly bigger. But no, no, I no. think it'd be fine. I'd like to see if anybody does that, see mm. how they make them. So I've got two arms. So as you can see on these, they're slightly narrower at the shoulder right. and slightly wider at the bottom. Uh -huh. Um, but they, they can go either way on the bunny. So mm -hmm. those two are ready to do. Right. Um, so we're getting there now. Yeah, yeah. So plenty of time. Don't waste no rush. The next thing we need to do are the feet. 
Uh, sorry, the legs and the feet. Right. So again, I've cut out four of these, two for each foot, and we're going to have contrasting soles in the fabric. Okay. Um, now, what I tend to do quite often, I've had quite a few patterns where I'm trying to fit the gusset into the bottom and it doesn't quite, you know, it's really difficult because I think as you go around, some of the fact they can give on the yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've done these plenty big enough. Right. So don't worry if you're going all the way around and you've got a little bit of excess fabric, just go with the shape of the foot and they'll, they should come out like okay, that. They brilliant. should come out lovely. lovely. So, so I'll take these pins out. There we go. So we've got two pairs. And this fabric that I've used here is the same on both sides. Uh -huh. It's absolutely lovely. But if you were stitching them in a pattern fabric, you'd do right sides together. Of course, yeah. So we're going to do uh, up and over the foot, around the curved bit to there. Right. Um, well, actually start oh, your little so notches that you're Little notches. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. cut notches on these just so that I know. And I'm yeah. just going to put a pin in to stop them moving too much. There we go. And again, you don't have to worry about reversing these. I like these pins, actually. I have to get some of these pins. Oh. So the markers that I've put on the pattern can also be used for um, if you're using the teddy joints. Right. You know, just gives you a good guide. I think we had a question about sizes of joints earlier, but I'm, I don't know enough about teddy well, joints. Well, I think I use quite small ones, um, probably two centimetres. I know you can get them up to about five. Um, but I would say on this project, two to three centimetre oh, teddy okay. joints. Oh, brilliant. Um, oh, there it is, Lynn. Uh, loving the show, can you yeah. please tell me what size joints you use these gorgeous rabbits, Lean in Reading? So yeah. two to three centimetres, you say? Two to three centimetres um, should be fine, but you can get them one and a half. Um, so it just all depends on, on what you can get hold of, really, yeah. or what you like to use. Yeah. Uh, I just wouldn't go for the very big ones. Oh, no, you have too then, much bulk. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. So I'm going to stitch just down the back here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop at the bottom because that's where the sole's going to go. Yeah. A couple of back stitches so it doesn't open up after. There we go. And now I'm going to start at the front of the foot. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stitch around. I love this machine because it just glides around the shapes. It's so good. We're going to go up the front of the leg. Uh huh. Over the curve. Main graphics blue, side graphics pink. Okay. Lilac, you need to check out your basket now. Too many people got the lilac one in their baskets. Oh. I love the kits that they've done for these. Um, the colours, though. The colours yes, are fabulous. They're beautiful, and the they? panel for the bunny quilt. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Still a few of those available. Right. So we now have one leg mm -hmm. with the base open and our turning space in the back. I'm going to do the other one now. Oh, you know the wall hanging uh, instructions that we restocked? There's only five left. Five left, you'll find that underneath us on, if you watch now, look underneath, there's only five of, the, of those left. We released another 40 and there's only five of those left. I'm just helping it around the curve. Uh, I made a rabbit from a magazine pattern. Oh, hang on. No, I made a rabbit from a magazine pattern. It had arms and legs in the seams and got turned through. This looks much easier. That's oh. what I'm saying, Kate. Yeah, yeah. You do, a lot of them do put them into the seams and everything. Yeah. You have to stuff them first and then you make sure that, yeah. It is. I, I totally agree. I prefer, and you know, if you don't want them movable, like I've done with buttons or with teddy joints, you, you can just do the seated rabbit as it is, sitting yeah, yeah, down. Yeah. Lots of soft toys you buy are, are just sitting down. Mm. So you can do all of that. A few back stitches there. There we go. So now we have two legs, the right and the left. And right. We've got the soles. Right. So what I'm going to do now is one of the soles. I'm going to put it in the gap. So you're going to match right sides together. Yeah. 
and then we're See, going that's to... where a lot of people will freak because you're doing straight edges to a curve, curve. Edge, aren't you? It is. And this is why I've left plenty of fabric on it. It's a good idea to open out your seam mm -hmm. there to save on the bulk. But what do I say, if, it, if it's the first time you've done it or you haven't done it for a while, don't worry too much. Um, mm -hmm. As long as you can do a full seam all the way around um, the actual sole of the foot, it will look fine. It'll mm -hmm. look fine and it'll add to its character. That's what I always say. So I'm just pinning the top there. Mm -hmm. And then at the other end, I'm going to pin the other end to here. You can mark halfway if you wish, but I'm, yeah. I'm doing it by eye. Yeah, but you must have made hundreds of these. I have. Well, the actual teddies, which is the same design, but uh -huh. slightly different. I, I think years ago I probably made about 400. Oh, my word. Over time, because when the children were young, I used to go to craft fairs. And um, so I'd make them in all sorts of different, well, they were having their naps in the yeah, morning or at nursery or whatever. And um, I would just make them and make them. And then whenever I went to like a craft fair. You had a table uh, full. I had a table full, yeah. And, and they all had different bows and everything. Oh, and wow. it's, it's just doing what fits in around yeah, 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 your home and the children at mm. the time. But they were very, very popular. And um, <clears throat> it got to the stage where the ones I was doing then was I was actually stitching the arms and legs in place rather than using buttons. Cause right when you don't know who's going to take them and how they're no, going to be no, no. Um, used. Um, so I would stitch them by hand. And after a while, I started getting that um, is it RSI on my oh, thumb. Oh, no. <laughs> so I decided I would go for the patterns instead. Yes. So as you can see, this is, I would say, the only fiddly bit, really. Yes, yes. And it's not too fiddly. So I've opened out the seam right. at the front. And I'm going to pop the front of the toe under the foot there. Right. And I'm going to put the needle down just to hold it into place. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going around, doing a few stitches at a time. So mm -hmm. I'll go forwards a few stitches. And as you do a few stitches, you can move the sole a little bit so that it's following the leg. So you can move it a little bit at a time. So you'll need to keep lifting your presser foot. Mm -hmm. I think this is where some people find it difficult because they're not lifting the presser foot. Of course. So we'll go back in. Uh, Audrey's had me saying, how tall, how big, how, what size is the bunny? Do you know how big it is? I'll measure it, don't worry. Measure what it, say. yes. I'm not sure, to be honest, John. I did measure it, but I can't recall. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to go up here. I could do it with Cat's meter stick now. Have you got one in there, Cat? Yeah. I'll wave hand to the sewing and then I'll measure it. For you. <laughs> That's all right. So I'm now going over the heel, mm -hmm. the very back of the foot. Jan loves your nails. Oh, very thank neat, you. but not at all distracting. She says. I can't work. I love. I love having them done, but I can't work with them long. I had them long a while ago, uh -huh. and um, oh, I couldn't pick up a pin. <laughs> I, couldn't, I, I couldn't sew, but uh, I have a very nice friend that does them for oh, me. That's yeah, nice. back home. So again, I'm just adjusting it so it looks like. Here, it looks like the foot's going one way, the sole's going one way, and the leg's going another. Uh -huh. But you just need to keep lifting that foot plate and readjusting it a little of bit. So, takes quite a few goes. And if you find when you get all the way around, you've missed a little bit, you can go around again. Yeah, you don't need to try and pick him. it, do you? You can just run, run across it, can't you? Absolutely. So I'll do that. And as you can see, it's starting to curve slightly. And I'm coming back round to the top. here. I'm just going to move that back a little bit. The thing is, if you get, if you get a little pleat, when you stuff it, yes. the stuffing's going to fill the little pleat it's out. It's going to it? be very small. Yeah. So we'll just have a look. And as you can see, well, I've missed a little bit there, so I'm just going to go back around the toe from the top side rather than the base. 
base have moved a little bit. Just going to move that under. Right. Okay. So it will be bigger than your foot, so don't worry. Yes, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you can't stretch it if it's too small. Uh -huh. So we're going to trim it around. Okay. While you while you trim around that, um, yeah. who was it asked about the size? I can't remember who asked how big that size was now. Audrey, right, Audrey, if I could just see this from upstairs, please, Elliot. He's just bringing the camera over. You're not missing anything on the no, machine, no, don't worry. No, no. Right, so Audrey, lengthwise from the top of tip, tip of the toe to the top of the head is 14 inches, and it's about 20 inches that way. And then if it sits down like that, it's... I can't see the move, hang on. Nine inches to the top of the head, 13 and a half inches to the top of the ears. There you go. <laughs> right, sorry, we're, we're just about to, any, I could, any more tips because we just need to... Oh, uh, right, okay. Um, no, what, the only thing I was going to say is on the pattern I describe how to do the eyes. So I use black embroidery thread right. on the mark, so I do over and over quite a few sort of circular stitches or French knots. Oh, yeah, Liz. Uh, Liz listening, yeah. yeah. And, he loves a French knot. And what I do is I stitch through one side of the head and come out through the other eye after I've done the eyes yeah. and go back through again and go back through and it, it makes a little indent. So it yeah, gives it a, a little long more... Dot, dong, I've got a long dot long darning yeah, needle, long yes, darning yeah. So then you just repeat with the other foot and then they're ready to attach when it's all Perfect. stuffed. Perfect, and you put buttons on these, but you're sewing through the buttons into the... Through the button, through the arm, yeah, yeah, through the body, out the other side and yeah. through the other button. And is there a pattern for the bow tie? Yes, that's box? included. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Right, very quickly then, the, which one first? Lilac, lilac will have gone because there's more people got lilac in their basket. Blue first. Uh, in the lead now by two. So you get back quarter of the blue poplin, the instructions, the white and the five cotton bobbin tails. They're not, well, I don't know what they're made of, but the little bobbin tails. Uh, 17 pounds and 99 pence. Beautiful. The pink, which is a gorgeous fuchsia pink. Fat quarter of the pink, the instructions, the white, half meter of the white fabric and the five tails. 17.99. Right, Kat's going to make it. She's going to put Liberty in the ears. There's oh. one of her Liberty uh, fat quarters in the ears. Right, pattern on its own. We had hundreds of these. £9.99, more than half the stock has gone. £9.99. pence. And did you know that the pom-pom tails are available on their own as well? 99p. Now remember, we don't add extra post and packaging when you order extra things. It's all on one PMP for the whole day. At 99p. How many of those have got left? Oh, come on, get those because Barry, the bald, beautiful book buyer, will be very upset if they don't all go. Yeah, he's coming on their, uh, on their birthday. Dawn says, I'm with Cat. Liberty is, would be gorgeous, aren't wouldn't they indeed? Love watching Helen. The uh, love watching Helen. The rabbits are gorgeous. Says Sue. Right. Okay. Helen Newton. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, John. I've when really will we see you it. next? Um, at Mother's Day. Mothering Sunday. Mothering Sunday. Yes, that's right. I'll be here. Yeah. Uh, with a new, new, brand new project exclusive to Sewing Street. Oh. And we will, will you be home by in time for your Mothering Day lunch. Um, that'd be a late lunch. That I might day. have to have a lunch on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it could be. It could be a late. Mother yeah, exactly. Day, make, yeah. Let's, it, make the day a hot, longer day. So nice. Have a nice fun here, and then get on the train. That's have right. a glass of wine on the train. Yeah. Get home in time for your nice dinner. And just remind my three that you know I will be home later. Yes. <laughs> Are they all local? They live locally. No, no. Only one lives local. One's in London, and one's in Berlin. Uh, so I know anything? he's been there for years and years. So, oh. yeah. Anyway, listen. Love. Really, Thank really you. love to see you. Thanks had for a coming great morning. in. Uh, don't go anywhere because after the break, something new, something a bit new. We've got scarves. We've got B uh, Popolopolopolis. We have got collagen in three different flavours. We've got soap and we've got face cream. It's all about Mothering Sunday. We will see you in... Oh, oh, I'm Poppy. We've got Poppy as well. Uh, we'll see you in four minutes from now.
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Something a little bit different for you now. Do you know what? Can I just say, um, these have only just arrived. And uh, 27th of March, Mother and Sunday, just think. But you know what? Treat yourself. I, I, I'll ask Poppy about these, very quickly about these later. But I just picked this. I saw Kat put them on the stand. I think, yeah, OK, scarves. We're doing scarves. Oh! I can't tell you. I cannot tell you. that If you put this... Like, we're not even doing these yet. These are just on the website. But aren't they just... Gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Right, okay, on the website, there's loads of different colours. We're not concentrating on that. We're not concentrating on that. I'm just putting that there. Right, uh, uh, okay, are we going to show to the website? Okay, then. Today's show deals on pre-order. There they all are. That's everything we're doing this hour. There, oh, there's, is that Poppy modelling? 
What's he doing? He's gone clogged up. There you go. Rose, quartz, lilac, turquoise, emerald and coral. What's the matter, Elliot? Oh, I thought he said microphone's off. Right, okay, 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 okay. Right, what we've got to do, first of all, I need to introduce you to Poppy because some of you won't have, not, won't have met Poppy or anything. So you know we have all the sister chat, we have all the sister chats. We're just saying where the studios are uh, when we're moving in. So we've got, we've got Gemporio, we've got Jewelry Maker, we've got ours, we've got Hobby, Craft start, uh, Hobby Maker starting next week or anything. And we also have a channel called Primal Living, which covers a lot of different things, but a lot of them that are health and nutrition. Now, this is gorgeous Poppy. Hello, oh my goodness. Well, I'm so pleased to be here with you all. And John and myself, I mean, we, we've worked together for, well, or we used to work together yeah, years ago, yeah, but yeah. we haven't seen each other in such a long no, time. No, that's so how we, we just say Vix, Vix's wedding. Vix's it was wedding. Vix's wedding. But it can was... I just explain? We used to work together at Roxco, so mm -hmm. I, we were doing jewellery. We were GIA, both GIA trained. We've obviously, I've gone back to my roots, the sewing. But Poppy, you've trained, I, I'm just going to say this now, because I know a lot of people go watch shopping tell and they go, oh, those presenters, they just get any old presenter, just come on to it. You You've done all this training and kind of because you're now a narrow nutrition. What's what's you, what do you okay, call yourself? So I'm certified in nutritional therapy. Uh, the reason that I got into health, in fact, I was doing it alongside Rocks and Co. So yeah, I, was, yeah. I was trained in the jewellery side, but health was always of huge interest to me. Sewing's also a massive interest to me. I'll go back to that in a yeah. moment. But <laughs> I've suffered quite a lot with my health over the years, feeling really healthy, really happy these days. But I've been in and out of hospital a lot, and I thought, you know what? I want to learn what I can do for myself. I wanted to feel liberated. So I trained in nutrition to understand what we put into our bodies and onto our skin as well. And there's a lot about that today. I know with sewing, you can get sometimes dry hands or often, you know, accidental, you know, needle pricks here Pin and there. Pricks, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. You know, I've been there as well because um, Nana T, just to mention a bit about my lovely grandma. Now, my, my grandma, who isn't with us anymore, you know, bless her heart, mm -hmm. uh, was an amazing seamstress. Oh, oh my she goodness. Was, and, but not only she was an amazing seamstress, she was cool. I mean, not only, first of all, <laughs> Poppy's nan and Poppy's mum are just two of the most adorable women you could ever, ever meet. And the nan, I mean, we'll talk about that in a minute, but Poppy's mum, she's, she'll be watching now. She's so glamorous. Yeah. I cannot tell you. I, saw, I keep, well, not anymore because I don't go to the bank in Stratford my name anymore, but I used to see her in the bank all the time. She'd be like this. She, oh, she's, she's, isn't she? Your mum is just so glamorous. They're both hilarious because both my mum and grandma will do that. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry that you've seen me like this. And it's like, you look amazing. Yes, yes, You yes. look incredible. Yeah. Like, oh, goodness. Um, but my <laughs> so mum will be to, watching. Yeah, go so, back to Nana. Go back so, to Nana. So, Nana T, my, my amazing grandma, a godmother, and was one of my best friends, uh, was an amazing seamstress. I mean, gosh, she just, she just had a, a talent in her fingertips, like so many of you do as well. And with that, she's made so many different, gosh, everything from clothing to pillows, wedding dresses for mm -hmm. many people. In fact, John, I seem to remember she made you a bag. I've got a bag, got a, a lovely bag. big, like a big, it's a great big tote bag. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's really lovely. Yeah. Oh, Should have brought it in. I forgot about that. Anyway, anyway, yes. anyway. So you go into, into you, you've trained in nutrition, you trained, and that's your job. That's your real job now as well. Yes, my, my real job, yeah. my real job. Oh yeah. Uh, but with that, I, we wanted to showcase because it is part of, it's part of our whole brand. So it's one of the sister channels and I wanted to showcase particularly at the moment when we're talking about gifting mother's day is just around the corner i mean it's not just for mother's day you know it could be treat yourself you deserve it well no i anyway, say self gifting yeah. is the way to go i, used Gift, to, I yeah. say that rocks and go didn't i if you're buying it for yourself you know you're gonna like it don't you nothing worse than opening a present going oh Oh yeah, so today we just, because they do, uh, uh, they do, uh, on Primal Living they do candles, they uh -huh. do scarves, they do mm -hmm. all sorts of jewellery, everything. Today, we're kind of doing a bit on the beauty side, but you know, we all need it. <laughs> just to be honest, we all need it. <laughs> right, so we're not going to take time on this, but we've got special deals for you today, right? So, if you look here, this is, I'll get Poppy just to describe it to you in a minute. It's organic apricot soap, right? Um, it's, so, now, it's £7.98, but that's for the three, is it? So yeah. if you, if you, that you don't need to put three in your basket. This is the one where if you put ZZ6614 in your basket, you will get three of these soaps, but you'll only pay £7.98 because they're three ninety nine each, aren't they? Three. That's yeah, they're three ninety nine each. You buy, you can buy it individually if you want to. You can buy one on its own if you want to. Look for three ninety nine on the side there. But if you want the deal, the organic apricot soap bar, 
uh, you get one for free. Now, very quickly, because we're not meant to be doing this, but I know it's already going quickly on the website. What is so special about this soap? Oh, gosh, uh, so many things. Uh, firstly, I mean, it's 125 grams. So it's a really solid, sizable, above your average size of soap. Normally, it's about 100 grams. It's organic, as reference, so it's really kind and gentle on the skin. Again, I know um, you use your hands a lot here with all the beautiful pieces that you're crafting, creating, sewing and making. So with that, you want to look after these hands of yours. Um, it can be used as an all-over body soap. Um, uh, the main ingredients are apricot, of course, but also olive oil. By the way, we will be showcasing an apricot cream today as well, which has the same packaging. So if you're looking for a duo, uh, perhaps like a mini hamper for somebody, mm -hmm. oh my goodness gracious me, I mean, perfect for Mother's Day or gifting for any reason. Each one is individually wrapped. Each one is individually wrapped for fresh freshness. An amazing meal so it doesn't disintegrate. I, do you know what? I can't stand soaps that turn to mush. Oh, oh gosh, no, just, no, uh, no. That's what puts, puts, used to put me off at buying bars of soap mm -hmm. because after a while you go to pick it up and it's all like, uh, like that um can i just it smells like old proper old-fashioned soap it's proper soap it doesn't smell soap. like you, you, yeah you know how you can pick some soaps up and you know full well that there, there are flavorings or not I don't know about these things. But no, you no, you're make... right. Artificial colourings and yeah. synthetic ingredients. This, yes, no. This you... smells like a soap my nan would have had. Way, way, way like her old fashioned soap. But it's it's a, a, appealing. It's not like a ooh smell. But it, <laughs> it you can tell that it's natural. You you can't. It doesn't smell like they, they, like you say they put scent in and things like that. Uh, three for one. We're not we're not going now. The only other thing I want to say. Afternoon, John. I was wondering if all the products are vegan friendly. So a number of them are vegan friendly. So first, the first one, our collagen shakes are vegan friendly. Soap uh, is vegan friendly. This has got a bit of honey in. Uh, so that one has got a, a bee extract. So it's, and oh, that now. See, I'm going to learn something. Okay. So honey isn't vegan friendly. It isn't vegan friendly. So albeit you're not ingesting these, um, yes. understandably for topical use for skin, I, I understand vegan friendly is also very important. So everything's vegan friendly except for the cream and the propolis. So this one here, right. that's also bee related. Bee. Okay, it, very yeah. quickly then. Um, I was going to ask you something about this. Oh no, so if you buy three for two, you want the code, you get you three, you get one for free. Or you can just, if you just want to try it, if you've never bought anything from Primal Living before, three ninety nine. Now, it's, you don't pay any extra PP. We're not a different show. It's not a different show. It is still Sewing Street show. So it's, if you bought something today, you're still covered with your PP. It's not like we've suddenly gone to a different studio, different thing. Um, there are there are three for two bundles on everything, including this, but this is slightly different. The way you do that one is slightly different. So what we'll do is on all of these things here, we will have a special code for three of them, and or you can buy them individually. When we come to this, it's slightly different, right? So that's the soap. It smells beautiful. It smells really, really lovely. Right, so let me put that to one side. We weren't supposed to be talking about that. What would you like to talk about first? Poppy? Could we please talk about the aloe vera vegan collagen shakes that we've right, got? Right, that's these, isn't it? Right. Now, this is where it's slightly different, right? You still can get three for two, but what you need to do is you need to check out on them individually, right? So I'll do the I'll do the selling bit, and then you can tell us why we why we <laughs> need them. So we've got chocolate. Oh, that's vanilla. That's strawberry. Right. So we've got chocolate flavour, right? So if you buy it on its own, it's nineteen ninety nine. If you put three of those in your basket, you will only be charged for two. But you need to put when you go to your basket, you need to write that you want three of them. But you can, you're going to be able to mix and match them in a minute as well. But if you want three of any of these, you'll only pay for two. So you're going to pay £40 for two instead of £60. Uh, £40 for three instead of £60 for three. So uh, that one's a chocolate. Uh, uh, Poppy will explain all. I don't know what it is. Right? I, I'm, I'm up. Hands up. I don't know what it is. So we're going to find out in a minute. But I just want you to be able to get the deals before you can. Uh, strawberry next. No, what have I picked up? That's vanilla. Strawberry. Uh, uh, there you go, 19 99. Now, if you buy three of them, check out three of them, you'll only get pay, you'll only get charged for two. But remember, you can mix and match with all three flavours. So that's why we put it at 19 99 for each one. When you check out, it will go down to your £40 rather than your £60. But you can buy them individually. Obviously, if you just want one, try, try it out, buy one. And then this one here is your vanilla. It's like me when I go to Starbucks, vanilla soy latte. <laughs> you can do that with these. You can add them to coffee. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. So nineteen ninety nine again. If you buy, you can buy one. You'll pay nineteen ninety nine. If you buy two, you'll pay forty pounds. If you buy three, you'll pay forty pounds. 
right? But again, you can mix and match between all three of them, right? All three. Now, it's all very well me saying, oh, three for two, three for two, 1990. I have no idea what it is. So, Poppy, I'm just going to let you go okay. and tell us what exactly this is. It's fabulous is what it is. And okay. also, just a reference on the note of the deal, the three for two is, is entirely exclusive for you here at Sewing Street. So I wholeheartedly appreciate um, you're used to sewing. Uh, we have, of course, got beautiful scarves on the mm -hmm. website as well that you can embroider onto or just enjoy as is. But I wanted to say thank you for having me and also for anybody that's brand new to us, give you an introductory offer because that's not available even on our website and even on different channels. Oh, right okay, now. perfect. So, brand new deal. What is is it though okay so first things first collagen no doubt most people have heard about collagen yeah. but collagen is the structural protein of the body so it basically provides the scaffolding and strength to your skin in a nutshell the less you have of it the more likely you're going to have fine lines and wrinkles right. which most of us i would say wouldn't want uh too many of yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, about yeah. keeping yourself looking as happy and healthy and as fresh uh, for longer now there's a little bit of um information at the bottom there highlighted which says research indicates that by the age of 40 the body's ability to produce collagen is decreased by 25 percent and then by the age oh, of 60 better be quick then, yeah you? better be quick better be quick by the age of 60 it's decreased by over half now <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, sorry John. Even after our 20s it starts to decrease, but as we get older, I, I Poppy, I'm 62 yes, this year. Well, you know, you oh, look lovely still. Thank John, you. Don't you have you? to say that. Yeah. No, no I don't. I don't. I don't have to say right. that at all. Go on, <laughs> We've then. worked together many years. Yeah, um, <laughs> so, what we have here is a formulation. Now, you can't get collagen vegan. So, what this is a, is a formulation that helps your collagen synthesize. Right. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So, it's plant extracts that are known to aid your own collagen synthesis. Now, just a quick note before I tell you any more about the formulation. Um, if we just go back to that last slide thank you so much the collagen isn't just great for the skin that's the, the last thank slide, you Daniel, so much the there we go slide. that's perfect so collagen is really important for our nails so if you've got brittle nails it might be a lack of collagen um, cartilage bones it, it makes up our skeletal system so lots of people have reported back you know in terms of reviews that they've had great improvement not just with their skin and crow's feet decreasing mm -hmm. number 11 mm -hmm. lines forehead lines all of this but also their skin um, sorry their nails have improved and their mobility has got better as well. Oh, okay. So it's not just a beauty. It's not just beauty, then. No, it's no, not, it's, it's health. It can be health, and look, if you know, if you if you're doing your sewing and you get anything like RSI, repetitive strain injuries. Oh yeah, uh, Helen was just talking about that oh, when, really? she, when she over, when her children were little. She made four hundred teddy bears, and she oh, well. got the you know yeah exactly. Well, collagen's really important in that aspect. You know, if you're moving your limbs, moving your hands, then you want to ensure that you've got you know strong joints. Mm. Uh, and arthritis, I know, can be an issue as well. Just a small disclaimer: if you have got any underlying conditions, please double check with your GP. We offer a money-back guarantee. In fact, we do a money-back guarantee so good that you can buy this, open this, try it, the whole bottle, the whole bottle. If you don't like the flavour, if it doesn't do anything for you, you can send it back just as a sort of a safety net for you. But honestly, you will love it. It tastes delicious. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's fabulous. Now, okay, right. what no, do we no, have here? Right, no, no, I'm being serious. No, no, be serious. I, don't, I still need okay, to understand right. it. Okay, right, so um, to the next slide, please, Elliot. Thank you so much. Right. We have a formulation here that is made up of natural plant extracts. So we've worked with New Live Science, okay? So this is allowed for us to bring you these extracts. It's predominantly aloe vera, right. but you've got astragalus. I love saying that word. It sounds yes. like a Harry Potter spell, um, which is a, a flowering plant used in Chinese medicine. Panax Noto Ginseng, Chinese Ginseng, and a very special type of rose. There is so much research to showcase that this formulation together is known to help your collagen right. synthesize and be created. Right. I'm going to stop you there, go, right? Go for it, yeah. Uh, many years ago when I worked at this morning, I, was, I had Botox like on air and I had all those different things then I was offered something I won't say the name of it because it was a make of it but it was an injection they put in uh -huh. and it was highly I just saw it on that slide hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid right and the hyaluronic acid wasn't they weren't putting collagen in me they were putting hyaluronic acid so my body would think I was 19 again yeah. And it was like, oh, you're 19, what's wrong with your collagen? And it would grow the collagen. Now, I just saw on that slide, go back to the slide, Elliot, right? At the top there, it says hyaluron, I can't even say it. There we go, no, no, well, this, this is a buzz terminology. So collagen hyaluronic acid, I mean, you've probably seen big A-list celebrities and, and film stars and mm. actresses and so on on very high budget adverts talking about hyaluronic 
Erotic. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I think that might have been Eva Longoria, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But it's a moisture magnet. So essentially, collagen provides the scaffolding for your skin. This formulation is known to help you produce more collagen. It's vegan friendly, but it helps you produce more. And it also helps with your own hyaluronic acid, which is a moisture magnet. Moisturized skin is supple, young, youthful looking skin. Okay, so now I, my next question is, and we haven't practiced any of this at all because I haven't, I haven't seen Poppy till she just walked in there. <laughs> so, I could understand if they, re this sounds horrible now, I'm sorry, but they injected it into my face, right? Which was Lots quite painful. And it was very painful. Yeah. You sit with an ice pack on your face afterwards. But I understood that that's what it was going into the place it needs to go. This is, is this a drink? This is a drinkable form of this formula. So you, what you do, by the way, this is so easy to use. Right. You've got a 500, in fact, could you pop the bottle out for us, John, if that's okay? Not being, they're not giving you was one. It, oh, yes. no, mind. Okay, it's okay, all go. for you, all for you, none for me. All no, for no, me, no. all for me. <laughs> the, once it's open, I have to take it home. There we go, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hang on, go on then. Are they all in the same bottle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're all in the same green bottle. Yeah. So you get the bottle and you get the little cap. You get the measuring cup as well. Right. So you've got th 33 days with every single bottle. So it's a 500 ml bottle. Right. With, and you use only 15 ml per day. So you pour the 15 ml into your capsule, uh, into your, uh, to the lid, to the cap. Flavor, and then you can either drink it um, as it is, so take it almost like a shot, or you can put it into coffees, you can put it into teas, you can add it into smoothies. I've got vanilla. So but how much do I need, sorry? So 15 milliliters. Oh, so it's only it's, half? It's only a small amount. It's yeah. only a small about that's it nice and specific thank you john <laughs> right hang on vicky vicky vicks wants some of this tough you didn't come in today shouldn't you be prepping for jewelry maker <laughs> right hang on oh, i can't even see the 15. so you minutes. only need the smallest amount so it's right okay i've got 15, 15 right now what do i do with it now then okay so you can either drink it as is or if you think, now it does taste a little bit like aloe vera, ever so slightly, but predominantly it's I got like this natural, aloe. you see, so do I. But that one will have a vanilla flavour to it, which is sweetened with stevia, no sugar. Down, down the hatch goes. <laughs> oh. What do you think? Oh, well, I think that's, um, that is a, 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 a now you, good now sign. It ha, it, it, no, no, so some of you, it is an unusual taste, but I loved, I love taking aloe vera, so uh -huh. I love that. I, I don't say it's a weird taste, but it's a definite. It's plant. It's plant extract. It's, it tastes earthy. Almost. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now. Yeah. The trouble is, now I've tried the vanilla. I can't try those, can I? Because you, you mustn't take more than 15 well, a day. Well, okay. So the advisory that we will give as a disclaimer is you only need one per day. I do know some people that having checked with doctors and so on might up their dosage. But in terms of our packaging and what yeah, we're yeah, of course, legally allowed to say, yeah. one per day. But so you, only need, yeah. you only need one per day. I might sometimes occasionally take a little bit more. Okay. I've got a quick question. <laughs> are, they not are they tested on animals? Absolutely not. No. Right. Okay. No. Yes. Everything we do. Every oh my goodness. Great question. But um, no, no, no. Never. We never have a never will test on animals. In fact, it's completely illegal in Europe, but we wouldn't do it anyway. Wouldn't okay, anyway. and these are vegan, so that means they're vegetarian as well. They're vegetarian, they're vegetarian and vegan yeah. friendly. Yeah, yeah that's correct. fine, that's fine. Right, okay, so I've taken that. What's that going to do? Will I come on? Oh, I'm not in, I'm not in tomorrow. So if I, oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if I take 15 today, it's <laughs> Thursday, 15 on Friday, 15 on Saturday, 15 on Sunday, I'm back in on air on Monday. Am I going to look like you when I come in? On no Monday? one's going to recognise you when you next come in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, what what okay. it do, what will that be doing now? It's because it, obviously it's going down into my tummy, isn't uh -huh, it? Uh-huh, it is. Yeah. How is that physically working to make me look younger? It's feeding the body with nutrients. So just as something that's sugary can make you feel it can almost give you a high and then a crash yeah. but it can also make you feel really sluggish you know a, a very carby sort of meal mm. just as that can make you feel great uh, uh, bad this can make you feel great right. so after a period of time allowing for it to do what it's meant to do those plant extracts and by the way we've worked with a cosmeceutical company so it's an alternative to a pharmaceutical but they, they have done the science they have done the research in fact um Elliot, would you mind taking me to the slides where it has the uh scientific evidence so the, the statistics on what they have showcased when other people have tried this. Now, I would expect that you would see results once some sort of results in the terms. One you want? There we go. Where's yeah. the evidence? Thank you so much. Now, bearing in mind this is of the formulation of a certain amount, so the Astrion, that's the three ingredients, plus there's a lot more in there. But Astrion, they've done 12 in vitro, so that's out of the human body, petri dish type study. But type 1 collagen, by the way, is predominantly the collagen of your skin. 
some collagens in your bones, it, it seals many of your vital organs, but there was an increase of 60% with, a, with, and that was based on a certain amount of Astrion. What we can see here is that all of them are in the plus. 60, 80, 45, 30, 80%. Astrion is scientifically proven to make a difference. It'll vary from person to person how long it of takes course, yes, for yeah. you, but it's a natural but that, formulation. That, that's the same with that injection. They Absolutely. couldn't say to me, I had to have three, I had to have three sessions of full on proper injections, right? And, but they couldn't guarantee, that they'd say it will make some effect, but if I had it, you had it, well, it wouldn't work on Elliot, uh, or Hayley had it, or whatever, we'd all, we'd all have different, it would all have, because our bodies are all completely different, aren't That's they? It. So it's going to work in a different, not in a different way, but in a different speed on each person's body, isn't it? Absolutely. Lifestyle factors, genetics, metabolism, that will all come into play. Uh, obviously, the, the better you can eat, the better you can sleep. I know it's not as easy as just, oh, just sleep well. It doesn't work quite like yeah, yeah. that. But all of those aspects come into play. But this is something that is entirely natural, also harnesses the power of aloe vera. Now, the reason that we have, we actually have a whole aloe aloe range, this is just one showcase of what, of what we can offer. We do creams on our website, we do uh, amazing aloe vera supplements of, of other forms as well. But aloe vera is really, really rich in vitamins, minerals and amino acids. Now they feed the body, they feed the body. So aloe vera is, is known to be one of the finest skincare health ingredients to mankind. I mean, it, it was called the plant, it still is actually called the plant of immortality because of the way it can grow in such dry conditions, because it's actually known to help our skin. I'm not saying this can make you immortal, but... No, you know, no, no. Might, but the <laughs> thing is, it's not, it's not you saying, oh, so I've got this brand new... Aloe vera has been around since biblical times. That's you know it. what I mean? It's been around years and years and years. Right, I've just opened the other two. What you need to remember, right, is they're 19 99 each. Put three in your basket of any, any one of each, two of that, one of that, one of one of, you'll only be charged for two of them, right? You'll only be charged. This is slightly different to the other bundles, but you will. So if you buy three bottles, right, you'll only pay £40, right? If you buy two bottles, you'll pay £40. If you buy one bottle, you pay £20. I very, re literally put, uh, it'll be all right, won't it, just to try... I just want to do the flavours. There's yes. a tiny, tiny bit in there. Absolutely. Now, I know, as I say, we, do, we, we technically only would need one per day. I do this I didn't do a full do. 15, but it's yes. fine. But this, I've got less than one in Try this. Try them, so John, absolutely, I just please. want you to know what it tastes like, you see. So that vanilla, which is the most popular, is definitely vanilla, right? This is strawberry. Strawberry is a beautiful flavour as well. This is actually our best selling. Oh, is it? It is our best selling. Now, I'm not trying to put anybody off. It tastes like a, 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 like a cough medicine or a, something I had when I was little, you, like um, rose hip syrup or something yeah. like that. That's what that one tastes like. You You're not the first that. person to say that it tastes like um, it's like a sweet cough medicine, which actually yes, some yes. people, I mean, so I remember when I was younger, there were certain medicines, I'd be like, I'll have more, please. I'll have yes. more. It's like, you're not sick. You don't need this. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but that's a very, very different taste to the vanilla. You taste like you're having a cup full of sugary vanilla. That's what that tastes. That one tastes more medicinal. Now, this one here is the, oh, chocolate. Okay. I like this in coffee. Make a mocha. Right. First of all, you can smell that it's chocolate before you even put it in your mouth. Right, okay, this has taken me back now to about 1964. Right? Uh, my mum had twins, right? My little brother and uh -huh. sister, right? She used to buy all the food in pots, right? Mm -hmm. And she used to buy them a chocolate pudding, right? Okay. And it was the richest, most beautiful... And they were obviously fed it, cause and I'd be, like, waiting for the glass... I can't remember, what was it, Karen Gay to what make... I can't remember what maker was in the 60s, but that is exactly the same taste. If, you've got, if you want to remember back to, like... It was like a chocolate mo a moussey sort of thing, but it is the most... the that tastes like it's got the most expensive chocolate in the world in it. But then it's vegan, so there's no... But this is... Okay, so we use stevia to give it the sweetness, um, and it's, 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 it's a mimicking. So they're all <coughs> vegan-friendly. They're all vegan-friendly. It's plant extracts and plant extracts only. But it, it makes it delectable and tasty. I mean, I, I used to do, or I used to quite often uh, do a course of aloe vera. I mean, there's, there's different companies and brands that have offered aloe vera <coughs> juicing, <coughs> detoxes. Yeah. Do you know what? I felt great after it. Did I enjoy doing them? I'll be honest, no, I didn't. Whereas we wanted to create something, and we did so many taste testing... Um, <coughs> 
it's Experiment gone down the wrong hole. <laughs> That's the problem. I just tried a little bit more then. It's gone down the wrong hole. <coughs> right, yes, go on. Absolutely delicious, but they're so easy to use. So, so again, you can pour it into the cup, into the measuring cup, and every single bottle comes with one, by the way. So if you go for three, you'll get one with each. And if you're giving them out as presents or anything like that, if you know somebody that's into their skincare, if you know somebody that's suffering with their hair, skin, or nails, and as I say, once again, um, with regards to mobility, you know, if you, if you, I know you obviously you're sewing and crafting and creating <coughs> beautiful pieces. Um, if you ever find, find that you get aches and pains, yep. collagen's really, really important for our joints. It's okay, really now important. I've got a question here. I know you're not you're not a doctor, no. so I know you can't reply to this as a doctor. Yes. But Donna said she's got rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis. Could this help? Okay, so Donna was that. Donna. Donna, Donna, yeah. Donna, thank you so much for your message. So as John mentioned, so I'm not medically trained, but even if I was a doctor, we wouldn't actually legally, or a doctor rather, wouldn't actually legally be able to say yes or no oh, okay, on okay, everyone having to sit. Yeah, yeah. But what I can say is this, we have loads of people, loads and loads of people that do take this for arthritis, but what they've done is they've checked with their doctor. doctor first. And more often than not, it's yes, you've got the green light, but I just double check with your GP. So Donna, what, so you've just said, uh, oh, hang on, jo John, it's Heinz baby food just it's my baby sister's chocolate pudding there you go thank you Meg I was right so so what you're saying is Donna could buy one of these mm -hmm. she could take it to her doctors yes she can say look will this help the doctor can then say well it'll help in here it'll help in there or whatever right if he goes or she goes mm, not really they can send it back. Absolutely. Even if she's opened it and tried it. Yes, and we're only keeping that offer on for, for a limited time only. I wanted to offer it here because, again, as no, I no, say... No, 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 no. So, it's, so it's, within, it's within, like, the next, say, 20 days or something like that. Yeah, yeah. 30, yeah. Yeah, 30 days. You 30, can do 30, it. 30 yeah, days. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, 30 days. There you go. Very so good. don't be expecting that all the time sort of thing. Don't yeah. be sending it back in a year's time. Going, <laughs> no, I didn't really like that vanilla one. I finished it. Didn't really... Oh, I've licked all three bottles yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> but now... Oh, <coughs> right. Sorry, what are you saying, Kat? I can't, I can't, I can't hear you. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay then, um, right, okay, we're just doing a taster of Primal Living. There are lots of new customers in today. Or you might be one of my regulars who's been watching me for the last two years. Well, I haven't been here two years, but you know what I mean? And you've, and don't say, and you've never even heard of Primal. This is this is just a taster for you. Please go to their website, which Absolutely. is called. So if you go to primalliving.com, you can head to our website. You can even see this college in there. But what you'll see is that it's not on the three for two offer. No. So you've got that amazing deal. But what you can look up are reviews. So you can see from other people that have tried this because this has given great results based on the research. Yeah. Astrial, um, yeah. Astragalus um, gummifer and the Panax no Notex no ginseng has given. But also you can see from real people like you that have purchased it. But also. It's not, you might be looking at this. Hang on, you might, oh no, hang on. I need to explain something first. You might be looking at this and thinking, well, that's all very interesting. I don't want collagen shake. I want something else. I want to go and look at the scarves. I want to go and look at um, things to help my diet and things like that. This is what you do. You go to the website, which is primalliving.com. That's it, yeah. that's correct. That's not you. That's not me. <laughs> My mum is on here, though. You'll oh, see, we should. Let's see, see, let's see, let's see, mum. Right, see okay, so where, would, where would you say we go to look just for oh, all products, I suppose? So if you go to the little magnifying glass in the top right-hand corner. Right. And then you can search your products there, or you, there is another way you can go but by... But if I know health. nothing, if, if I know, you know nothing, nothing new, Right, okay, so you can go by um, women or men, or all products, and as you can see, it comes in different categories. So brain oh, health... Oh, I recognise that, man. Did, uh, yeah. He's famous. He, that's James Cracknell, that's the Olympian right. rower. He's won a, won a few gold medals. Very What's well known. What's he drinking then? So he's Knocking drinking energy. It's a natural, sugar-free energy drink. So we try to make natural alternatives for um, something that we consume on regular Is that basis. Apple? It's an apple flavour. I yeah. saw you doing this the other day. Did it you? It comes in like sachet things. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Who had some this morning? Elliot oh, Elliot's had it. some this morning. Mm. Oh. Anyway, anyway, we're not selling that, we're not selling that. But look, all the different things there, CBD oil, magnesium, multivits, noggin, omega-3, all the thing, all the things. Oh, now somebody asked about shampoo earlier. They asked if that soap bar came as a shampoo, but the shampoo's on, sorry, on, the, on there, the shampoo's on there. Look. We do have some magnificent shampoo. So you've got the likes of argan shampoo, coconut, green tea shampoo. Uh, great for different varieties of hair types, so oily yeah, hair, yeah. dry hair, bleached hair, so on. Now, so you, can have you, a know, look. you know on our other channel, uh -huh. um, Hattie was on the other day with a, you might know this, was a gem collector, a, a Cypriot gem collector. Yanni. Who, yeah, yeah, and he was talking about olive oil soap and everything. And he was 60 and he I looked can't... like a flipping. I was like, 
Oh, great. <laughs> he looked amazing, right? And he put it all down to his very simple, because he's used it for all of his life, um, olive oil soap. Simple is often best. Yes, Yanni, who yeah. is a gem expert, but obviously massively into his health, as, as yeah. you've referenced. He's talked about how I mean, he consumes olive oil on a regular basis. Olive oil, which in part makes up your apricot soap. You've actually also got some olive oil in we'll, we'll your we'll come to that. Cream, we'll come to that one in But a second, it's highly yeah. nourishing for the skin. So working from the inside out is your collagen, and then we'll go from your outside in as well, so these soaps and your creams. Brilliant. Right, so let me just recap these. We'll come back to them, right? So, and if you've got any questions, please either email in, do the white box, or Facebook Live me in, right? So these th th these three for two deals are slightly different. You are going to get three for two, right? You are going to get three for two. So, oh, now chocolate's run into the lead because vanilla was in the lead a minute ago. Let me just explain how it works, right? Each of these are £19.99. You need to put three in your basket, whether you put three vanilla, three chocolate, three uh, strawberry, or you can put one of each, or you can put two of one and one. If you just don't want the strawberry one, you want two of one and one of a, you can do that. As soon as you put three in your basket and you check out, you'll only be charged 40, well, that's 39 98 Is that right? 39 98 Yeah, right? £40, right? You'll only be charged that much. But you'll, if you buy two, You'll still be charged that £40, so you might as well, if you're thinking of doing the two, you can buy all three. What's the matter? Okay, then. Um, 19 99 Right, if you... Uh, the one that most is most popular is chocolate. That's, I have to say that is currently my favourite, but I, the thing is I love to add it to coffee and make mocha. I mean, how much do you pay in a coffee house for a uh, mocha or latte, whatever it might be, and you pay, you pay a small fortune. You pay yeah, a small, well, I mean, we were doing it in the, there's, there's a star, uh, at the coffee shop at the <laughs> supermarket on the uh, that roundabout over there. And we, every now and then we do it as a, as a treat. And then it started getting every morning. It was, and then when you get your, when you get your bank statement mm. at the end of the month, and it was like 15 quid a day, wasn't it? Or 14 pounds a day. And you suddenly realise. Adds you just, up. What? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Elliot spent 100 pounds just <gasps> on his cakes last month. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, anyway, look, this is, this is, this is the deal. This is the only one that you have to do like this. You put three in your basket, check out, you'll only pay for two. But as I say, if you only put two in your basket, you'll still pay for two. So you might as well do that and get that one for free, mightn't you? It's up to you. And of course, there's a returns policy as well. 500 million, well, 33, 33, you get, that's just over a month's worth in there then. That's it, yes, so you've got three shots. months. If you do the three month, three of those, you've got three months worth of, just over three months worth of shots that's it and use it how you wish you might want to mix it up per day so you might want to take it from the cap itself try it that like way like i just did which no, was like fine. john just did yeah absolutely uh or you can add it to coffees you can add it to smoothies you've got a blender and you love smoothies of a morning then you can add it to that as well you could even put it into yogurts if you really wanted to but i would say get put it into a drinkable form yeah to um, get so the best benefit so cat's going to put that chocolate one in her hot chocolate at night time perfect now, quick question that's just come in, no name on it. Will the heat destroy what's in the bottle? So they're actually designed to work with heat as well. Now, there's a really great question because there's lots of different uh, ingredients and products out there where we'll say, actually, it's probably best to use it in cold water. Um, heat is known to slowly diminish ingredients, but if you put it into a coffee, it's designed to be for a hot drink and then drink it sooner rather than later. Oh, Not, I, don't burn your mouth, though. I'd yes, rather, it's for I'd I quite like that full power I do too. shot just I going do. and yeah. you do need to be careful don't because that was the first one. I like the first one the best the vanilla um, the chocolate was beautiful but the vanilla is definitely my favorite I'd, I'd have to be really strict myself not to, ooh, 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 was, yeah. it was doing me good this you know but anyway right okay so let's move on from there let's move on where would you like to go next then if we can please talk about Propolis. Okay, I've been trying to say this all day so this is be proper lopolopolis right lopolopolis <laughs> Right, now, that's what, Cat? Yeah, now, you don't have to put this one's bundled for you, so it's $7.99 on its own, right? So if you want just one, oh, that was the, what, the graphic you need to put in. What was the code there for that one? Just, sorry. Now, if you want three, right? If you, want, if you know what this is, right? You, I don't know what this is either. I'll be totally honest with you, like I always am, because I don't know. I, I don't know. That's why Poppy's here. So they, but if you want three of this, you know what B propolis extract is and you think oh, i want that it's a three for two if you put the code ed6686 in you will get three but you'll only pay for two you're going to save 7.95 oh hang on very quickly a collagen questions coming it's what says again Cat, I really can't hear you. So time of the day, the day I think that was. Oh, okay, so when okay, to take fine. it. Okay, so a uh, great question as well. I personally take mine in the morning so I don't forget. So when right. I have my mop, whoever gets up first in our household, whether it's Sam or I, it, it'll be 
vitamin C effervescent, and then I will have a hot drink as well. So it just depends who's up first. Okay. I put mine in my uh, coffee. Uh, sometimes take it straight, it just depends. But I know some people that like to take it more towards the evening because your body goes into repair mode when you're sleeping. Oh. Um, so, it, so it's a little bit like, you know, adding that collagen whilst, you're, whilst your body's restoring and repairing and it's, you know... Of taking... course, because they say sleep to repair things. So I suppose while you're asleep, it's, do it's doing its magic as well. It's called beauty sleep for good reason, absolutely. So in other words, it's totally up to you. Um, some people don't like to drink anything too close to bedtime because, well, popping back and forth to the loo and keeping you up, you know. Well, it's up hard, to you. hardly, hardly. It's only, it's only like that much. But if you're adding it into a coffee oh, or anything yes, like that, but yes, if you're doing it as a shot at night time, then that's, yeah, it's up to you. It's, I prefer to take it in the morning. Once it's open, do I need to, this is my question now, do I need to keep it in the fridge? Yes, I would keep it in the, refri the fridge, yeah, right, okay. once it's that's open. Fine, yeah. That's fine, so that's fine. That's just me, I thought of that then. No, no, great question. If it's, it's on the box. If you've got any questions for me, by the way, as well, you can contact me after how? the show. Um, so Poppy Valentine is how you'll find me. Uh, Poppy what? Valentine. You're yeah. giving your personal thing out. Yeah, I'll give my personal thing. That's, this is, I know this, if you want to get in contact about the products, uh, yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, but she's got lovely wallpaper in her downstairs toilet. You've got to go and have a fabulous house, lovely, and she got a car for her birthday. Oh, <laughs> Not that stalker on oh, Facebook. Oh, I did. Yeah, I know. Well, what did we know I've got one follower. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so if they want to ask a question, seriously now, if you want yes. to ask a question about any of these, yeah, so Poppy on, on, Valentine on any social media. Yeah, so basically you can call our customer service team, of course, so you can go through on, on that free number that's on your screen. But if you ever want to contact me direct, please bear in mind that if it's about a medical question, oh, about now, conditioners... Now, now, <laughs> now, now that's a point. Now that number that's on the screen is our number. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Okay, yes, no, you're right. Because we're on yes, social media. No, of course. But the... Okay, so... If you go, the best way in that case, sorry, is to go to primalliving.com yeah. and take the number from there, the contact Fine. number. Okay, or contact perfect. me, it's up yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. But by the way, if I don't get back to you straight away, I would always aim to get back to you every single message. She's it's very just, busy like, having here, a social life. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know. And her boyfriend doesn't wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that. Right, okay. Um, so tell me, I don't know <gasps> what this is or what it does or anything. Okay, the reason I wanted to bring this to you here today is because, of course, we're talking about gifting. And this is, in my personal opinion and so many others, one of the best gifts you can give somebody. And because there's so many ways in which you can use this, so many reasons why you could use this. So you can use it as an ingestible supplement. So again, you can put droplets under or on the tongue. You can put it into water, smoothies. You can mix it. Or you can also use it on the skin. So for those pinpricks that often happen or any sort of mishaps in sewing, you can add it to that area because it's got these amazing properties. Right. I'll go back to the property in a moment. I'm just going to explain, first of all, what it is, yeah. okay? So propolis, propol propolis, however you say it, it's the same thing and it is fabulous. So this is a mixture created by the honeybees. Again, like aloe vera, this is a tale as old as time. It's not necessarily as well known as aloe vera. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, in, I mean, lots of people do know about it and it's becoming even more popular. But the, the bees are incredible. We wouldn't be here without them. They create honey, they create beeswax, but they also create this. And it's also otherwise known as bee glue. And the reason being is they create this to seal up unwanted spaces in their hive. So they use that to keep right. out back. I mean, they're doing really important work. Yeah, got yeah, the colony, yeah. the queen, the honey, all of that. Um, and with that, uh, they want to make sure there's no cracks or, 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 or any gaps. So think about it for a moment. If cavity they, you, filler. It's a cavity filler. If I mean, it's bee glue, it's bee um, polyfiller, are the brands yeah, available, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but if they're using it almost like an extension of their immune system, because bees don't have the same immune system as other animals, and, and scientists believe it's because they create this. So they've got another sort of protection. Oh, okay. And I'll explain how we get it, because of course it's ethically sourced. There's never any bees harmed in the making of this, and, and then they, we, they, we take the extra. It's very small amounts that we take as well. You've got high concentrations, but we can't bring this in big quantities. So they fill up unwanted spaces to keep out bacteria, to keep out intruders, very naughty little intruders that want to get in. And the properties of it are this. It's antimicrobial. Right, hang on, where does it come from? Does it come out so, of... So, okay, so... <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying do they, you know, but it, it comes from... It, they secrete it from somewhere. Okay, so they buzz around, they do their thing, they yeah. pick up botanicals from tree sap, and s there's certain yeah, botanicals. Clover they, and things yeah, so they, they, it's yeah. very, you know, pines, are sp it's very specific. And then they go back to the hive, it's mixed with it, much like honey, yeah. much like honey, mixed with their own enzymes, but it's botanical and enzymes of, of the bees, and that's how they create it. Okay. So it's very, 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 very clever. And it has 
all these amazing properties, antimicrobial, antioxidant, so microbes, something that can be dangerous if you have them out of hand, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. putting it very simply. Antioxidative, okay, so antioxidants are the good guys, the superheroes for the body. They're essentially anti-aging. Well, and also they tell you to eat antioxidant foods, yes. don't they too? And I'm not saying it staves off things like cancer and things, but they, they say the more those have, the less chance you are. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor, I'm not making any claims whatsoever, but if you read in magazines that they, they there are like blueberries are antioxidants that's and things it like that, superfoods yeah, yeah that's superfoods. it yeah. no yeah, that's it yeah blueberries yeah. superfoods um avocados foods that are in the superfood list are are there for a number of reasons but but quite rightly so it's because they predominantly have antioxidants right. they're like the superheroes flying around the body and they disarm something called free radicals putting it really simply we want free radicals health experts across the world sometimes you'll get someone saying bacon's good for you someone say it isn't you know there's there's things that health experts can disagree upon Everyone, every health expert agrees, we need antioxidants. Right. And they're really important to reduce the likelihood. Again, I'm not saying a supplement alone will prevent, cure, treat, but it's certainly, in my opinion, supportive. Yes. I mean, it definitely yeah. is supportive, and mm. that's how I see it, okay. um, to everything else you're doing. So, so, sorry, I interrupted them. We had no, the slide no, no, up. Don't so be silly, antioxidant no. was only the second word, wasn't it? So. <laughs> Antibacterial, antiviral. This is actually used, not just in the supplement world, but vets use it. Again, if you are looking to give it to your pets, please check with the vet first. Yeah. Um, and it is a bee product, so do bear in mind if you've got any allergies, just Keep that in mind yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm asthmatic uh, and I use this. I know lots of people that are asthmatic say they probably wouldn't, but I, I love this. Uh, antiviral, antifungal. Okay, why might you use this then? So we've got all these properties, but why might you use it? Yeah. This is fabulous. So if you're ingesting it, so you can take it direct and it comes in a pipette, a glass, recyclable or upcyclable bottle. You might want to keep something in there, any bit, bits and bobs. Yeah. Um, it's, it, all you need to do is unscrew the lid, yeah, squeeze the top, Doing and it. it'll draw in the propolis. Now, every one that you get will be a slightly different colour. Right, okay, hang on. <laughs> Precision is perfection here, John. Thank oh, you very much. So, so what do you say? Squeeze it. So squeeze the top and it'll draw in the liquid and then you pull the pipette out and as you can see, it's gone inside. Oh, my word, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> And then if you squeeze it again, you will have little droplets. Here's because it's really well controlled, okay? You may only decide to do three or four drops in the morning. There's an advisory on the box, but use as much or as little as you like. It's up to you. Right. So say, for example, and this is really good for <clears throat> tickly coughs and, and, and... I get them all the time with my gastric reflux. Oh, re John, honestly, this has been a game changer for so many presenters as well. Take this because, I mean, it's an occupational hazard, isn't it? We're yeah. talking all the time. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we talk a lot off air anyway. Yeah. But it's <laughs> what do you mean? I, yeah. I, I mean, you just, you don't be quiet, John. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's fabulous for that. If you know somebody that's a teacher, if you know somebody that just is a chatterbox, great for that. It's fabulous as an overall health and well-being supplement. Right. Say, for example, you take vitamin C. Right. So vitamin C, vitamin, it's actually an antioxidant. This is an extract that has antioxidant properties. So it's very supportive to vitamin C and other supplements you might be taking. It's not in any of your multivitamins, so it's totally different. Right. And it's really complementary to your regime. Right. How do I take, what do I do? Do I, do I put it in water? Do you I can, take it raw? Either way, you can drop, so you can unscrew it, do little drops. Right, I've already had some of this, am I allowed it, some of this? Go for it, John, go on. You'll, you'll, no one's going to recognise it next time you're in. You'll be back yeah, to the exactly. joy, look totally oh, different. Oh, oh, I've just built it. So how many drops do you say? So it, it's up to you. There's an advisory on the box that says uh, to use, uh, and by the way, this is just, just a bit of an offer, you know, use yeah. five drops, but you can oh, use three, more. So four, maybe try to do five. Okay, so that's five drops there. Don't but you not see. sticky, as you can see. So it's great on the hands, by yeah. the way. Ready? There we go. <laughs> oh, that's a weird taste. <laughs> no, I wouldn't put it in water. I can't tell you. I've never, I don't know what it tastes like. There's nothing quite like it, is there? It's a little bit like honey, but not too, not sweet. No, it's it has not a sweet. It's definitely gin, not sweet. It's like gin taste, like, bota like botanical taste someone's likened it to. Mm. Is it like, is it like, what are those? We used to take like dark spangles when I was little. You won't remember this. Nobody in here is going to remember it. We used to have sweets called spangles and they used to have one tube that had like all different colours in. And then they used to have one like a, look like um, uh, a dark, like a quartz. What's the brown quartz of Scotland? The, you know, it, no, not coming. It's bright yellow. Um, anyway, they, they, they look, they were brownie colour. They taste like that. Do you like, do you like the taste? What no, do I do. Yeah. But it's not what I was expecting at all. 
I know a lot of people think it's a lot it's a lot less sweet than honey. So if you don't like honey, you're thinking, oh gosh, will I like this? It's totally different. Doesn't no, it, totally now different. Elliot's saying he thinks it tastes like honey. Very I don't slightly. Think that does. I can't taste the honey in that myself. It's nice. It's nice. It's just not what I was expecting. So I take five drops every day. So what you can do is so you can ingest it. So you can take the pipette and you can take, quite literally pop it onto the tongue like this. Drop yeah. it onto the tongue. That's what you can um, do it, it then, well, I, I don't know if this is a studio sample. So just, oh, yeah. just, for, just for health and safety, that's all. But I do have this. I use this every single day. I love this. Right. Um, someone else that loves this as well. So Sam was... So when actually speaking of Nana T, we mentioned at the beginning of the yeah. show, when Grandma passed away, um, unfortunately, Sam at the same time wasn't very well, and obviously he's looking after me, and it was a, there was a lot going on. And he went to the doctor, and actually we weren't really sure because it was just before everything kicked off, oh, so yeah, to yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, "Oh, there's, there's something going round, um, but we'll, we'll give you antibiotics just to cover you, even though it probably wouldn't I mean, help with the virus." Yeah. Um, but we'll see see how you get on. We tried cough mixtures, cough medicines. Oh gosh, antibiotics, nothing helped him. And I said, oh, "I've got propolis in 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 the hallway in the in the little basket." Hand on heart, and again, I can't guarantee results for everybody, it was the only thing that helped him. Nothing else. He slept better, it stopped him coughing so much. Yeah. I'm not saying it will prevent cure or treat a virus, but it's it's amazing. And also, this isn't meant to, he's a blokey bloke, isn't he? Yeah. He's not an airy fairy talking to the spirit, like, you know, it means none of that, none of that at all. He's a proper blokey bloke. Who oh, works, it's... Who's got a proper job, who's a lad, who, you know, <laughs> sports, everything. He's not gonna be like me. I've been, oh, I'll take it, I'll take it, because it's, no. It's, he's, it's so for him to say, oh, it's working. He wouldn't just say it to please you. He wouldn't no, just he say wouldn't. it because he <laughs> believes in being properless. It actually physically must have worked for him. Though. When I first joined Primal, or when I was training in nutrition, he was always, he's always been really interested because it was me. But to get him to actually try something, you know, was was different. And these days, Sam uses all the creams. He uses all the supplements. Hey, oh goodness forbid, if I don't have a thermogenic, one of our supplements in time, oh, he's on me like a rash. Oh, he's just seriously, he and propolis, he absolutely adores my mum loves it so many in fact i think we've got some reviews i can show you as well okay then. from other people that adore it as well um yeah, we it tastes... oh we didn't see your mum on the website never mind never mind <laughs> uh, okay so here we go scott some reviews then so uh, jackie said to us with five stars trust pilot by the way by the way you have to purchase to have been invited for a review so they're yeah. all real and I you would... can't change them can you so if a nasty one comes up you have to show a nasty one oh, for sure. uh, you know that it's, it's like our fifu on our channel you don't have no choice because it's a completely independent thing isn't it so anybody could come on there and write anything they wanted to totally independent yeah. we, we can we can reply but we can't change yeah. that, that we only you would be able to change it so that so they are all genuine reviews sorry i interrupted jackie. no no you're not at all not at all um jackie i wouldn't be without any of these products i never expected the bee properties to make the make a difference but it did just try it um katora said i take every other day you don't have to take it every day it's up to you keeping the sniffles at bay wonderful product actually quick note on that if that's all right yeah. um was that if you've got hay fever, or I say got hay fever, oh, has yours started already? Yes. Mine has, yeah. I've blamed it on the cats, because you know I've now got Cherry's cats. No, I didn't oh, know I, this. I've now adopted Cherry's cats, right? Oh, so we all know that? Cherry as well, you see. We're all an old family, right? I've got Cherry's cats, I've adopted oh. Cherry's cats, and I thought it was the cats that were starting my hay fever, but then I was away from the cats, and I was like, still got it. I've just realised the time, we've got to hurry up. Go on, yeah. go uh, on. Well, yes, it's fantastic. Again, I can't guarantee results, but it helped me with hay fever. A little bit like when people say get local honey to reduce the, and because of the properties that did, of see, this. That didn't work for me, local honey. Did I it not? I bought to pay even honey, nothing at all. See how you get on with this, yeah. because it's I've got, got anti-inflammatory properties, so it's known to relieve the sinus airways. Again, just be aware, of course, it is a bee ingredient. This is ethically sourced, so, so an extra sheet is basically put in by the hive, and they start filling that up as well. How and we just, brilliant. Yeah, so, so we just take the additional, but we can't get this in large quantities. It's not like vitamins and minerals. Yeah. I mean, everything's more difficult to get our hands on these days. So but. this isn't vegan, but is that called vegetarian or not, when, it, when it's from a bee? Because a bee vegetarians, oh, I'm vegetarian, <laughs> vegetarians can take honey. Um, so it's not vegan, it's not vegan, and it's not tested on anybody, it shouldn't be tested no, on or anything never. like that. So that's exactly what I was going to ask, because it's got a date, expiry date, 23rd of August, 23, this one. Okay. But once I've opened it, how long is the shelf life when I've opened it? So once you've opened it, the shelf life, so we actually have that written on there, it's uh, 36 months from opening. So oh, okay. Months, yeah, so you can keep going back to it. In terms of how quickly you'll use it, it depends on per person. So you've got a 20 milliliter bottle, but you'll see when you get home that on the side of the box, it mentions the equivalent to, where did I have I it? So the equivalent to five drops is, I think I've got it on this one. Here you go, yeah. uh, uh, five, five drops, drops is 0 0.25 0 milliliters. 0.25 milliliters. So just to give it, yeah. So again, it'll depend how often you use it. 
So if you break that down in terms of the 20 mil. So uh, is five the most I can take? No, you can take as much or as little so as you when like. My, so if I take it in the morning and then my hay fever gets bad, can I just take five more in the evening just to calm the hay fever down? Absolutely. Or and try I, to calm the hay fever down. Yeah. That's it. And you can pop it into water. You can pop it into drinks. You can take it. I just, I'd like to ingest it just and pop it directly onto my tongue. Well, no, no. I'd, 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 yeah. I'd hate when they say mix it with this and mix it with that. Because I, I was going through a phase taking an apple cider vinegar and I'd much rather just neck it. Just than, take it, yeah. yeah. Right. Look at the time. Look at the time. I've got oh, one word. quick question. Yes. What have you got for hot flushes? Christine wants to know. Is there something on the website? There Where should is. She look? In fact, Christine, we've got um, a, a menopause supplement on the website. So it's called Meno Support. And you'll be able to see that there. If you've got any questions for me as well, please contact me direct. Or if you don't want to speak to me, that's fine. You might be sick of me. You this is one of my regulars, center. June. Just bought the chocolate aloe vera, the apricot soap and the cream. So oh. excited to be a new woman. Me and you. Isn't Poppy <laughs> lovely? Well, she's oh. acting. She's a diva. Yeah, you should oh, see me off screen. Oh, she's such a diva. Yeah. Uh, and Rachel says, all remedies stem from nature. Primal living products are standard quality and not full of bulk that's it we, okay we, we now look we've literally got two minutes and okay. we're supposed to be doing this this is natural cream with apricot seed oil again now you can uh, you can buy it by the singly for 9.99 or oh sorry i've got to put it down yeah <laughs> no i forget earlier i hasn't got a picture of any of these there you go i'll put it on the top there right there you go so you can buy one for 9.99 if you want one for 9.99 Oh, we're watching Primal Living now, apparently. And then you can buy three for £20. Now, if you buy two, you'll still pay £20, right? People are buying this by the multiple. By the multiple of threes. By the multiple of three. So, so don't buy four. So either buy three or six. That's what I'm going to say to you. Or buy one if you're just starting out. Right, very quickly then, what's this? Okay, we'll stop tour on this. I'll make this short and sweet. It is beautiful. So oh. it's neither 30 or 50 mil. It's like a mousse, like a soufflé. Yeah, it's not very... like a cream cream. It's oh, it's very it silky. It's very smooth on the skin. Not greasy, not oily. Uh, it's 100 millilitres. By the way, just a quick note on the, on the price point as well. If you go direct to our website, you can see this, but you will see one pot for the price that's on your screen for three. So I've done another, I've, it, this is a mega deal. What, so one pot is normally? 19.99. Oh, so you mean 19, yes. oh. Yeah, you're able to get three foot, so yeah. 300 millilitres. This is 300 millilitres of goodness. Right, if your hands get dry, this is for hands, face, wherever you want to use it, dry elbows, whatever works for you. But again, I know you've, got, you've all got a gift in your fingertips, so you might want to use it for your hands. It's really rich in apricot oil. So apricot oil is naturally anti-aging. And one of the, the key factors I want to reference with this yeah. is that apricots, oil is very similar to your skin's natural oil so it's very akin to what we naturally produce i used to have a thing um that i used to put on my spots uh -huh. and it was a that was apricot pips in that or whatever seeds in that sort of thing i'm talking back in the 70s now sort of thing. so if anyway. you've got oily skin it's actually really good to for many people to, to moisturize particularly with apricot oil because it's basically saying here's oil that's similar stop producing so much and it can help balance out your skin right so it's quite lots of people think oh i get get why i'd use it for dry skin but why oily skin yeah yeah, yeah. it's beautiful give it a go um you've got vitamins a vitamins e vitamin c in there it smells divine it's not heavily perfumed um you'll actually see on the box if you're gifting it it says 95 percent natural now if you see the word acid on there thinking oh gosh that doesn't sound very yep. good for me hyaluronic acid and a leg and linoleic acids we naturally produce you're replenishing the body with something that you might have otherwise lost over uh, time for age and also weather can yep. affect us stress can affect us Elliot's caught what uh, April oh I what's that then <laughs> right now I need to tell you it's not cream it's not like a it's, it's not like a like, whipped souffle almost. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's it's kind of like a putty look. Can you see? It's not. I thought it was going to be like a cream. So, th yeah, so they they are very smoothing. They're not oily. They're not greasy. Yeah. It's very, oh, but very then creamy. if you work into it, it's kind of going. It it will change consistency when you work into it. So as you can see, this one here is more of sort of a creamy consistency. Oh, okay. It's just once you work into it. There we go. So there we go. Shall I move that back oh, a little bit? Yeah, there we there go. go. <laughs> So you're putting it on your hands, you can put it anywhere? You can pop it anywhere you and want. And it's anti-aging? And it's anti-aging, apricots, gentle on the skin, anti-aging. Look at that, you can see the difference. It minimises pores. Whose hand's this? Who does that belong to? <laughs> yeah. Minimises pores. And it's not greasy, so as you see, a little goes a very long way. In fact, I'll go up here now so you can see. I've not done anywhere, anything there as of yet. No. And it doesn't, you can see there's no greasiness, there's no oiliness, there's no residue. Um, it's just super smooth. It's great for the cuticles as well. I know often with stuff Feels with lovely. Cuticles. I'm putting it on my hand over here. It's not, it's not greasy at all. Um, 
I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't feel... You know normally when you put a hand cream on, it sits on the top of your hand. You don't have yes. to look at me. Uh, uh, it sits on the top of your hand and everything. Um, this isn't sitting on my top. I can feel this going you can, yes. straight in. Straight in. Oh, <laughs> oh, now I've got really bad liver spots. Is it going to help with that? <laughs> it can help even skin tone. They can certainly help oh, even okay. skin tone. So it appears to absorb beautifully because it's not full of nonsense and chemicals and fillers. It's 95% natural. The packaging matches the soap, so you can make a duo or a hamper. Um, I know we're really limited on time, but can I just show you a couple of reviews? Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Um, so, uh, oh, we can show you a quick anti-aging example as well. In fact, sorry, Elliot, getting you to go here yeah, and everywhere. Yeah, we fall off air, just so, so you know, we don't, right, can't go over. 50 millilitres elsewhere, 51 pa 55 pounds 16. You've got 100 millilitres. There we go, another example. Um, and then we'll show you some reviews. These are not direct well. comparisons. No. Just so you know. Not right. direct comparisons. Um, um, quick look at some of the reviews here. Lovely face cream, gorgeous fragrance, not overpowering. My skin can be very sensitive at times and it's not had that a problem with this. That back to front. This, oh yes, so it is. <laughs> anyway, listen, listen, listen. We have to go, we have to go, we have to go. Poppy, it's been brilliant. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. I Thanks need to so do much. tomorrow's, I need to do tomorrow's menu. So oh, while God. we're doing that, it's anti-aging, did you say? It is, yeah. <laughs> right, let's look at the menu for tomorrow then. <laughs> oh. Fabric extravaganza at eight o'clock. Uh, oh, rainbow pleat cushion with Sally Ann Harrison at nine o'clock. Gifts for her at ten o'clock. We've got Japanese style handbag with Sally Ann Harrison at eleven. And yarn lane tomorrow at twelve o'clock. Right, okay, I've got to go because I've got to be back on air on Monday and you won't even recognise the presenter. Our tellies have just gone off, Elliot. Uh, Poppy, thank you so much for coming. You're thank not you. getting this one back either. Oh, so that. I've got all of this. I've got my. I've got everything now. All stocked up, all stocked all up. All stocked up. Does I will take nice? some of this off, put it you've back got, in. I can see you've got some of that you, in, around your mouth as well. Does it taste good? Does it taste That's yeah, nice. Yeah, go, go, anyway, we've got to go, got to go. Poppy, thank you so much. Bye. You can see more of Poppy on our Primal Living channel. Do you do a regular slot? Or you yes, just... I'm on it. I'm on tonight at 5 p.m. On, on, on Primal Living tonight. Stay tuned, yeah? In the new studios, yeah. which is where we'll be in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you. Make sure you check out. Thank you, Poppy. Lovely thank to see you. you. I'll, I'm not back in until Monday morning. Jewelry Maker, I'm on Jewelry Maker on Saturday. Oh, I get about. And also look at all the scarves, they feel fantastic on the website. Bye.